Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Squimsh that fucking fox, dude. You had to sleep yesterday as much as you've been able to catch up. Seems like a great stream. Picked up the right law streamer at the Pick right the boy, time. Fuck along. Yeah, it was, a, it was a fun time. It was a fun time to be on his stream. Pick the boy, we got fuck we got along. through we got through only some of the bridge tabs. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing the rest of that. I was really excited. I was really excited to go through the fucking bridge stuff, but we did not even finish going through the old bridge stuff, and I had new stuff. That I wanted to talk about in regards Welcome to, to it. Toxic slice. So I'm gonna I'm gonna finish that off on my own today. It's 3 p.m. It is time for your daily dick flattening. Good, good push over 21k. Hell yeah, tiny foxu. Thank you, thank you. Seem to get along well Wait a minute, with him. Hold yeah. on, I have a yeah. tab for that. I have a tab about gay duck <laughs> necrophiliac sex. What was I doing under the bridge? You then did a good goddamn job business. last night. I had fun watching. And hope you continue <laughs> to make new friends. No bridge, no more. What do you mean no more? It's important. It's important to me and I want more people to fucking know about it and cover it and understand it. We need to fucking kill the bridge. Destroy it. M might not have been able to give him your bridge, but he got a lot of Kirsha lore. I do, I do want to make one correction. I was trying to like give him the TLDR because I was trying my hardest to just steer things back to bridge the whole night. Uh, I said my age when my mom did the honey potting was like seven. I was more like 10, 11 when that started. I, uh, I accidentally said the wrong age. Not like it matters too much because I was still too young to be doing it, but like <laughs> it matters to me. I don't like inaccuracies. Hard for Timmy boy to cover it when he thinks it doesn't matter because we're winning. It's like it's a good thing that we've done shit like kick Bud Light continuously even when they're on the ground because they fucking deserve it. But just because all of these companies are like... Yes, we're firing our DEI employees. Don't worry about it. Don't look behind the curtain. Don't don't pay attention to the fact that we want all of our other employees to act as DEI employees alongside their normal responsibilities. Don't pay attention to that. Just pay attention to the fact that we're getting rid of the ones that were outwardly lamed that way. You're winning. <laughs> Burn the bridge. What about Mulvaney with Nike's bra? I tried to find the new Jeez, Nike Sally, thing with Mulvaney, and I couldn't. The only the only Nike stuff that came up was like in 2023. So if he has like a new thing with Nike, I need a tab for that because like I couldn't find it. Literally everything was from 2023. You'll admit he spent a bit too much time on memes. Does seem like a genuine fan of VTuber, so you get it. But you have someone to talk to about an issue, set aside a solid chunk. Doesn't have to be a whole stream of the stream to actually deep dive on that issue. I think, I think maybe like it's a, uh, in my opinion. I am once again stuck in traffic and have to pee, but this time I have a whole empty gallon jug. No piss retention today, boys. Congratulations on your giant piss jug, Breezy Love. Thank you for the five dollars. Thank you for the five dollars. <laughs> Fill that jug. I think, I think what takes away from collabs more often than not is if you pay too much attention to the super chats. Uh, like when I, when I do collabs, I pretty much just like ignore the majority of chat. Like I might pick out a couple of comments here and there, but for the most part, my focus is on like whoever I'm collabing with, right? I don't, I don't pay attention to supas and I, I make that up to you guys with like a day of licking later, right? I, go, I, I make that up to you later, because it's like, it's not that I don't care, it's just that if I have someone on my stream, I don't want to devote time to reading super chats while I have them there, you know? She hates us! The jug is always necessary. Oh my god. Don't stop noticing. Stay vigilant. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know if flesh streamers have that kind of culture? Yeah, it might just be a culture difference. I have no idea. I have, I have no idea how, how most of the, the flesh streamers work in that regard. I do want to ask him how he gets his fucking super chats on the screen, though. I've been wanting to do that for so fucking long, oh, and, like, I can't figure time. it out. Nim can't figure it out. My mods don't know how to do it. N no idea how to get super chats to pop up on the screen like he does. Mwanya, mwanya. He does it via StreamYard? I didn't see that option in StreamYard, but maybe it's because I wasn't the host? I'll have to look. I'll have to look. Collabs is our time in the cuck chair. True, true and real. <laughs> let me let me scroll up in in the YouTube chat now. By the way, Potato Radio, thank you for the eight month member. And they also have Jedi now to try and stay ahead of people knowing the terms. Yeah, I've seen the Jedi one. 
I've seen that as well. And I feel like that's just maybe people trying to re reorient DEI Nim. with Nim. like an extra letter. Yeah. Star Phoenix! Thank you for the two dollar doodles. Thank you, thank you. Do not stop noticing. Linya, linya. Does Yabbit know how to do it? Or one of the other Chuba friends? Nim. I have not Nim. seen a single Nim. VTuber yeah. have the super chat pop ups like Legal Mind Guy did. I like I've I've not seen a single Chuba have that. They might they might have like a little tiny pop up that comes from like stream elements, but while I have my Twitch integrations, I can't have stream elements also pop up super chats. It's very it's very weird. It means I'll get invited back and we'll still have things to talk about. Yeah, true. True and real. Nim DM, I saw it, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Just came back from a rap battle. What's up, Spicy Fox? Hello! Why were you why were you rap battling? <laughs> It sucks that StreamYard audio is shit balls. Yeah, I saw everybody saying my audio is fucked. And I feel like Discord fucks my audio because of my XLR mic when I am in Discord with other VTubers. Uh, but I didn't realize just how fucked it would be in StreamYards, like boomer technology. What do you mean it doesn't matter? You literally answered the question that I asked on stream. Why do I hate you? Because I answered, like, I, I, liter I literally mentioned StreamYards after that. You didn't need to DM me. I, I literally said it out loud. <laughs> and they're just ripping off the other glowies, stopping a project and renaming it and continuing. Pretty much. Ah, Pretty ah, much. Ah, 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 ah. I think it was also the Discord noise can. We weren't in Discord. We were in StreamYards, and it was StreamYards echo cancellation was on by default. Smart, sophisticated, savvy, skilled, stunning, sweet, spirited, supportive, strong, sincere, sharp, skillful, suave, scholarly, stylish, sublime, successful, serene, secure, self-assured, sociable, soulful, sparkling, spectacular, superior, sensible, smashing, snow fox, Sunday. Uh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Ah, uh, I don't know why J doesn't sound good with alliteration, but god damn. Toast Engineer, thank you for all the s noises in my ears. Thank you, thank you for the $25. New title, please. <laughs> Almighty Lolly's an expert on having chat and super chats shown on screen. Ask him, he's lonely. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude! What do you mean? What the hell? Is my background music on? It's not. Here we go. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's jam, dude. Women when men use adjectives. <laughs> Bridge like the fifth renaming of this initiative that you can remember. It's it's not just a renaming is the problem. Jedi is just a renaming. Bridge is not just a renaming. Bridge is the new initiative for everything DEI. Anything under the DEI umbrella is under Bridge. Bridge is a conglomeration of all of these huge companies, CEOs and CFOs coming together to try and make DEI part of the company culture. And when I say that, I don't mean they're going to hire more diversity officers. They're going to say, you, programmer, you, logistics technician, you, cashier, all of you are going to believe in this. You're not just going to peddle it as marketing. You will believe it or you will be fired. <laughs> You're trans now. And the whole point of doing that is because if they embed DEI as part of company culture, as part of product logistics, as part of product distribution, as part of product pricing, as part of consumer outreach, you can't escape it. It will be part of you and everything around you. There will be no boycotting because there will be nowhere to buy from that doesn't support this. I'm gonna say the gamer word. We'll keep renaming it as long as people keep noticing it. The problem is people won't stop noticing. The problem is that we have noticed to the point that they realize their marketing strategy will not work. And now it is no longer marketing. Now it is no longer unavoidable. Now it is becoming worse. And that is why we need to head it off before they embed it in the culture and it gets even harder to destroy and uproot. I can't feel weird today. You think you're being paranoid? Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. No paranoia. No paranoia. They're just going to double down and make it mandatory, essentially? Yes. Yes. 
Master Gullah, thank you for the five dollary doodles. This might be terrible, you had a lore epiphany. My mom might have been trying to rent me over AOL, but the guys were like, nah, she's too brain damaged. It lives it lives rent free in my head that like I would talk about Ham Taro. Cause like, wh what am I gonna talk about as like a young kid, right? I was like, I like Pokemon. I like Hamtaro. I got some nice plushies as I go out rollerblading. <laughs> and so I would talk about like ham chat. And like, I, I could I could like type things in like ham chat and stuff. And I thought, I thought that was the coolest shit ever. You know, when I was 10, I was like, check me out. I can type in ham chat. And some of the guys are just like, how old, how old did you say you were again? <laughs> <laughs> and I'd, I'd have to remember my mom's age. <laughs> Trading services are also expensive as hell. 7,000 per team in an organization. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the fucking, the companies that try to rent out or like sell their, their training services for DEI minute, shit. Hold on. I have a it is for so that. expensive and it is hilarious. I imagine one day they'll want diversity statements from candidates for everything like universities want from their staff. You have to either believe in or understand the BS enough to write an essay on it to get a job. Luckily chat GPT breaks this. <laughs> Toast engineer, thank you for $25! Yeah, true, you can just fucking get chat GPT to spit out some stuff for you. But again, why would you want to participate in having ChatGPT spit out some nonsense, diversity, equity, inclusion bullshit for you to get a job with people who hate you? And as soon as they find out what you truly believe in, you will be exercised from the company and your position. I guess, uh, why instead of fixing the problem would you want to just continue playing the game? The winning move is to not engage. No, it's to engage. Engage by pushing back. If you don't engage and they keep doing this, who's going to be trying to stop it? Use AOL chat too. Some older women tried to pick you up there when you were 14. Yeah, my mom, my mom would have me talk in the 18 plus chat rooms. Like an 18 home alone, dude. Let's go. And then it's no different from people being told to go back to being married or dating fields. What are you talking about? What are you what are you talking? We weren't talking about marriage, and what does that have to do with diversity, equity, and inclusion? No one. No one is forcing you to marry the trans woman. No one no one is saying your white babies are illegal. You must you must breed a black woman. Like what? What are you talking about? Dev has hit or miss takes. We don't talk about that here. Master Goa, thank you for the two dollars. The Johns weren't weeb enough for Ham Taro. True, true and real. Honestly, what's the difference between that and what happens today? Sounds like definition of insanity. Trying the exact same thing, expecting a different result. My brain stopped. I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> My brain stopped. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. I don't know what you mean. What's the difference between what and what happens today? If anything, uh, black filing on marriage is playing into their hands. I don't know what you mean by that. They're done trying. This is forcing. Yes. We are, we are done. The if you comply, everything will be fine stage. And we're in the it will be normalized stage. I'll take your black pill and shove it. No black pills here. No black pills here. Young Kier turned away predators from being too much of a weeb. The anime hate runs deep through many years. Unironically. <laughs> and instead of state mandated tomboy, you get state mandated trans men. Not an FBI, thank you for the five. Ah, so you're a lawyer now. Good, so let's say someone got in the way of a- I'm not a lawyer, I just talked to one. If, talk if talking to a lawyer makes you one, man, I'm a lot of things. <laughs> when you go to a job interview and they claim we are a diverse and inclusive company, just ask, okay, how do you plan on rewarding the merit of my work? See how they recoil when you bring up that word. <laughs> Help! Here's just the ultimate black pill. No! No, I kill the black pill. I dispense the white pills. What do you mean? What do you mean? Fine. Stop being racist. Those are called POC pills. What the fuck? Talk to a couple of lawyers. You're big. Uh, I see you're kind of a gangster. I'm pretty gangster myself. <laughs> you just hop job every three to five years. It fixes the no merit and bullshit. I just wish that like 
companies didn't hate you, I guess. Like, back in the day, you used to be unironically rewarded for having some kind of company loyalty. But nowadays, like, people in a company will just look at you like a fucking tissue paper. Like, they just- they don't give a shit. I'm a wear lawyer and he's a wear Korsha now. That's how collabs work! Oh, okay, alright. <laughs> Everyone who owns everything and runs all of this nonsense are actual boomers who are becoming increasingly senile. They cut their descendants out of inheriting anything, so the biggest white pill is that when the people in charge die, all of this is over. Ah. Uh... Uh, when- when the boomers die, I am very fearful of those who come after them being put in positions of power. Cause, uh, I feel like what comes after these boomers is very much worse than what the boomers are. A lot of younger people are communists. Yeah. Mildly OCD. Thank you for the $5 doodles. You did some digging. Discovered that the CEO of PBS openly endorses DEI. You found a Forbes article, you know, a company made for education. But yeah. I mean, they were they were involved in Bridge, so like that doesn't that doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me. When the boomers die, the planes fall out of the sky. Also that. Also, as much as, like, the- the fucking office-sitting boomers are shit cunts. Gee, Sally! Once- your boyfriend once all of the people who have cars? been maintaining infrastructure die off, uh, I don't think we really have many people capable of maintaining that stuff. And we're seeing it in the tech sector. We've been seeing it in the tech sector for over a decade. And now it's finally starting to hit less tech and more actual mechanical. To the millennials and zoomers who are brainwashed as someone who was brainwashed himself not anymore thankfully welcome to ZomboCom. hayden thank you for the 20 dollar doodles great show last night with legal mindset hell yeah it was a fun ass time judging by the chat during the show you brought that info to a lot of people who had never heard of it nice job i'm very glad i'm very any anyone who wants me to fucking do a bridge rundown with them please i will fucking do it I want as many people as humanly possible to know what they're trying to do with DEI. It's not just a name change, it's forced now. Very few people going into trade jobs and millennial and zoomer gens. Well, yeah, because trade jobs take, like, actual fucking work. Unironically actual fucking work. Why do you, why do you think so many people are, like, hoping and dreaming of becoming YouTubers or OnlyFans girls? Jamie, pull up the statement of the Son of Sorrow saying he's gonna put more political than him. <sighs> 737 is getting radar spoofing updates, forcing pilots to use manual junk. Cyber attacks, woo! Soon, you won't even need to use a knife to hijack a plane and just hack into their control system. Spicy cat raid. What the hell is this spicy cat raid? Kubi! Kubi, thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, raiders. We're gonna, we're gonna be talking about some weird shit today. Some of like weird shit today. Only thing about Alex Soros is he genuinely seems more incompetent than his father. <laughs> Soros's kids are more evil than he is. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I don't I don't know much about his kids, but like it wouldn't surprise me even without a source right now. Oh my god. Raging Golden Eagle called the rebranding of uh DEI years ago. It's like it's not just the rebranding that's the problem. Like right? Like as somebody else in chat said, DEI has been rebranded a gajillion times. They change the name every time people start noticing. Right? It's like, once once people started noticing that diversity literally meant just less white people, they were like, well, okay, we can go further now. Let's stop talking about just diversity. Let's go into equity. Because they know what's happening, so we can push it even further. And it's like, it, it's always been renamed. Bridge is not just a traditional renaming. They've, they've stopped with the, we're going to start doing this as marketing. We're going to start talking about it. Companies are going to start adopting it as a marketing policy. It's no longer a, these are values you should have. This is now a, these are values you will have. Mon FBI, thank you for the five. Ah, news at 11, one VTuber called Kirsha is the sole responsible for the rise of sounding and graping of bugs, leaving many bugs living in fear. Fuck the bugs, they don't have rights. Boomers actually create NGOs, 5013C, C4 charities for taxes, and then hire kids or spouses to run them. Gates, Clinton, yeah. Yeah, it's uh I can't I can't even hold those people that like make fake shell companies and have their kids run them to keep the money in the family and make their kids rich. I can't even be too fucking mad at them, right? 
because that's unironically taking care of their kids better than the boomers who were like, yeah, I'm just gonna leave you fucking nothing. I don't give a shit about you, kid. Get the fuck out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave all of my Is money to, to migrants instead. Fuck you. You, don't even you know, like, I, I can't even get too mad at them for doing that. And it's unfortunate. <gasps> Torgo the White, thank you for the two dollary doodles. Excuse me, I think you mean honky pills. Oh my god. <laughs> thank you for shout out. Thank you for raid. I hope you had good stream, Kooby. Keezy, thank you for the nine month resub. Been a wild ride. Can't wait to hang out when Cloud World starts to collapse under its own bullshit. I need to. I've been like so inundated with other shit. I need to, I need to, like, look at when presidential debates and stuff will be happening. Because I absolutely want to watch those with everyone. And, like, fingers crossed, maybe we'll get some riots this year. I love comfy riot streaming. I don't, I don't care what time of the night it is. This is, this is your, your heads up, chat. If riots happen, I will go live. Zero notice. Zero ahead of a time fucking telling you it will be a gorilla. I will be there. <laughs> <laughs> my boomer dad and I have to move soon because our landlord died. And when you started looking for houses, he got upset that you were trying to spend all his money on not renting again. What? What? That doesn't make any sense. Kirsha, I'm not an accelerationist, Verstal. Just because I don't want to see the cities burn down doesn't mean I won't watch it when idiots try to do so. <laughs> Kirsha already planning riots. She definitely isn't Chloe. Look, I'm not going to be part of the riots. I'm going to watch them comfortably from the, the comfort of my home with a bag of Doritos and some gamer subs. <laughs> Biden won't debate. I mean, they got to do something. I, I There's not been a year that I've been alive that there haven't been presidential debates. And this year's already kind of fucking weird. Because, like, I don't think there was a single Democratic debate, to my knowledge. Like, I, I I remember there was, like, some weird shit with, like, Biden trying to talk on a podium. But, like, I don't think it was really a debate. And then, like, pretty, basically all of the Republicans dropped out. And now Trump is, like, the sole candidate or something. I don't know. This year's fucking weird. This year, he can talk. He tries. He tries his best. Unfortunately, Nikki Haley is staying in the race. Yeah, but she's a woman. She's not going to win. <laughs> like, I'm not worried about fucking Nikki Haley. <laughs> he usually isn't when the president is running as incumbent. Man. Nikki Haley hasn't dropped out. She refuses to shut the fuck up. Please. Please. I, like... Didn't, didn't she lose in a state to, like, literally no one? Like, I remember seeing- uh, maybe it was Photoshop, but I remember seeing something fucking on- on Twitter where, like, she lost in a state to literally nobody. <laughs> she did, okay. I'm not fucking crazy then. It was Nevada! Eager on hey, thank you for gift sub to Kubi! Kubi, enjoy your feet pics. Compliments of the house. <laughs> Nikki, Nikki, holy. She lost Nevada to literally no one. Like, what? <laughs> if I was running for something and, like, I had no opponent and people were like, I would literally rather vote for no one than vote for you, I'd be like, I feel like this is my sign. Maybe, maybe people don't want me here. Maybe, maybe I should leave. <laughs> Oh my god, what are my plans with the Philian collab? Not sure yet. Not sure yet. Plans are still being made. Haley lost South Carolina, her home state she was the governor of. Why does she pretend she has a shot? Mmm, <laughs> cheeseburger. <laughs> Shoutouts to my bulldog Winston. He's still first place in the dog contest, and it's the final round. He is steps away from officially becoming America's good boy. Go mighty lolly, thank you for the five dollars and congrats to your Winston for still being in the first place, dude! America's goodest boy. It's a good thing you're in a dog contest in the US instead of Europe because otherwise I would think Winston is a gay man in a gimp suit. That's the kind of dog contest they have over in Europe, dude. <laughs> At this point she's working for the Democrats. Yeah, she's probably just there to siphon votes, but also how many is she going to siphon? Let's be fucking real. <laughs> Kirsha for president. I maintain I would be an absolutely terrible fucking politician. Emperor 
creatine. Thank you for the ten dollars. DEI programs rename themselves every six months for the same reason why the parent company of Pornhub does. It doesn't take very long for people to sniff out the bullshit from the new company. Yeah, D DEI's nomenclature has been changing for decades, changing and morphing, but they've only been trying to interject it at a very surface level. Now it is getting worse. It is getting worse than just the name change. I'm not. Isn't that Tamoy VTuber running as a joke? I have no idea. I have I have no idea. I feel like she makes that joke, but I don't know if she's actually gonna put herself on a ballot anywhere. They are all the goodest boys. Do not pet the gay men in gimp suits. Zophilian fan, be sure to prepare something that will keep the attention of a TikTok iPad zoomer as she gets bored quick. I will test out my parenting skills. <laughs> Trump didn't show up at the Republican primaries and he still won! That's some big dick energy, dude. <laughs> Just ask Philly in to do flips, man. Man. I can't do flips. I don't have full body tracking. You thought about doing VTuber political content, but I seem to already be doing that. I mean, there's probably a decent niche to fill here considering what I do is rare. Jen Rollins, thank you for the two dollar doodles. Fillion is gonna be in for a shock when it happens. What do you mean? You guys know I don't get political with other people in a collab. I am I am a very good fox you. You'd be a good mother on the basis that your mom taught you everything not to do. True. True. <laughs> we reached a bullshit end of history Fukuyama Neolib Neocon consensus that was shattered by 9-11 in the Iraq-Afghan wars. You need to sleep? Have a good sleep, Gooby! You are a well-behaved fox. I get cookies! Yay! <laughs> Jeff, definitely a political fox. You get better. You better get political if you stream with me, woman. I mean, if the person allows it, yeah. But for the most part, I stream with people who prefer to not get political, and I'm not going to take a metaphorical shit on their carpet. You know? How's it pogging in here? Are you okay? Who talks like that? Political would be a no. Peepa did crack open the conspiracy Pandora's box for Fillion and it started to break her mind. So maybe a tiny bit of tinfoil hat wearing as a treat. That's true. I could I could do that. Jen Rollins, they give the $2. Not the politics, just a me in general. Fair, fair and real. Speaking of, Rasta Leon, thank you for the 10 month tier 2 resub. Thank you. Glaceon Seamus, thank you for the 39 month Tier three resub. This man's this man's gonna hit forty fucking months next month. That is crazy, dude. Thank you, thank you. That's like what? That's over three years, isn't it? Because like two years is twenty four, uh, twenty four plus twelve is thirty six. Oh my god, A quick mass. This guy's been here for so fucking long. Thank you, monkey nineteen ninety nine. Thank you for the prune sub. Air spill. Thank you for the five month resub, my guy. Thank you. Synthes91, thank you for the two month three sub. Empty Cups, thank you for being born today, the day of your birth. Please eat your placenta. Nine months of sounding. No! <laughs> Boogie you! Thank you for the nine month three sub as well. I guess it was kind of crowded in there today. I don't know, I don't know which one of you slid out first. Maybe you fought for the doorway entrance. But thank you! Thank you for your nine month three sub. I bring news from the womb. Use code BIRTHDAY to get a discount for HelloFresh. FUCK! HELLOFRESH! YOU BITCH! I'm kind of unholy, depraved tabs with a thing kind of tangent but so upon us today, a foxu woman? I don't even know, man. Saw you on Legal Mindset, just dropping by to show some love. Thank you! Thank you, welcome! Women can sound too, I know. I was, I was the first one to read that, that fucking shot glass stuck in a woman's urethra to article. To do homework. Have a fun stream, you silly fox. You have, you, well, you're probably not gonna have fun doing homework, but I hope you do it well. <laughs> thank you for the five dollars, Lord Brown Bear. Thank you. Zyvob, thank you for the 14 month resub. Thank you. The cult of Duda Korsha has worryingly grown in numbers. I fear there will not be enough chambers to call them soon. What did he mean by this? Non FBI, thank you for the five. Ah! You would love to see a VTuber run for president and everyone vote them and the USA changes to uwu and we will have a waifu president. I would be a very bad politician. But like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe one day I can do like a small, small thing for like community sized. Don't just casually drop something like that and breeze past it. What do you mean? What do you mean? This is why we would vote you in. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. You just got on and the first thing you hear is, Please eat your placenta! Please curb your enthusiasm! <laughs> Good. Gil. Nice cock! Nice cock! Gilgamesh X! Thank you for the four months of Perum! Great job on the stream yesterday with Legal Mindset! Burn that bridge! Yeah, burn that fucking bridge down. Get rid of it. Get it out of here. I don't want to see it. Silly Gordo, thank you for the nine month tier two resub! Thank you! Thank good lord my vagina was packed today! God damn! Launchbox, thank you for the four month resub! A good squimpsh to you, glorious foxy! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, Leo the Sage. Thank you for the eight month resub. Cap Kaiju, thank you for the Prum sub. Thank you for Prum. You think Fillion also stands Asmongold? So what you're saying is, is that Philly and I can put on our pajamas and curl our fingers in our hair while we're talking about how much we want to buy Asmongold Rogaine and cook him meatloaf? <laughs> Fucking traffic in the canal. Sideways, thank you for the twenty dollar doodles. You mentioned mechanical jobs earlier. People your age, mid late twenties, have taken to do an independent contracting. You can just be a car mechanic on a house call, and after building that up, you'll have enough work to thrive off of. I took I took my I took my car to get wrapped. My brand new car, my brand new car that I had just paid for. My brand new brand new car with less than six hundred miles on it. It's got it's got like a thousand now, but like whatever, dude. After it got picked up from being wrapped, the visor on the inside passenger side had a slice on it. And I about lost my fucking mind. I was like, how are you- how are you going to slice the visor inside of my brand new fucking car and not even fucking say anything to me? Holy shit. Holy fuck. Oh, they fucked up bad! Yeah. Yeah, when I, when I texted them, I was like, hey! <laughs> hey, uh, so this is a brand new car. Literally have only had it for, like, a few months. And, uh, it had no damage to it because it was brand fucking new off the lot. And, uh, the inside passenger visor seems to have been sliced with a knife and has, uh, dirt all over it. I don't know how that happened, but, uh, I would appreciate if you'd replace my visor. And thankfully they were like, well, I don't know how that could have happened here, but uh, I can understand how that would be upsetting, so we'll replace it. I also don't understand how that could have happened, to be fair. I mean, maybe they have the door open when they have to put part of the wrap on. I have no idea. But like, a few months, over 600 miles. VTuber confirmed. No, I bought it with 600 miles on it. It was, a, it was a dealer car, so it, it didn't have, like, barely any miles on it. Like, do you have to open the doors? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Keish, you might not think you'd be a good pres, but all you have to do for being better than usual SWMP mosters is every time they present you with something vile, just say hell no. Hell no! Eat crown, hey, thank you for the five dollars. They do have to open the doors, probably? Yeah, I was like, that's the only thing I could think of. Maybe Niji Sanji did it. They use blades to cut the vinyl checks out. Yeah, I was just like, fuck, dude, how does that even happen? How does that even happen, man? I was so pissed. I was like, I was like fucking angry. Because it's like, if, the, if my car is going to get damaged, it's going to be from fucking my dumb ass, okay? You're not going to damage my car. <laughs> I re I was like, Tim Tim was just like, well, you know, it's just a small cut. It's not a big deal, you know? Like, it's, uh, you can just leave it alone. You don't need to do anything. I was like, what the fuck did you just say to me? I was like, that, that is one way to fucking get me to be even angrier. I was just like telling me to not even bother contacting them to fix that shit. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> it's common for even new cars to have a few miles on them. The Volkswagen factory where they sell zero miles on cars is an exception, not the rule. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I know I know. sometimes they come with like a couple hundred maybe, but like mine mine had 600 specifically because it was a dealer car. So like when people when people went to the dealership and they were like, hey, yo, I want to test drive uh, this make and model. That was that was my car was the one that they used. And so when they this, this is a hot tip for anyone looking to buy a car. Uh, if you go at the end of the year, they're going to be trying to fill their lot with next year's vehicles, right? So 2025, at the end of 2024, they're going to be getting their 2025 models. So they're going to be trying to get rid of all of the 2024 models on the lot. If they have dealer models for showcasing and test driving, all right, those cars 
must be sold at used car prices, even if it is a brand new fucking car. And that brand new fucking car usually has all of the bells and whistles on it that you would have to pay a premium for. But they will put that as a discount instead of you having to pay full price. So I, I got basically like a $60,000 vehicle for only, only, quote unquote, like 32000 Auto manufacturer here, you want factory miles? That means it was quality checks? Yeah, 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 yeah. How many idling miles does it have? Your new motorcycle is a 2024 Honda Transalp? What the heck? You hate the model name! I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, that's weird. Used car prices are still fucked. Yeah, the whole market is fucked right now because of all that chip bullshit. <laughs> Holy base. Yeah, the lot space is more valuable spicy than last year model raid. taking what up the, the space. Spicy yeah. cat raid. Yeah. I tried haggling with them still and they were just like, you know, this is already on like a huge discount, right? I was like, yeah. Yeah, but I feel like I can get it down a little more. <laughs> I I might be a spineless jellyfish, but in certain situations, when the person I'm speaking to is not human, like car dealership people are, I I can have the fury of a Chinese woman. What color wrap did you get? Don't worry about it. I don't want people setting my car on fire, like what seems to be happening to female streamers in current year. As your mom would say, you're trying- Oh my god, I can't say what your mom says, but I agree with her. <laughs> they lose money on cars that sit on a lot a long time. Ask how long they've had the car. True. And true and real. Drive like a Chinese woman? No. If you ever need someone to, like, haggle on your behalf, if you have a Chinese friend, fucking they are the one to go to, dude. They are the one to go to. They are fucking amazing at that shit. Literal Kirsha Itashi. I would lose my mind if I saw one of those. Kirsha, engage white woman levels to unlock the Karen skills. <laughs> oh my god. Is being a streamer as hard as Hassan Piker says? I mean, I probably have some specific issues with it more so than other people because of anxiety. Uh, but it's not like hard, hard. And as soon as I get someone to help with all the back end stuff, it'll be a lot less stressful for sure. I definitely wouldn't compare what I do to someone who works in like construction or underwater welding. That would be really fucking silly. Haggling is a national sport in China. True, true and real. They bank on you not saying anything. Glad you spoke up. Hell yeah. I know, I know how to treat those things. <laughs> Well, they've already gone up in value due to affordability. Hmm. Just woke up. What did you miss? Not too much so far. Why didn't I go for a Honda Prelude? Uh, they don't make Honda Preludes, though apparently they're going to be... Apparently they're going to be doing something about that uh, in the next few years. I heard that they're making a new Prelude model. Can I give you the make, model, and coordinates of my car? I live in the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> can believe streaming is the hardest job Hassan has ever had to work unironically. I could believe that. <laughs> I can believe it's the hardest job he specifically has had to work. But Kirsha, underwater welders don't have to worry about being clipped and posted online. Just, you know, dying in an excruciatingly painful way. Well, you know, when they signed up to be an underwater welder, they understood that they could be turned into spaghetti at any moment's notice if the if the PSI was harsh enough in certain areas. But I, as a streamer, didn't consent to having every moment of my streams clipped. So if you're clipping non-consensually, technically, I could get you in trouble with the law. I'm trying I'm trying to be Hassan, but I feel like I feel <laughs> I feel like it's really hard to argue from that perspective sometimes. <laughs> oh, did I get another raid that I missed? Did I get a did I get another raid? What happened here? Did I miss a raid? I didn't get an alert! I didn't get an alert! I did? Shira Neko Senpai raid. Why didn't my alert go off, you piece of shit alert system? Shira Neko Senpai, thank you for raid. Thank you for raid! I don't know, I don't know why alert didn't go off, but thank you! Thank you, thank you! Clipping equals rape, apparently. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine being like a titty streamer 
in in the fucking just chatting or ASMR sections and being like, um, actually, if you're a man and you're taking clips of my stream, that's kind of like virtual rape because I didn't consent to you clipping me shaking my ass. I was only doing that for people viewing the stream in real time so that maybe they Jeez, would pay Sally, me to see more ass shaking content. But if you're clipping that and you're putting it elsewhere, then why, what is the, what is the incentive for them to come here and pay me for it? So your clips, not only are they undermining me as a woman, but they're literally rape. There's people like that. Oh my God, don't say that. <laughs> oh Lord, you're speaking things into being here. Don't say that. Don't, don't fucking say that, dude. Holy shit. Ah, uh, no. Oh, really? Interesting. Thank you, Ziz. <laughs> you feel like you've heard videos on YouTube already like that. Don't say that, chat. Don't say that to me. I don't want to lose faith. My, my retarded ramblings of making fun of people should not be real. Clipping is free advertising, though. Yeah, I fucking love clippers, dude. Clipper, clippers are free advertising. Azaihara said that he was going to be doing like some rundown. I don't know. Maybe he already did. Some like rundown on, on helping people understand how to clip better. Cause he's a he's a fucking primo ass clipper. Alright, okay. And one of the one of the best ways to support your Oshi is by clipping. One of the one of the best fucking ways. This place is definitely more chill than reading search histories. Aware? I don't know what that means. I don't know I don't know what that means. <laughs> Official FBI agent. Oh, okay. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Without clippers, you would have never found girls like Pippa and Kirsha. True, and true and real. Love, love me clippers. Simple as. <clears throat> I remember, I remember when I when I was like giga giga tiny. Uh, I I like I didn't have any clippers at all. Like now now I have like I was like Hara who clips me sometimes. There's like Vinny, uh, it's virtual VTuber clips who, who clips me sometimes. But uh, when I was even smaller, I had like literally no one. So I would try to contact clippers like in DMs on Twitter and be like, hey. Hey, I'm small streamer. You do small <laughs> help streamer clips. Maybe, maybe you can put some of my clips in your in your clip channel. And the Korean translator clipper, true, true. I shouted him out yesterday in the in the legal mindset stream. Uh, but I never would get a response. And I I have one channel bookmarked. They haven't been active in like two years. But this one channel was the only channel that posted clips of me. And I was like, I fucking love you, guy. They died. Not literally, but like they, st they stopped posting. So I don't know what happened to them. It's elements of the radical feminist. Anything they don't explicitly consent to, even in public, in places where they purposely draw attention to themselves, they attribute to the patriarchy or rape. It's the same issue as the gym thoughts. You think every dude near them is a sexual assaulter? Whenever... Whenever I see uh, fucking the shorts recently on Twitter, of guys going up to girls in the gym and just being like, I know what you're doing, stop that. Cause they're like recording in the gym. People are just like, why is that guy just not minding his own business? Why are you fucking recording in the gym? Why, why are you recording in the gym? Stop that. <laughs> they need to literally ban all filming in the gym. Absolutely, absolutely. The only, the only time I would ever consider going to a local gym at this point as if they banned literally all recording. I was like, Hara's clipping thread. Thank you, Chip. Oh, Chipu does clipus as well. Chipu's clipus. Chipu's clipus. Can uh, can some moderator let Chipu Chipu's I was like, Hara thread through? I'd be that'd be helpful. Love the ironic attempts at gotcha clips that instead make people respond based. Yeah. Yeah, somebody somebody responded to like my my Uki supercut of him being unironically racist with like, how would you feel if somebody did if that every you time buy you said fox, something about black and people? And you put the fox in your house. Put me in your house. It's gonna do fox things. I will. Happy Sunday. Hello, cheese ball. I gotta did pick you up. Did you get the image chosen for your gamer subs cup? I did get the image chosen. I have uh, the artist picked out. It's gonna be gonna be Gedraji. Fucking love that man. He does beautiful artwork. Uh, so we've, we're, we're working on a, on a date for the finishing of that. Working, working on the date and the contracting. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Thank you! Thank you, Warchild, for the ten dollar -y doodles. Thank you, thank you. Can we get a cheese ball update? Is he a good boy? 
He is, he is a decently okay boy. Sometimes he leaves scars on my thighs. What about flavor? I don't know. We're not, we're not discussing flavor yet. We gotta focus on the cup first. One thing at a time, dear chatters. What are the fox things? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? But, uh, yeah, somebody was like, how would you like if somebody did that to you? And it's like, well, that's free advertising. And I was like, wait, actually, that's a great idea. Ziz! Ziz, can you pull up a clip compilation of every time I've told a joke of stereotypical racism about any race? Because, like, I'm sure you could find more of any race than of just black people. Because I know I talk about more than just them. <laughs> Hello from Smoke spicy Streamer! Cat raid. What the hell is a spicy cat raid? Hey yo, Bobster, my buttered lobster baby! Hello! Thank you for the raid! Thank you for the raid. Welcome, hey, raiders! Yo, uh, no. Welcome, raiders! I hope you guys had a good heck in the stream. I hope you had a good heck. What did I just come into? You can't phrase it like that, because I'll get the paternity test. I'm crazy. I'll do it. <laughs> That's what you're saying is make clip channels of your race based jokes. Not a whole channel. I don't have that much content. Cheese mm -hmm. ball. Why are you being so needy? Why are you being a needy kitty? Yeah, you don't like it when I yell, do you? <laughs> Kira literally does a stereotypical Valley Girl axe on every other stream, claiming it's just blacks as hammer and nail syndrome. Pretty much. Pretty much. It's like I fucking hit everyone pretty much equally. Not that much content yet. You need to do better, Kirsha. Sorry. So uh, sorry. Uh, as a as as a as a white person, I apologize. <laughs> Can I settle a bet with a friend of yours? As a fox girl, do I have just the fox ears or a second set of human ears on the side of my head? I do not have human ears. I only have fox ears. No human ears on this woman. A puny one from Utahime Mochizuki. What? Did I get a YouTube raid that I missed? Uh, what? Is this Uki, a white dude, Asian? She's trying to get Peeba ears. True. True. I actually met a valley girl in real life. I was one of the most boring people you've ever met. You named your cat Cheeseball. That's cute. Uh, I, I got two cats from outside. So they were stray cats. And I was like, I feel really bad and I don't want them to die. So I'll take them in. And, uh... There, it, was a, it was a male and a female, and they are super fucking bond- Yeah, the government doesn't want you to know this, but cats are free! You just walk outside and take them home! But, uh, Cheeseball, he's, he's an orange cat. He's an orange stripey cat. And, uh, he had massive testicles. Like, they were fucking huge. Like, larger than grapes. And he was a tiny cat, because it was stray, and a kitten. So I was like, God damn, this guy is bricked up. So I named him Cheeseball, because, you know, orange and giant balls. So now he's Cheeseball. I got him neutered, so he no longer has balls, but his name... His name will live on in infamy. <laughs> and, uh, chat, chat named his sister Gravy, because she's a, she's a turtle cat. Uh, and, it, you know, gravy just made sense. Did you keep the balls, though? No, that's weird. Wemmy claimed cat balls are the softest part of a cat. Can you confirm? Uh, I don't typically touch the cat balls. I just admire their gargantuan size. You feel like that cat's balls live rent-free in your head? I've never seen balls on a cat that large! So, yes, they do. <laughs> you can make the racism compilation after you finally make breakfast! Don't worry about it! There's no rush, Ziz. Don't worry. Again, chat, thanks for giving my cat the last name Beans! His name is Noel Beans! Well, little toe beansies. Little toe beansies. <laughs> He's been deballed! Oh no. I'm scrolling up in the YouTube chat because I know I missed a couple of things. Mwah, 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 mwah. A moderator, Marcy Archive. Thank you for the $5. Make sure that when the collapse happens, you find Pippa. She might have a bunker in the woods with food and ammo. I don't think there's any might. I think it's she will. She already does, probably. <clears throat> Motherfucking Emperor Creatine. Thank you for the $5. Recently bought your first car last September, 2023 Kia Forte GT. From an actually legit local dealer for about 32k. With 10-year drivetrain warranty. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I have no reason for a second car, but like, man, I... 
fucking preludes are happening again soon, and I'll be really sad. The Pakistani National, thank you for the five Canadians. In Australia, Jim Chain made a new rule that you have to buy a filming license from the gym and get consent from everybody around you. You see, that just makes sense. That just that that's a good rule. Good on them. Gooby! <clears throat> Gooby, thank you for the ten ah listening to Kirsha stream while listening to Lord of the Rings Shire ambience in the background at the same time is the most blissful white pilling thing. You've experienced all week. Here's to you, Foxy. Thank you, Gooby. Danny D, thank you for the 499. Great collab with Legal Mindset. Thank you, it was a fun-ass time. <laughs> Help. Kia and Hyundai are bad now. They're worsened with their warranties to match. But but Prelude is Honda, not Hyundai. <clears throat> More countries should follow Japan's photo laws. I would absolutely feel <clears throat> like none of my rights are being taken away if everyone was forced to have the shutter sound on their camera at all times. Are you guys good? Are you okay? Hold on. More milkies. More milkies. No! I wanted to rotate the chair to get a picture and I've made them unravel! I made them unravel! Oh, they were so cute. Oh, they were so cute. It's okay, the chair is facing me now, so if they if they start doing it again, I can get a picture. <laughs> get rotated! No name, thank you for the one month member. What country should follow Japan's photo laws? Like, I just like, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter to me. I don't I don't think it would infringe on anything to have the camera shutter sound on. Uh, James Foss, thank you for the five dollar doodle. Speaking of balls, yours are hurting. Kirsha, explain. Stop sitting on them, idiot. <clears throat> Catching up on the stream with a legal mindset. You missed an hour. Welcome. Welcome. You missed the shutter sound. <laughs> Proctor, thank you for the 13 month resub. God damn. It's been 13 fucking months. They say 13 is unlucky. Is it unlucky to have met a fox like you? Given your taste in men, maybe. But I'm still along for the ride, wherever it goes. You'll be here, and remember, I will bully you into being a functional human being. How the fuck are you gonna bully me when you've been using different femboy avatars? It's like, it's like you're literally spraying yourself with fox repellent, you fucking British person. Sounds reasonable. <laughs> Hi, you found me by Legal Mindset. Welcome! Welcome, Legal Mindset, friends. Based. Proctor, a functional human being. You don't feel like being functional today. You just want to eat Kirsch's ear cherries. I need to I need to shred another block of cheese. I'm almost out. I need, I need another shredded block. Need to be able to record crazy people for evidence. So they'll be able to say anything they want and accuse you of anything they want. Do you think if a person's in the middle of a crazy fucking rant... They'll manage to hear and register a bloop when you start recording? I really doubt it. Next stream, your avatar will simply be a giant close-up of a bodybuilder's hairy chest. Okay, alright, okay, alright. Patton friend, thank you for five Canadians, British, femboy, name a more iconic duo. Maybe the Germans. Kirsha, seems YouTube is overtaking Twitch. How do you feel about the change? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean by this? He's aiming for Tedma now? What do you mean? I like the bodybuilder people. Bags, is that you? Do you think the newbies know the lore of Nemothi? Probably not. A probably not. <clears throat> Speaking of though, the Red Hunter, thank you for the 17 month tier three resub. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Not live. Thank you for the hundred biddies. Gets the flamen verfer. Nefarious Friday 13. Thank you for the 10 month resub. I also like pie. Ironically, my favorite pie is cake because Boston cream pie. It's not a pie. It's a cake. You live in the corn. That's all the lore people need to know. Well, that's not true. The sounding is all your fault. At your last job, a woman threatened to shoot you and recorded her whole freak out. At the end of the whole tirade, she just went, oh, I forgot to record. Took all of my power to not laugh hysterically. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, dude. What's the difference between a pie and a cake? A cake does not have an outer crust. 
Nim's voice could put you to sleep? Yeah, he could be a Niji Sanji VTuber. <clears throat> don't scare the legal friends yet. Give them till next stream. So what you're saying is don't do a Findom bit right now. <laughs> Ki Kizzy! Thank you for the nine month resub. Thank you for being born! Lots of people today. And can't wait to hang out when Cloud World starts to collapse under its own bullshit. Hell yeah. Space Pie 9. Thank you for the 11 month resub. She lost to none of these candidates. <laughs> thank you! <laughs> thank you! ELNSC Saratoga, they give the 500 biddies. Be prepared, Kirsha! Your literal who armor will be gone forever and after your filly in collab. Also, just entertain her with stories of your mom. That'll keep her attention forever. My mom's stories, I feel like, are very weird for people who have not been exposed to me. <laughs> My viewership is starting to overtake the Twitch one? Oh. Oh, what? What? You're actually right. How the fuck does that work? How the fuck does that work? Rip Twitch. Is there a trip the first time you hear them? True and real. <clears throat> True oh, and real. I fucked up by trying to inflate my penis like a dick balloon. I want to read that one. <laughs> oh, great Findom Fox. What is your wisdom? Magnus Golden Gear. Thank you for the $10 doodles. Thank you. Thank you. If you're trying to pay tribute to me, I only want the bloodiest of blood diamonds. If you aren't ready to tell me that at least 20 children died trying to mine that diamond for me, I don't fucking want it. Mom, she's being weird again! You do love Twitch's emotes much better than YouTube? My... My perspective is if you want the best viewing experience, watch the stream on YouTube, but use the Twitch chat. You can pop out the Twitch chat and then just go watch on YouTube. Because chatting in Twitch is a better experience, but watching on YouTube, the player is better. Best you can do is scraped knee for a box of Ritz crackers. Can confirm you're doing it this way. YouTube DVR love! Your diamonds only come from the worst situations and possible. Danawar, thank you for the oh, thousand oh, biddies. Oh, 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 <clears throat> Is this a big enough diamond, Kirsha? I feel like a fandom person would really enjoy seeing men dressing as women because it would be humiliating, but I find it disgusting. So I'm not sure how to answer that, John Cena. <laughs> you, you, you've done that quite a few times with Twitch and YouTube, but stop doing it as much because you can't earn channel points without watching on Twitch. Well, I mean, yeah, but maybe the people who who are dual wielding, watching YouTube and chatting in Twitch, uh, don't really care too much about the channel points. <sighs> Did I have time to look into the Whacter disaster yet? No. No, Master Go, thank you for the two dollars. Your friend Z posted a stream suggestion. I have not looked at stream suggestions at all today. <clears throat> Twitch is too fast for your old man eyes. I'm used to Twitch speed. I'm used to Twitch speed. Uh, I don't I don't know how I'll handle it if I ever have to dual wield chats and then shit is like a Pippa speed or Asmund Gold speed. That might be too much for my old woman eyes. If you mute the tab itself, not the stream, and keep it as a separate tab, you get to keep the channel points going. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Okay, all right. You don't know why that never clicked with you and why your bits keep going down but not up when you do the occasional redeem. What? There's a very good reason why you moved away from Britain. Imagine living in Britain. How are you supposed to do the Gamba without channel points? Well, just have like 10 and then hope your betting 10 will just inflate. Because you just never lose. <coughs> YouTube chat is more refined than Twitch chat? I don't know about all that. I don't, I don't know about all that, man. <laughs> you don't have to imagine. Just keep doubling your money. Exactly. Car Saban... 
Thank you for the gift sub to Leader of the oh, Rats. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Mistress Keish, Mistress Keish. We found a Tanzonite stone in the mines. We had a battle royale style fight to the death for the privilege of giving it to you. It's right he. Oh no. Oh god. I lost it. Oh god I killed all my friends for nothing. <laughs> oh god. Well, the orphan who lived, it looks like you're going to have to make some new friends and take those new friends into the mine with you to find that Tanzanite. And until you do, you're not going to be given any food. Thank you for the five dollars, but it's not going to right the wrongs you've done to me today. <laughs> not Findom, by the way. <laughs> Skill issue detected! <laughs> Vtex, thank you for the five euros! A very macho man with a maid dress approaches you! How do you open? <laughs> a a uh, guy, a BDSM hookup clubs around the corner. <laughs> Someone get the Asmund Cuck chair, Jesus Christ. What the fuck is this? It's not even Friday! <laughs> oh my god. Get that jabroni outfit! Oh my god. YouTube has one of the worst chats ever made and your comments will randomly fall into a black hole with no explanation. Twitch has one of the worst players ever made and if your video player even loads, you'll probably be bombarded with ads, banner, or full screen and the page will run like shit. It's really strange. It's really strange how that works. It's sexy grandma Sunday. Man, some like Vice thing started auto-playing about like uh, phone sex operator callers. And they were they were talking to like I didn't watch the whole thing, but in the beginning, the like woman was talking about how she would she would play a character called like Sprinkles the Elf. And like how only she only ever had two guys hang up on Sprinkles. And Sprinkles was like a favorite of people who would call in. But typically the guy the guys would call in and they would they would like explain what they're looking for and then you'd have to like put on a voice and pretend to be a character. And there was a lady who was just like, yeah, when I was pretending to be like an Asian chick, uh, I'd do just like a California accent. Uh, if I was pretending to be black, I would just I would just do a southern accent. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> Rudy, you gonna pop out Twitch chat and watch on YouTube for the premium experience? Yeah. YouTube chat is shit, Twitch player is shit. So just combine the good for both and you'll have a nice time. Old school vibes, phone tube. <clears throat> of course, you didn't watch the whole thing. It had zero sounding. <gasps> Will this comment get spaghettified? I'll fucking spaghettify you! Master Gola, thank you for the two dollars. No such thing as friends, only undefeated frenemies! Just tried and it played with sound. Try again. Whatever channel my audio is on is being muted in the VOD, so you can't clip anything. Well, that doesn't make any sense. I don't make no goddamn sense. None of my shit is going through a splitter right now, so I don't know why you'd be having that goddamn issue. Just become a stream streamer? What? What? <laughs> oh, spaghettify my penis, mommy. What the fuck is wrong with you? You can hear me in the VOD? Okay, alright. I don't want to mod it yet either. I'm gonna <laughs> Spent close to four hours total cleaning rust off my car's wheel rims. My rim is now shiny and my pants are covered in <laughs> WD-40. I don't think I've ever felt WD-40, but I can't imagine it feels good. Lane the Bear, thank you for the five dollars. Four hours is a lot of time. Hopefully your effort goes very rewarded and your car wheel rims are very unrusty and nice looking now. Cool rib job, man. Well done. Oh my god. Such a thin liquid, it barely feels like anything. What if you were to use WD-40 as anal lube? Do you think somebody's tried that? Now I need to know. Now I need to look that up. <clears throat> Hold on. I just opened the wrong window here. I opened the wrong window. We gotta, we gotta go here. All right, we gotta...
can you use use uh in, okay is wd is wd-40 any good at Close relieving constipation what the fuck kind of question is that i was thinking a spoonful or two of wd-40 might help get things moving or since I've always wanted to stick that red tube up my butt anyway, I could lube up from below. Any thoughts? Thanks, Reddit. <laughs> you want to take this one over to r slash shitting advice. Has Marimari underscore EN ever talked about r slash shitting advice? That seems yeah. that seems like it would be right up her alley, yeah. actually. Yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna po I'm gonna post this subreddit to her right now. Hold on. <laughs> Shut up, silly woman. <laughs> Imagine getting hit in the DMs with I found the subreddit and thought of you. <laughs> okay. Jin Rollins, thank you for the two dollars. Poor trauma for Mari Mari. Oh hell yeah, here's one! Here's what if I used olive oil as a lube during anal sex? What? Ooh, my girlfriend and I have been using olive oil for anal sex for the past year, and we both like it. For me, it seems to be the perfect viscosity for a tactile feeling of superiority over all of the other lubes we've oh, tried. Nice call. And we have tried many. It could just be my personal preference, but the other lubes we tried seemed too slippery and couldn't feel almost any friction. I'm Shut not up. a quick comer. Silly woman. This, uh, this guy ain't no Johnny Quick Comes, eh? <laughs> so personally, love the added friction feeling I get from olive oil. Also, my girlfriend says olive oil lube gives her a more pleasurable sensation when we are having anal sex. And she can feel my ejaculate hitting on the walls of her rectum. But that could be from the intensity of my orgasms. Parentheses. Fire hose yes! of cum. Close parentheses. Due to the olive oil. <laughs> Fucking fire hose of cum! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Silly woman. You're gonna stroke? You white bitches love dogs, and I gotta tell you, I got a fire hose of gum. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh god! <laughs> I can't see. I can't see. I have noticed that her cream pies look to be twice the size since we started Him. using Him. all of them. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> and that is one of my kinks to watch my huge load of sperm ooze out of her mouth. Fucked. Silly oh, woman. Really? in your house it's gonna do fox things i'm gonna do the fox things dude so if you're here for the first time <laughs> ah, welcome to the world of kish welcome to the ride of my tabs you can give me butt scratches like i am a <laughs> real butt damn this bitch shit is wild <laughs> i did say at the beginning of stream i was gonna finish the bridge shit and i haven't even gotten there yet Oh, God. 
It was a certified top 10 grandma fox laugh moment. What do you mean? Telling me my laugh sounds like Muriel from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Oh, God. A pickle cucumber, thank you for the $2. Uh, Hayden, thank you for the $10. And the welcome to the world of Kirsha. Part-time dreamer. Thank you for the five. <laughs> <laughs> Big boy, fuck along. Avalanche Grim, thank you for the two gift subus. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Grumpy old man. Great Uncle Russ. Oh my god, why are they why are they both family members? Potion Dweller, thank you for the eight month resub. I wonder if Jetstream Sam refers to his nuts as you can stream get me stream come. Like I'm a real pet. What the fuck? Sir, this is a build a bear. <laughs> yeah, me and my me and my olive oil have a date with one of those after dark build a bears. <laughs> oh fuck! Thank you, Almighty Lolly, for the five dollar redoodles. I was not expecting this olive oil tangent when I looked up the WD forty. Oh fuck. Um, I don't see- I don't see anyone who has tried. Oh wait. I use WD-40 as lube for masturbation. Now my penis is red and inflamed. What should I do? <laughs> People are just, uh, saying to watch it- or wash it, not watch it. <laughs> Guys are vermilion, they give the ten dollar doodles. I'm sorry, brothers, I thought this stream would be safe to eat during, and apparently I jinxed it! I will finish my food. Luckily I wasn't chewing during that tangent. Do not the Korsha. I feel like you only would have had a problem eating during that uh that tangent if uh if you were eating like salad with an olive oil dressing on it. Follow the CDC information. <laughs> People have definitely tried. I mean, maybe, but they just haven't- they haven't put it online, I guess. I just ha they just haven't put it online. I body safe lubricants, coconut oil used as a lubricant. Technically, WD-40 and anal lube are both penetrating oil. Yeah, but that's technically. That's technically. I was like, I, I don't have- I don't have anything, uh, I don't have anything here where people talked about using it. That's unfortunate, but at least we got the olive oil story. Just use regular oil! The elites don't want you to know this. But while vegetable oil is very bad for you to consume, you can just pour it in your women's anus! You can- you can fill that bitch up and fuck it! <laughs> WD-42 is for the robot girls. Good lord. Hello, Nano, you fucking cutie. You fucking cutie patootie. Oh. You know, I recently switched from cooking with olive oil to cooking with butter. That was fortuitous, because now I will never be able to look at a bottle of olive oil again without feeling a deep sense of disgust and the urge to clench my butthole. Fuck you, you're weak and your bloodline is weak! I'm gonna keep cooking with the olive oil! I've actually been looking for specific olive oil bottles, you know? I wanna... I wanna clear for, for my olive oil and vinegar, even though I can't stand the smell of vinegar and it makes me barf. I'm gonna- I'm gonna have to get one of those, like, fucking quarantine gas masks from Chernobyl when I clean my kitchen with the vinegar. Do not put olive oil in your expensive engines because olive oil is expensive too. Doesn't mean it's right! Never knew you'd be sent on a memory spiral into Bible Black, but you're not complaining! <laughs> New kink unlocked. That- that artist image of, like, the anime woman bent over the hood of a car and the guy putting the gas pump inside me, her ass me, and then filling me, her with me. it lives rent-free in my head. <laughs> because everyone on Twitter freaked the fuck out and they were like, Whoa! How could you do that?! He really You're encouraging people to do dangerous behavior! He really unvirgined the olive oil! <clears throat> I didn't even think of that joke. Good one, dude. <gasps> Part-time dreamer, they give you five dollars. Kirsha, do you ever regret how far you've gone? My only regret 
is not knowing how to go even farther. <laughs> Olive oil in an old diesel engine probably would make the engine run better. I don't know anything about cars, so I wouldn't know about that. Master Go, they give you the two dollars. Your ex liked cold barn feel of Vicks Vapo Rub in her. I got bad news for you. Your ex is probably working at Queen Snake now. <laughs> <clears throat> Jam jar. Yeah, that girl that girl's probably like <laughs> when she's when she's trying to talk all sexy, she's just like <clears throat> <clears throat> Man, my phlegm is bad today. I'm not gonna be like that extra virgin olive oil. I'm your extra slutty olive oil. And then the guy looks at her all confused, like, What do you mean? I don't have any spinach with me! <laughs> do you think wifing her would fix her or make her worse? I don't, do people even want to fix me? I feel like they'd want to make me worse. <laughs> me unvirgining the olive oil at the store. Please do not open bottles of olive oil at the grocery store and insert your penis inside of the bottles. There are cameras. <laughs> Please do not stick your penis in the olive oil. Only, only do it with the bottles you have at home. If you crack an egg into her first and then fuck a cup of olive oil inside, will you make ass mayonnaise? I mean, people have made ass milkshakes and ass salads and ass cakes, so I don't see why fucking not. Have you ever tried Mucinex? I tried Mucinex the other night and it seemed to help a little bit, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when I should take it again. I'm gonna be real. Is it only because there are cameras that it's wrong? Hey, yo, look what you do with your bottle of olive oil in the comfort of your own home while you're eating ice cream and watching uh, QVC as your own business. All right, okay. All right, I just like, you can fuck your own bottle of olive oil all you want. Just don't do it in the store. I don't want to see that shit while I'm buying Fruity Loops. That would change the meaning of tossing a salad. True? True and real? I'm sure, I'm sure I won't be able to find it online, so I'm not even going to bother looking, but I'm sure... Somewhere in Eastern Europe, they've gaped an asshole and tossed a real salad in it. A bolly bolly cat! Thank you for the 100 biddies. They're trying to bring liberty and democracy to robots and bugs, and now I'm doing it while thinking of the Kirsha getting hosed down by olive oiled ding dongs. What the fuck? Why Eastern Europe, though? Because if you want strange animalistic degeneracy, you go to Japan porn. But if you want strange, painful degeneracy, you go to Eastern Europe. That's just how porn works. She's got a point. Cry all you want, Mr. Manager. You can't unrape your olive oil. Ah. <laughs> what have these streams done to me? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the five dollars. Imagine, imagine the fucking oiled up naked guy running through the grocery store aisles, picking up the bottles of olive oil, ripping the caps off, and just like dunking his dick in it for a few seconds. Meanwhile, the whole time he's just screaming like, "Can't catch me! I'm the olive oil rapist!" Literally me, for mess. real, for hey, real. You can't make me! I refuse to imagine that. Can Had you the imagine the apple? I made lunch and my roommate heard the olive oil discussion. He just <laughs> looked stroke? at me, shook his head and went back in the room. <laughs> he probably fucks the olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> Jen Rollins, thank you for the five dollars. Your great grandma used vapor rub for those purposes. Thanks, Ooh. grandma, for telling me and my sister Ooh, that. Why did your great grandma tell you about putting Vicks Vapo Rub on her anus? That's a very weird thing to t to tell a family member. I'm very confused. Master Goa, they give the two dollars. There is a trashy vid of a girl pumping gas in her. There's no way. There's no way that that is real because, like, if you actually pumped gasoline inside of a human being, uh, that would be very painful. Very expensive, and it would cause some damage. 
Like, we- we had a whole fucking discussion and not safe for work. I know one of you fucking- I almost slurred at you. I know one of you fucking fruits has the screenshots of when- of when we were discussing how much gasoline you could pump a woman with before she died. We had this conversation! <laughs> You do not desire to fix or war worsen Fox. She's fine as she is. I guess it depends on how much you can fill the girl with gas before she dies. Which I have no idea how much gasoline ingested by asshole it would take. I imagine less than orally since like alcohol. It gets into your bloodstream faster. But a seasoned anal enjoyer can take two liters of liquid sans capsaicin pretty easily. So I guess it would depend on how used to anal that woman in the picture is, and how much gasoline can be pumped into that anus before death. <laughs> Good God, men have cut off their own dicks and then ate them before Kirsha. This is no end to human degeneracy. Yeah, I've, I've seen those threads. <laughs> I'm learning. I don't like it, but I'm learning. Yeah, I'm an educational channel. Good fucking God. Jen Rollins, thank you for the $5. Your great grandma was a sex addict and your grandma is a loud mouth. Oh, okay. All right. Robbie Deadman, thank you for the $10. While we're on oils, genitalia, and Kirsch's favorite pastime, sounding. We didn't even talk about sounding. You recommend on YouTube the college football method of getting clean piss as is shown in Blue Mountain State's oil change. I'm not pissed, Tuba! Vitex, thank you for the two euro. Till death blow us apart! Gasoline is poison. Any amount in the ass can kill. I mean, like, I assume it wouldn't take much to kill you. I'm just a piss retention tuber. Has there ever been any follow-ups on how the people who cut off their peepees and ate them handled life after that point? They probably just killed themselves, I'm gonna be real with you, but, uh, I don't know if any of them ever did a follow-up thread on the fortunes. Kirsha needs to do a Bible reading stream after this. Holy shit! We used to raid Abby on Sundays because, you know, we could repent for all of our cursed knowledge for the rest of the week. Is the woman standing up, lying down, hung upside down? Oh my god. <laughs> That's just what Big Gas wants you to think. They don't want you to sip the car juice! <laughs> the elites don't want you to know this, but you can fill your woman with gasoline at the gas station and you can use that later for your car so you don't have to go back. <sighs> Wish she'd bring back her Sunday stream same. Used to, what happens? She doesn't stream as much anymore. WD-40 is basically petroleum. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Hi- Hyper Shada, thank you for the seven months of Prune. Thank you for pruning. E Karan Hey, thank you again for that gift sub to Shiro Neko Senpai. Thank you, thank you. A Bobster. Bobster, thank you for the 14 month resub, my buttery lobster. Schmitty87, thank you for the prune. Thank you, thank you. Sambo1994, thank you for the 15 month resub. Big thank you. Fighting Foo, thank you for the 10 month resub. Thank you, thank you. Ah, no, Avalanche Grim, thank you again for the two gift subs. Potion Dweller, thank you for the 8 month resub. Shells the End, thank you for the 9 month resub. Another birth! Another one! They're just falling out at this point! Kirsha, is 5W30 sex safe lube? I don't know what that is. Razorwin VT, thank you for the $5 doodles. Since Uki is the dipshit of the week, you looked up Uki on Urban Dictionary and found that Uki means smelly vagina in Hawaiian. Well, the name fits. <laughs> mm, how many miles per gallon does your woman get? Oh my god. Good job, Kirsha. You're doing your feminine role brilliantly. What does he mean by this? Probably good she doesn't know it's engine oil oh it's machankical oil oh. oh okay that makes sense i only know about the antifreeze and how it looks like kool-aid but you shouldn't drink it you were curious <laughs> who keeps knocking up kirsha to begin with i'll be all of you i guess if you get to nine months <laughs> 
Maybe it's Twitch? Maybe it's Twitch who causes the babies? I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works. I just like, I just liked how somebody said that about Fauna and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go with it. That's fucking great. That's actually how the Smex box gets powered. What the hell? But the antifreeze tastes so sweet. Please do not drink the antifreeze. Do not. Jam jar. Jam jar. Thank you for the subby bubby. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. Spider God 99. Thank you for the gift sub to elastic butt cavity. That made me think of the, the nutty putty cave for some reason. If they didn't want you to drink antifreeze, then it wouldn't taste so good. What the fuck? Blinker fluid isn't real, bingo bango! <clears throat> but a uh, bud shits, thank you for the gift sub, my guy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Ghoul Natick, thank you for the gift sub to Stray Wolf. Thank you. Real Sebastian Monroe, thank you for the hundred biddies. There's an olive oilery and wineries in Door County, Wisconsin. Seems to be a good place for you to visit now that I think about it. I do not wish to be filled with the olive oil! Hey! You can't make me! Roses are red, my Oshi likes blue. If you were the Korsh, there's something wrong with you. God, <laughs> I'm tired. Centurion Max, thank you for the $5 and the beautiful poem that's true and real. Kirsha Voice is radio host God tier. <clears throat> I can't I can't do like the weird radio soundboard noises. I'd always uh I'd be like I was like, what, what would my radio station be called? Like, FOX FM? Yeah, Fox big FM, dude. <laughs> Woman Focus. You gotta cover the new bridge things. What the fuck is Focus? Massive Doggo, thank you for the 690. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Did Chad ever claim to be normal? I, I don't think you would survive here if you were normal, let's be honest. Kirsch's poetry slam with occasional tabs. <laughs> Fox FM, real trap shit. <clears throat> Focus is a car. True. True. 102.3 Findom FM. It'd be called something like Findo Wars. <clears throat> and just use the Korsha for socks and pillowcases. What the fuck? What the hell? You'd rather fill Kirsha with tendies? <sighs> Please do not insert tendies into any orifice except mouth. Freedom Cowboy, thank you for the 499. I don't mean to get political, but beans. Master Go, thank you for the $2. Jin Rollins, no shame if your grandma is Queen Snake. She's the queen of the Queen Snakes. Absolutely. Let me, let me, uh, let me, uh, get to a tab here. I wanted to open this tab. They've already deleted it. They've already deleted it before I get to the bridge stuff again. You know, we're going to keep putting... They deleted it, so we're, we're looking at it in an archive. <laughs> <clears throat> Alpha O, thank you for the $5. Collab yesterday was great! You explained things well, and your IRL lore is crazy. Thank you for being yourself. You were always fun to see. Thank you. Thank you. I don't even know how my mind works. <sighs> yeah, the Korsha makes the fluffiest pillowcases. I'd lay my head on a Korsha. Yeah, we got a hit list here. We got a, uh... Indies merch artists that support Doki. Uh, these are Twitter handles of those who support Doki and throw stones at Niji Sanji EN and any color. Note, work in progress. Please wait. Disclaimer, I did not make this list all by myself. A lot of input are from Niji fans. And I just make the compilation here and double check by looking up for the evidence tweets. First and foremost, block this person, FlipsyVT, one of the most disgusting people in the community, two-faced person who trash talk any color, Niji Sanji EN, Elira, and Vox, revenge, retweeting revenge porn of Elira and making fun of her. Is it, is it revenge porn if it's a drawing? Like, it might be in poor taste, but is it revenge porn if it's a drawing? I don't, I don't think that would count. And making fun of her, but they're still replying to Niji EN Liver's tweets, acting like a goody two-shoes. <clears throat> drama tubers, clippers, YouTubers, and streamers. Kyomaru, drama tuber, the one who stirs the situation the most. 
if Kyo doesn't change his Discord name to Kyo parentheses, the one who stirs, close parentheses, I'll be really disappointed. <laughs> Admitted he hates Niji Sanji and biased. Screenshot of the deleted tweet. I hate Niji Sanji. <laughs> The, the one who stirs! The Kyo who knocks, dude. <laughs> Very communist and national socialist behavior. Eric Jimenez, they give the 199. They did the same shit during the uh, the Hogwarts Legacy shit. They tried making a like a website where you could look up if a streamer had played the naughty, naughty anti twans video game. <laughs> So this is this is kind of like par for the course. The hog of cost at Fallside Drama Tuba Scum of the Earth number two. Well, like he's a journalist, so he's not human. But I don't know if I would call him Scum of the Earth. Yeah, that's a. I just, I don't know, man. <laughs> Did Kirsha ever consider voice acting? I would love to do voice acting. Dreamy Chew. I don't know who the fuck this is. I don't know their Twitter. It said on their community post they don't want to support Niji anymore. Oh! How could they? What a what a terrible crime to have committed. I don't wanna. It's worse now. They have it for Twitter. Spoilers, you're safe for now. Oh, I know. Oh, I know, and it's funny. Tectone, our, our favorite Eggy man, actively riling up the hate, and after the Black Box stream, he tweeted, I love how Niji Sanji's response was, please respect everyone but Solen. I'm calling any color a shit company, and the stream a smear campaign. That doesn't... Okay. <laughs> they list they list fucking moist critical, some ordinary gamers, Mudahar, Asmongold, Hero Hey, Coefficient, Evanito, Kenji. Bitch, what kind of a list are you fucking making? What is this? <laughs> what literally the Niji Sanji was such a drama of the week? Everyone was talking about it. You would have to blacklist literally fucking everyone. What do you mean? False light is kind of the keem star of VTubers. Sometimes he's on the right side. Sometimes he's on the wrong side. I've heard him called purple keem star. I, I, got, I got very much put off of him because my first, my very first introduction to purple keem was when I was playing Tower of Fantasy and he put out the video about how VTubers were upset that Tower of Fantasy had ripped off their designs not understanding that Tower Fantasy had a character creator. And he specifically brought up uh, Pippa and Silvervale as examples, where Pippa was actively encouraging people to recreate her avatar because she thought it was cute. And Silvervale made a joke about how, you know, her, her design was being copied. And she, she was joking. <laughs> you remember that? That was, that was my only exposure. And I was like, well, I mean, if he's lying about something so silly, what else does he lie about? False is a guy that pushes woke Twitter cancer culture. Fuck him. I don't know what else he does because I don't typically watch his stuff. I watched a little bit of his stream the other day on uh, like the Uki stuff. I was, uh, I was about it. No Rima, no Rev, no Nusagi. Sisters need to do their reps. Artists and merch people. So this is like, this is probably a nice list of people that I should look up and see if their art style matches any of the visions that I have and maybe hit them up and be like, hey, yo. Take my money. <laughs> Indies, other corpos, etc. Mooj IN. Genshin wannabe VTuber calling for Vox graduation under Kyo's tweet. Made a tweet about Vox, Elyra, and Ike, EK. I don't know how to fucking pronounce that guy's name. Disregarding privacy. Overall, very vocal about hating on Niji, Sanji, and the Livers. Parte, Lex, not. Jojushi, Shinri's? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Just giving Vox, Elyra, EK pro tip after black box. Wait a minute. It says it's a past life alt. Are they like actively posting about people's past lives in here? Ayo, hey, dude, what it what it what is your damage? Ayo, hey, dude, what is you doing? Sayu VTuber. I know him as a voice actor. 
telling Niji Sanji to do better, made video about Niji, Niji Sanji without research, got his source from 4chan, and threw all of his Niji friends under the bus back when Selenza issue was at his highest peak by talking about how he almost decided to join Niji, but they wanted him to stop voice acting with very little to no actual details. Scar unfollowed him later on. I mean, like, if true, yeah, that's fucking weird. Uh, if if true, like, we don't we don't know any of these like personal stories. Their their damage is Niji fan. <gasps> Jesus Christ, you leave that big company alone. <laughs> Unofficial collab list. Domo Ariga, thanks. Weirdo, <laughs> fucking weirdo. Tweet shady stuff to Arvurun, who was allegedly supposed to be the fourth Crisis member. I don't know what the fuck any of that means. Hum Hammer Schema, the Height CEO. I don't know what that is. Discontinued Height collaboration with Niji Sanji. Re Kami, he's supporting Doki. I think this is fine. You can support both without harassing and stirring hate. Then why are they on this fucking document? Why are they fucking here? Uh, what? What do you mean by this? Kage VTube! Kage no Bunshin VTuber! Plot twist. False Eyes secretly Keemstar with a voice changer. That would unironically be the most fun plot twist that I have seen ever. What if, what if Keemstar was just... What if False was just Keemstar's son? <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be like a, a Hassan and a fucking Sank Yuger situation, right? Massive Doggo, thank you for the seven dollary doodles. Freedom Cowboy, thank you for the subby bubby as well. Thank you, thank you. A ghoul Natick, thank you for the gift sub to Zezubone. Thank you. What the fuck is this dog? It looks more like a draft for the next VTuber gotcha bestiary. Uh, schizo Jeez, ramblings. Sally, your boyfriend lets you have two comms? What are, what are Kage's sins? Liking hashtag sink the yacht and Falside's tweet comparing Alira and Doki. Yeah. Help Doki subs. Wow! He's literally Hitler! Nice boat. You might have made AI art of Kirsha with the olive oil bottle. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? A dove love VT tweeting sink the motherfucking yacht! <laughs> these these are some horrendous war crimes, and frankly, I am disgusted. <laughs> V Gumiho, Doki's friend, openly supporting her and shit like that. Shu unfollowed her and unmodded her. Who the fuck is Shu? Who the fuck is Shu? Why does this matter? <laughs> I don't know who, but they got followers. <laughs> this bitch is literally just like, I don't know who the fuck these people are, but they got a lot of followers. Twitter, so that must mean something literal. Fucking V tweeter behavior. What is wrong with you? Niji sisters, please, you are not sending your best. At Ara Ared's Grace, calling Enna a bully, have liked negative tweets, doesn't buy this. Kodo's mental health tweet. Bye, bitch. Retweets and tweets too much. Just look at their account and you'll know. Had to dig old ones. What the fuck? She doesn't even have words for these. Lama Lama Sama VT memes. Suki, Suki, Suki Luna YouTube, Leo Taku VTube, Shini VTuber, Odo Satoshi, Nix Cam, Kuro so Solo, Bladeva, Grave Power, Azure Will, Big Banana, Wong, Lara, Mis Mr. J, Ma oh, the gunman? The gunman? He's gonna, he's gonna get a knock from the Niji sister ATF. They're gonna shoot his fucking dog. Not the memes, dude. A Braka EN VTuber, Sun Woo. Kenneth Bivens, De Deuce VTuber, I I Leafara Rando question mark, Kai Kai New Salon, Joy U News VT Nick Stick Band VT Takes. You know I actually don't know if that's Band VT memes or if that's a different fucking account. <laughs> Grip Grim Val Grim Vale VT Chica Boom Pick it. <laughs> Patchman on here? <laughs> what the fuck did the Patchman do? <laughs> what the actual fuck? You think they're all the same people? 
That reminds you, you need to order that patch later. Jin Rollins, I give you the $2. Looks like Nyaners and Aethel are on the list. Oh, Jesus Christ. Findermau, Senama, VT. Your local goose? Assuming their Oshi was one of the three and said they'd stop supporting them? What do you mean by assuming? Crossing Genesis, Arena VTuber, Otapic, Robbie Ruse, the Dark Enjoyer, Juyuse, Strawby Milk. Is that is that like Rev Strawby or is that a different Strawby? I don't I don't pay attention to people's ats. I like I know their display name, which is which is why I find it ever so amusing when people type my name Kirsha but with the I like asterisk because that's what I have it set to <laughs> on fucking Twitter. Different. Okay. Eris Veal, unsure. A baddie wanderer, pen kick, pen, waza raza, boom, Kyo, Kyoro draws stuff, Ancha, Yuri, Doodle Nab, Chowdery, it's Nemu Nemu, nu, Nua, Nightstone, Step Art, Sleepy Cricket, Honey, Oni, YouTube, The Wolf Blant, Slime, Poopari Baba, Grey Naughties, Baba Baba, I don't recognize, like, I don't, Azehara! Aze, Azehara, you know what? They have this aria of effect person saying Doc's Vox's personal life on X. Please report their tweet. You, you literally posted that you had a hollow live past life on here. What the fuck do you mean? How are you? How are you gonna do the exact same fucking thing that you're angry at someone else for doing? Typical prog behavior. Yeah, big guy. <laughs> what are the chances that they commit friendly fire via purity spiral? Oh my garen fucking teed massive doggo dude these people don't know how to not eat themselves that's crazy fucking azahara though rave nambri natalia kawaii skulls ring ayanara ninchi i can't pronounce that man aurora maqui wait this is this is that fucking kami person isn't it the one the one that was just like if i win at the vtuber awards i will say free palestine yukai chan vt mia tamoe vt in support of livers. Is that like Tomoe Horsewoman? I know that Tomoe. Ludmila VT, Kirari, Hikari Celestia, Honey Oni, Grey Naughties, Doodle Nab, Cookie Von Sweet. What? Az Azehara. <laughs> Az Azehara, why are you on here twice? You made, you made this person seethe so fucking hard. <laughs> They put you on here twice. <laughs> same with the same with the fucking Kami. She's on here twice too. Orin Gaming, Aria of Effect, Ancha Yuri, Sleepy Cricket. I think they're on here twice as well. Same with the Nua Nightstone. Did they just like copy paste and forget what they were doing? There's the Tomoe VT again. Step Arts Snuffy, the the Raccoon Lady. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? The San, San, San Sinjin is on here literally back to back. This. This person isn't fucking real. This person isn't fucking real, dude. Holy shit. LEV tuber, D Dragon, Zombie Cow, Shark Stark, Zins, CG, D Sen, Tenjoyer. This person is a skip. Poor Trigger Point didn't make the. I didn't make the list. <laughs> the, lit the literal Who Shield is fucking nuts, dude. The wolf and wings, thank you for the four month member. Thank you, thank you. Our fox didn't make it in. It's so over. It's okay. Uh, I'm not. I'm not deserving of the blacklist. I only posted the five minute racist compilation. <laughs> How in the fuck did you not make it? I don't know. You're not on the list. You need to start clipping into overdrive, dude. If they end up shooting themselves in the foot and it turns into a chain reaction, it'll be the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't have enough followers to make the list. You know, that's probably true. That's that's true and real. <laughs> Those guys could create a hundred accounts each just to fuck with them. Does this person scream philosophical consistency to you? No. <laughs> Not at all. You didn't make it, but Azehara's on there twice. Azehara confirmed more clout than me. <laughs> Whose shooter manifesto is this? Some niji sister. UNFC Saratoga, thank you for the 300 biddies. Uh, San is on the list, the sweetest teacher mom. Does not deserve any hate, and if anyone goes after her, you'll fight them. I don't, I don't recognize half the people on the list, I apologize. I'm like bad with names to begin with, but especially when it comes to Twitter, like I don't, I don't pay attention to people's handles, just like what their display name is. Niji Sanji hit list at 100,000 followers on Twitter. What the fuck? You are a true V-tweeter. A V-tweeter Coomer. 
Super bad. Thank you for the two dollars. Wait, they made a hit list. Very sane behavior. Yeah, like I said, it's the same thing they did during uh, the Hogwarts Legacy shit. Like on unironically unhinged behavior. But it's okay because they're somehow on the right side of history. You're unnoticed because you're the VTuber shadow government. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just like George Soros. You can't, you can't speak my name. You can't notice or bad things will happen to you. The Clintons will come with their assassin squad. <laughs> Have a good night, Eker on hate. The magic of literal hoodum. Can't fathom the mindset of defending a huge corporation that abuses its talents and in the process destroying your social clout. Like imagine bending over backwards for a company this much. Yeah, like even in the past when I was just like, yeah, Niji seems to be a very shit company. But like, that doesn't mean you shouldn't still support the talents because that, that is their job. That is their literal income. So like, even if you don't want to support the company, still support the talents who work hard. Because like, I would feel very bad for saying, don't do that, right? Because that, that's how they make their living. After all of this new shit with Niji Sanji, I was just like, all right. Okay, the talents have basically just outed themselves. So I'm going to drop that whole, well, don't, don't not spend stuff on the talents to just like, Fuck the whole thing. Throw it all out, dude. Imagine doing this for, say, Activision Blizzard or Meta. Caillou makes Hollow Cure and is the fucking goat of everything. Oh my god. Improv, thank you for the two dollars. And Kirsha is Italian, so they worry about the familia. Jesus Christ. Their whole corporal culture is being shit. Yeah. You only feel bad for Scarl and Rosemi? Mm. Niji Sanji can't get out of the endless combo of bad news. I just, it just keeps getting worse for them. It just keeps getting worse, dude. How do I get on that list? Scarl's still there and she legit hasn't done anything. Just roped into crazy by crazy co-workers. Yeah. Like literally the smartest thing to do, even if you agree with Niji Sanji's decisions, is to just not say fucking anything. But then you had the three fucking stooges make that response video. And then, and then you had more of the talents like making comments on the video and telling everyone to watch it. And then, and then you had Uki coming in with like his giant racist flag, like it's pouring gasoline on a fire, dude. Uki took a vacation now. Something gets a shadow suspension. He was he was just fucking vibing for days after that racist shit happened. So if he's on a stealth suspension, fucking good. It took them a hot minute to get down to it because I'm sure they didn't want to do it. People are desperate for belonging and purpose, and simping for corporations gives them that. This is literally the tuber core business model. Check their investor statements. <laughs> Toast Engineer, thank you for the five dollar doodles. I can understand wanting belonging, right? I understand wanting to be in a community of like-minded people who are nice and interact with you. But like, if you if you can't speak out. If you, if you can't be like, hey, something seems kind of weird here, like, isn't this maybe a little bit bad? Without getting attacked and villainized and ostracized from that community, do you really have a sense of belonging there? Or are you more just entertaining people who would throw you away at the first sign of any kind of resistance? Like, that doesn't, that doesn't feel like it's a fun time to have. Niji lawyer, shut up. <laughs> Seth Drill, thank you for the five euro, my guy. Thank you, thank you. A pickled cucumber, thank you for five dollars. That's uh, what people are getting confused. The company's sole purpose is to make money at any cost, and that's it. Be loyal to the people, not the company. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have no vested interest in community or a foreign company you don't work at. Yeah, and it's like, I, I understand the defense of the company because they want to be in the community that that company has fostered. But it's like, it's the talents that fostered those communities individually, <laughs> not the company. <laughs> Domesticated for Thales, thank you for the three months sub. You believe this would be the perfect example of a ship of fools? Solan and Pamu have already jumped ship as the rest of the company sails off to the end of the world. Hmm? Uki's the worst racist you've ever seen literally saying uh, whites like to take walks in the summer is like the worst racist joke I've heard. He's probably not the worst racist I've heard. And it's like, I probably wouldn't have even said anything about his comments if it wasn't a double standard situation. The issue is, is that you can't do that stuff without people getting mad at you, unless it's directed at white people. 
saw a clip of Crony mentioning how she defended her manager because she felt her manager was wronged by other staff. Turns out it was a misunderstanding, but imagine that happening in Niji Sanji. Imagine. Did I see what happens when you change a band wagon list to band wagons list in the URL? No. No. What does it change to? Hold on. Uh, history. Um, I only have... I only have the archive. Let me see here. Band wagoners. Okay. Band wagon to band wagons. Mm, uh, mm. I don't know, both, both of the things you typed are wrong. The URL is just band wagoners. There's no list in the name. I, I guess I'll copy and paste both of the things you said there since both are wrong and see if either of them come up with anything. <clears throat> okay. All right, the, ba the bandwagon list does bring up an active. So the, the original link is 404 and it seems like bandwagon list is the new one that is active right now. New one that is active right now. Are there any updates to it? Indies, other corpos. I don't know who Bodega follows. Doesn't look like it has any updates. And then bandwagon list with the S. Let's see what this one brings up. Agorist, my guy. Oh, I clicked on the wrong tab. Help, I'm losing it. No, both of them just look to be... Both of them are the same. So ba bandwagon list and bandwagons with an S list uh, both lead to the same active page. Both lead to the same active page. Business management principle of profit for shareholders above all really falls when shareholders run profitability of the company completely. Bandwagon's list is an edit made by someone that was watching Legal Mindset earlier. Weird thing about this is that he has done this multiple times on stream and people still defend him because, oh, it's white people? Like, if you want to see something is racist, just switch out white for any other color and see how it sounds. They, they defend him not because they think it's a double standard. They defend him because they think white people deserve it. Scroll to the bottom of Bandwagon's list. Oh. Oh, the Bandwagon's list. Yeah, it does have edits on here. Notable mentions, Rima, Kirsha, Height, Pippa. Why? They discontinued their Niji Sanji contract. Also, Will the Korsha. What the fuck is wrong with you? Please sub to Legal Mindset and become a Black Lives Matter member. Sub to Doki Bird if you haven't already. She's pretty great. That's a cute edit. That's a, that's a cute fucking edit. That's a cute fucking edit. Pippa didn't say anything, did she? She didn't. She she typically stays out of uh, any kind of VTuber corpo drama. Understandably and correctly so. BLM is based legal mindset. Oh, okay. Oh, ah, oh, fuck. I dropped a b bottle of nail polish. Imagine having to pay for someone or something done by other people who just happen to have a similar skin color. What? Dragging Pippa into this is extremely gay. It is. It, it, it is, a, it is a, little, a little gay. Just, uh, you know, don't want don't want to have her implicated in anything. The only time Pippa said anything was when Pamu graduated because she was surprised it wasn't Selen. Yep, I remember, I remember that. It happened while she was live, so she was kind of taken aback. Regarding Doki, it's the best to just say nothing and move on. If anything, Pippa was sad she couldn't see the Neopets stream. Yeah, I think there was a tweet about, like, they took Neopets from us again. <laughs> Did I see Rakita's comments on the Doki Bird situation? Yeah. Yeah, I saw his drunken rant on that. Uh, 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 fucking him trying to fail the pronunciation. What was it? Like, Doki Bird and Ninjin Sanjin or some shit. And it's like, okay. Okay. <laughs> no, the closest would have been the, the Pantsu. No. They took her Neo pet, the do Donkey Bird. You were, you were sad that too, legit. You wanted to see that stream and it got ruined live for you? I would love to see what Neopets looks like in current year, dude. 
It's depressing seeing him devolve into a de-slorping mush ball of sadness. Yeah. Yeah, but saying on a corpo shit makes perfect sense and she's in a corpo herself? Absolutely. Ab there's, no, there's no way that anyone should ever expect her to say something about this because it would only be bad. You can give me it would only scratches. be bad. And if, like if, you, are, if you are one pet. of those people like super chatting, asking her to comment on the corpo drama, that's bad. Like and I hope Archive Bro deletes your super. <laughs> and the fake mispronunciation always makes you cringe hard. There's enough people willing to talk about it and it's like you know there's sometimes like i wish she could be more open about some things but it's like you have to you have to respect her position do not do not bully the the yabbit rakita is a husk of his former self meanwhile legal mindset turned into 2020 rakita yeah i'm i'm really happy that like i had a good stream with legal mindset uh it's very 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 weird very very weird the the direction rakita went in considering I, I personally never really watched Rakita, right? Like, I, I knew about him from the Rittenhouse stuff, but I never really watched him. So when people started coming into my chat and they were just like, you should do a stream with him, I was like, I don't I don't even know what we would talk about. Like, he's a lawyer, dude. I'm just a fucking silly anime woman. What would, what would we even talk about right now? Uh, so, like, there's clearly a fuck ton of audience overlap. Uh, so I don't, I don't know what he was thinking by going on the all anime people are pedophiles. Like, it just it doesn't make any sense. Why would he do that? <laughs> Rackets told all his old fans to fuck off and started shoving bottles up his ass. What? It was just between the cheeks, not inside. <laughs> You're still so sad you watched the downfall up close. His downfall cost you thousands of dollars. Yeah, I remember you talking about that, Mr. Mr. T-Man. Mr. T-Man. Missed a few months when you watched him last. And last week he looked like a wreck. Man, I don't want to I don't want to comment on that, but like he looks rough. It was cool when Ralph Retort was good, but now both are shit. Remember Muda was going the all anime pedo way? It's so fucking weird. Strange Mindset was with him on the anime things until the grift changed. I mean, if you if you have proof of that, fucking hit me up. Show me the clips. If you if you if you think if you think you know that that was what happened before, like just show me the evidence. I want the proofs. The cuties part was the worst. Reminds me when the guy called Shoenice, uh, who ate whole rolls of toilet paper. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry, what? He ate, he ate what? Why? What? What? <laughs> I just imagined a guy sitting on a toilet pouring fucking soy sauce over toilet paper and then going to town on it. You don't know about shoe nice? No. No, he eats everything. No. No. I got I got all of my, my lol cow lore from Daddy Jim back in the day. And even then, I only remember like maybe one fourth of it, if even that. Like, like whenever you guys bring up Wings of Redemption, I don't remember who the fuck that is. I don't, I don't remember that man. <laughs> Shoe Nice is a legend. Oh my god, Shoe Nice was a classical YouTube era. Then he went insane. Er, he's an OG lol cow from the Tosh Point oh days. I will maintain that Tosh Point oh should not have gotten a TV show. He was literally doing Ray William Johnson's shtick. But he got the TV show, and he wasn't even as funny as Ray. <laughs> you don't know Wings? I don't remember shit about Wings, dude. I do not remember shit about Wings. Wing streams are lit. Oh god. Oh, am I gonna am I gonna have to pick up doing like wall cow dives on people I know nothing about? Shoe nice drank whole bottles of liquor. I. <laughs> I rem I rem I remember fucking only use me blade. I remember that guy and his fucking rotting leg holes. Mm -hmm. Natasha's gotten worse too. Says people should evolve. I'm sorry. What? What does that mean? Chloro Jets. Thank you for the three month resub, dude. Tosh Pointo got the TV show because Comedy Central fucked up a project he was on. MDE should never gotten canceled, man. Don't make me remember the leg holes, God, why? I remember showing Pippa the leg holes live on stream, dude. <laughs> Blade got a guy killed. What? What? He got a guy killed? What the fuck? Should look up Gamer Leg by Wang. He talks about Marn from the fighting game community and his rotting zombie le How many fucking streamers have rotting zombie legs? What is happening? MDE was Adult Swim. Yeah, but it was during that same era. It was, dur it was during that same era. Here's Shoe Nice eating a bar of deodorant. What the fuck? What the fuck? I don't understand. Genuinely think the people that suddenly bitch about anime are getting talking points from a script? Recent Meat Canyon one especially so? I haven't seen the Meat Canyon video, but my only thought was like, 
This man draws fucked up cartoons and fucked up situations. And he wants to say shit about anime people? How does that make fucking sense? Make it make sense, dude. Oh, I know what this guy looks like. Okay, I've seen Shoe Nice before. I've seen Shoe Nice. His face is familiar. I just did not did not know the name to put it to him. So I've de I've definitely seen this dude, but I don't know what I've seen him eat. Hey everyone. Time to eat a stick of deodorant for everybody. Okay? <laughs> Say it so fucking casually. Like he's just Alright. I guess it's time to do this. Okay. Let's do this. Old spice. <laughs> what the fuck? Man, that's the last Bro says it like he's punching into a 9 to 5. He does! Of it, like if some girl's on top of you and you're having sex and... Wait, hold on, what? Hold, we gotta rewind that. Hold on, what? Man, that's a lot of... Ugh. You ever taste deodorant? A little bit of it? Like if some girl's on top of you and you're having sex and... She's getting all funky and she accidentally sticks her armpit in your mouth? That's what I'm gonna eat. Any, any sex havers in the chat? Have you had a girl on top who just shoves her armpit in your mouth? Has that, has that ever happened to you? Is that, is that a thing? Should I, should I be taking notes here about shoving my armpit in a man's face when I get on top? What, what is this? <laughs> what, what is this? <laughs> I wish, hold on, wait a minute, chat. <laughs> the arm mussy combo attack. I mean, I guess if she's not strong enough to choke you, she could try and, like, cover your mouth and nose with her armpit. I don't fucking know. Anyways, I'm drunk off my box, huh? And this is an Old Spice commercial. Oh, that that explains it. He's drunk off. Okay. Okay, he does have the Swiss cheese brain. That's unfortunate. I was, I was, I was, I was going to be hesitant about making fun of him because he could have just been mentally deficient, right? And, like... I would feel uncomfortable if I was unironically making fun of someone with like 39 IQ, right? But if he's just drunk, it's fine. Am I a guy riding on a horse backwards? Am I an alien? Am I tripping off a nutmeg? Yes. Or am I just the luckiest guy to land the best advertisement gig in years? Here's DL. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? <laughs> People must think I'm nuts. Yes! Look at Xander over there with his new sign, you suck. <gasps> There's a monominal in the background! I'm telling you, a little bit of money, look what happens to people. That animal looks like it's licking the wall! A bunch wall. of co-workers won like 320 million. The guy forgot to throw his dollar in, so they're trying to decide whether to give him something. Well, come on, will ya? I can't tell if it's a very big cat or a small dog. He's not I even won like twenty million dollars. I get He's not he's not even like fucking dry heaving. He's just eating this. What the hell is going on? What <laughs> isn't deodorant mostly oil? I don't fucking know. He's eating deodorant, his pet is eating the walls. <laughs> what is happening in his house? Danny D, thank you for the 199 For weebs and armpits, blame Toho? Oh, okay. Fraser Burn, thank you for the $2. We found your man, Kirsha. No! No, no, as much as I like my man to be a little brain damaged, it's too much. I, your brain can't be Swiss cheese. It's got to be smooth. No holes. Arclight, thank you for the 10 Ah, you aren't getting lost in his blue eyes. It's a shame. He does have really nice eyes. They're very icy blue and beautiful. Think, think of all the bitches he could have been pulling if he was just, I don't know, not an alcoholic idiot. <laughs> he's gonna have the weirdest shits in the history of man when he sobers up. For everybody that worked in the Help. building, whether they played or not. Huh. Oh, now three million ain't enough. We all got 20 million apiece. Huh. 
You Maybe. can't talk about those statistics, sir. That makes you an anti-Semite. We will throw him a hundred grand. Cheap bastards. I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Literally he's no so idea. Funny. I'm going to show you how to spend money when you're really rich. On my internet site is the number one site in the world. Has he blinked? Holy shit, he I'm just eating it there. so hard. I pushed the bottom right off of it. Eating it so hard, by the way. Do you think do you think he's actually a genius? If you eat the deodorant, does that mean you won't have to put it on your body? Because it'll be inside of you and permeate your skin from the inside. Is he actually just a genius? Like 700 IQ? No! <laughs> I'm telling you, my tongue could give protection to a high school basketball team right now. Okay, okay, hold on. Wait, why do they gotta be a high school basketball team, Mr. Mans? Hold on, hold on, what, what did you mean? But couldn't you go couldn't you have gone college basketball team? Hold on, wait a minute. Female team, of course. No <laughs> Why? I ain't licking no armpits. But you're eating male deodorant! And also, wait, didn't you just talk about getting an armpit in your face during sex? So technically, haven't you already actually licked an armpit? And if you had to specify a woman's high school team, wouldn't you lick their armpits? What? What? Where, where else would you lick them to put the deodorant on? Not their booba, that's how you get cancer! Oh, he's like a little bunny. Look at him chipmunk in that thing. Done. myself well that's it for today and yeah, look at you see you tomorrow guys say goodbye xander you suck <laughs> thank you okay so yeah i i've seen shoe nice before but i'm not sure what i've seen him eat i'm not sure what i've seen him eat oh look at talking talking to the ceiling demons <laughs> Who knows, maybe deodorant is actually tasty. You see Tennis Man clips? I I do. I do see those clips. There's another Bitcoin dad down here. Kirsha arguing with a Swiss cheese brain's logic. Welcome back, Song Wang. What do you mean by cancer on the titty deodorant? Uh, there was a thing years ago where like women would put deodorant underneath their breasts because like underneath your breasts kind of get sweaty when you're it's outside all time. day and shit. And, uh, it turns out that putting deodorant underneath your titties was giving women breast cancer. Uh, I don't- I don't remember how or why, I just remember that being a thing. Is LA Beast still alive? No idea. Hey look, Kirsch is live! I am live. I'm live right now! Cause aluminium? Aluminium the oxide. Nice versus the Chad LA beast. <laughs> Almighty Lolly, thank you for the five dollars. LA Beast was the guy with the fucking million year old crystal Pepsi, right? That's all I can remember from him. You need to see the video of Shoe Nice drinking an entire bottle of Everclear, the only video where he shows fear of what he's going to eat. Oh man. Um, is eating deodorant part of Bridge Initiative? No! No, it's not! Have a nice day. <laughs> you thought the aluminium thing was recently disproved? Well, I mean, you can't disprove cases of breast cancer that were real. L.A. Breet Beast drank an entire gallon of spoiled milk. Ugh. Oh, I don't. I don't think I could watch that. I would. I would probably have like empathy vomits from that. So, what is the safe solution for titty sweat? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. The Everclear chugging. Oh. Wasn't talcum powder also given ladies cancer? Yeah, ladies would put that on their on their uh, private bits. Slorp up the titty sweat. Yeah, just get just get just get a man to follow you around and have him lick your underboob sweat. You you're creating a job, and your sweat problem is cured. 
Hey everyone, Shoe Nice again. A liquor bid to end all bids. You guys ready? Let's do this. This package contains alcohol, adult signature required. Well, let me turn off my background music for this one. Cause he's making he's making like weird breathing noises. We know what this is. <laughs> Goes out of the screen, it don't matter. What? You can't buy this shit in New York. This guy's still alive? I don't know. Why is he so red? Alcoholism? That's blurry as fuck. Overconsumption. May endanger He died health. five plus years. Oh, he's dead now? Oh, no. Proof, guys. I playing games. Did he, did he die of alcohol poisoning? On your mark. Get set. Oh, he even said his name before he did it. He's just like a rapper. He's not dead. He uploaded a video three hours ago. Thank you, chat. Whoever was spreading fake news, fuck you, I'm guy. Right, right. Wait, 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 wait. He, wait, wait. He looked to the side and he said, I'm all right, I'm all right. Who the fuck is there watching him do this? Who, who is allowing this behavior? Look at this. It's not just that dog. Alright, people, I got standby. Oh, he's got someone on standby, he said. I didn't want to go over one minute on this video. Thank you. Why would you why would you do that? 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 This, I feel like I feel like the weird creator mentality of like anything for clout is just really bad, dude. Re like the anything for views mentality, like man, som sometimes you gotta reevaluate what you're doing here. Then he went straight to the ER. Oh my! This is why women live longer. True. That was the YouTube meta for the freak show. Was wild. Jesus Christ. He's fixed now? I don't know what that means. This was early YouTube. I I guess this is the archive, so it doesn't doesn't have the the actual date. Chug the Korsha. No, he quit drinking in 2018 due to fear of dying from alcohol poisoning and went back to eating regular food. Well, thank God. Thank God he got his life together. He he <laughs> He's he's being a good boy now. Talcum powder doesn't give you cancer, it's worse. It gives you asbestos poisoning. What the fuck? Please don't eat turbo cancer gel. Don't eat deodorant, please. It's okay, I've only eaten candles. I've only eaten candles and it was because my curiosity sometimes gets the better of me. <laughs> I also made sure that the candles weren't, uh, weren't, uh, oh fuck, what's that shit called? What's that shit called? What's that shit fucking? You put your hands in it. You put your feet in it. It's a special type of candle that is not for a paraffin. Thank you, Ziz. I also I made sure the car the candles didn't have paraffin in them because if they had paraffin, they would have been toxic. But these were not toxic. They were fine. Were they Yankee candles? No, they were uh, Bath and Body Works candles. <laughs> How old were you when you were eating candles? Uh, I was like two years ago on stream. 
Glad you check ingredients before you eat your candles. Yeah, true. And I had it I had it as part of the donathon as well, because it was like, well, I've already eaten one, so what's a little bit more wax, right? Talcum and asbestos are mined in the same areas, and they can't really sort the asbestos out from the talcum. That is why talcum powder was such a big issue. Ah. Ah. Fillion has also eaten a candle on stream. <gasps> That's something we can bond over! I'll have to ask her what her favorite flavor of candles are. The candle eating clip! Oh my god. I can I can I can play the candle eating clip for the for the for the sake of this tangent. Beep. <laughs> I is that because like when we smell things? Is that because when we smell things it tricks our body into thinking that's what they taste like? So like okay, uh do I I can I have I have nails. I can just like take a little bit of the wax, right? Like you can just dig, just dig like a little bit. Oh, it, it comes out. Okay, because I'm using my nail. It kind of comes out like Parmesan cheese. That's okay. That's all right. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to eat this little bit of wax then. Oh, I missed a piece. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> ah! No, dude. No, that's. I don't like that. I don't like that it tastes good! I don't Ayo, like that the candle uh, tastes good! What the fuck?! That's upsetting to me! I'm upset! <laughs> I can hear you putting the fucking I'm lid fucking back upset. on. I'm fucking upset! Why does- why does it taste good?! <laughs> I was- I was unironically actually upset about that. That wasn't- that wasn't, like, joking. <laughs> Do not the wax! Eat enough wax and your cat will start eating the walls. The dog the dog already licks the walls and I hate it. That's why we had to Kate crate train him. Bam! The James Foss, thank you for the two dollar doodles. Put gas in your butt and have shoe try it. No thank you to either of those things. Your bath and body work shower gel smells like syrupy waffles. You bit your own arm once while drunk. <laughs> That's pretty great. Freight train him. Do I put ketchup on the candle? No, that's grotesque. What is wrong with you? Originally, some candles were made with suet, which is perfectly edible. That does not excuse Kirsch's degeneracy, however. I saw a video of a woman saving the fat from her uh, ground beef that she cooks. So, like, you drain you drain all of the extra fat from cooking your ground beef, and then you you... You purify it multiple times. There's a special word for it, and I can't remember what it's called. But she purifies it multiple times. And then she saves the, like, the pure white fat with no impurities in it. And then she can use that for, like, candles and shit. And I was like, I want to do that. I want to, I want to do, I want to save my beef fat and make stuff from Rendering! Thank you! Yeah, it's called rendering. And I want to do that. I feel like that would be a really good idea. Because if you, if you render it multiple times, it no longer smells beefy. So it's perfectly fine to use for other stuff. Tallow from rendering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gummies are made from it. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still gonna call it a meat candle. I'd probably still call it a beef candle. I'd make it smell like citrines and oranges and be like, this is my beef candle. Just confuse people who come over. Time to buy an RTX 4090 to render the fat. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? like eating butter do not do not consume the butter do not do that all right i'm trying to i'm trying to find the tab that i want to be on before bridge bridge and put it on the dog the butter dog the fries in your oven right now have tallow on them hell yeah hell yeah you can put the butter on Kirsch's head. Put the butter on me! I'm Foxu. <laughs> Academy Sports and Outdoor sells A5 Wagyu tallow for 36 bucks. It's worth it. I need to I need to start making my own fucking like sourdough starter as well. I want I want to bake more bread when I have more time. Good fries cooked in duck fat. Best fries you ever had. Holy heck! I want duck fat. I'm gonna have to go to Boston Common and steal some ducks. Is it's Yoja Bridges time? Supposedly, people who climb Mount Everest eat butter for the calories. I have not heard that. Maybe she's worth it. Maybe it's Maybelline. So in the middle, in the middle of uh, 
the the collab yesterday my net my next tab that I wanted to bring up was about uh, this one can brands push beyond performative de and I initiatives this was in March 2023 so this was before they finished uh, fleshing out the bridge 2.0 initiatives the bridge the bridge this thing this fucking this fucking wheel thing that I showed off this was solidified in August. Just what? Dish words in August. All right, okay. So this this other article came out in March, and they're talking about how can brands do more than just performative DEI. And I've read this before, so it's it's a small loop, but I want I, this is important in my opinion to understanding how it's transformed into the we're no longer asking phase. Diversity, equity, and inclusion policies risk becoming performative marketing exercises if brands and companies do not ensure full integration across the business, according to the founder of a major DEI organization. Cheryl Dijah, the CEO and founder of Bridge, a US based DEI organization for the marketing industry, says DEI needs to be integrated from the top down and treated as an operationalized business practice within the organization. Bridge, which is backed by Unilever, WPP, Condé Nast, Discover, Indeed, IBM, McKinsey and Company, Group M, Media Brands, and other major international brands, is pushing hard to change the narrative around DEI. From a soft marketing focus to a legitimate business line item that is actionable across a business. We are trying to change the narrative of DEI from a philosophy or even a moral imperative, which obviously it is, but that hasn't gotten us to where we need to go to figure out how we operationalize inclusion as a business practice. Daija tells the drum. These are very scary words once you know what they're trying to do. I think a lot of what's happening is this performative nature to diversity and inclusion. America has become a country of months. There's Black History Month, International Women's Month, Hispanic Heritage Month. We've literally become a country of months. And what's happened is the marketers and the advertisers are using these months as ways to show their commitment to DEI. But it's performative. It doesn't change anything. And this is again saying all that shit that you see companies post in marketing, all of the commercials, all of the advertisements, all of the gay flags, all of the changing their company business model for a specific month in order to get your money, but it doesn't change in like Russia or the Middle East. That's not far enough. This is, we are no longer asking, we will make this embedded in your company culture. Muzzy Skeleton, thank you for the member. Thank you. No shit, it doesn't change anything because people don't give a fuck, which is what they're saying. They're saying we need people to give a fuck. Larry Fink said it's their responsibility to make people think differently. And that is what this is going to be attempting to do. Even if you will never actually fundamentally agree, they will make it so that you cannot escape it. If you are going to do a rainbow flag, then you best have some advocacy around LGBTQ rights. Otherwise, it's just performative. Bridge, which stands for belonging, representation, inclusion, diversity, and equity, the G is the gap in all of those things, was born out of the idea that we could leverage the same model that brands use to build marketing platforms that drive change and apply to the DEI initiatives. Bridge is the process of building organizational frameworks which can help companies to create actionable strategies and accountable practices to ensure DEI policies become a business foundation. The aim is to help businesses avoid the pitfalls and help them create robust business practices to ensure change across all elements of the organization. This is a very different approach, admits Daija. We are really committed to creating Gee, a framework. Sally, your boyfriend lets you have two comms? Daija certainly doesn't. That is actionable and digestible for companies so that they know where to start. We're trying to take away the performative nature of DEI and help organizations create structural and systemic change that is consistent and continuous. 
Every company is going to have a different challenge, but this is about taking away the objections and excuses. Change is not just going to happen by appointing chief diversity officers. It needs to become a part of the company's culture and DNA. The idea is to help companies understand what the foundation of inclusion as a business practice looks like so that they can start to implement practices and change against that. With a board comprising of major global brands, Daisha says, there is a growing interest in expanding beyond the United States. All the brands that are involved with us are global brands, says Daisha. We are in the process of exploring this with a number of our members to understand what our role would be on a global stage and what bridge would look like. It's early days, but there is certainly a lot of interest. This is the real actual definition of fascism. It is. It really is. And I, I gave my thoughts completely on this article uh, the first time I went through all of this bridge stuff. But again, I needed to read it to preface where we're going to since I didn't get to it yesterday. Um, after, after this article, we have the Ad Age article from August 28th, 2023. Uh, Brands pilot DEI program to foster company-wide inclusion. So this is them gearing up to talk about what their what their plan is for the future. And this this is also something that I went over uh, on on my stream, my VOD back when I found this in the first place. So this is like the skin type diversity by brand. This is going with their 23 years behind nonsense that we did talk about yesterday. So it says that there's 61 percent racial diversity index in the USA population as of 2020. Uh, and in the brands that they found, there was only 41% racial diversity index. So somehow, even though it Thank feels boy, overwhelming and very overrepresented, they've come up with it's only 41% racially diverse in their marketing. We're no longer asking. Yeah. Hayden! Hayden, thank you for the 10 gift members, my guy. Thank you! Thank you, thank you, big goo! Robert Sanvagine, thank you for the two dollary doodles. Where's Johnny Silverhand when you need him? I don't fucking know, man. I don't fucking know, man. Tech Daddy, thank you for the member. Thank you for the member. Muzzy Skeleton. Muzzy Skeleton. Thank you for the 10 gift member. Thank you. Thank you for gift member. And Muzzy, thank you for becoming a member yo goddamn self. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Big, big, big happiness in the YouTube right now. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Elder Hollow, thank you for the 14 month resub. Thank you! As a Puerto Rican, you cannot give two shits about Hispanic Heritage Month. It's not gonna make the government get rid of the Jones Act. If any Borucas in the chat don't know what that is, you should look it up if you wanna be angry. I don't remember what the Jones Act is, so it's something I should probably fucking look up too. Big, big gift you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I will loop just a little bit. A little, a little bit on this. IMAX is led by Bridges Board of Directors and Steering Committee, as well as an academic team that included Omar Rodriguez Villa, Professor of Marketing and Director of Education at the Business and Society Institute at Emory's University's Goizueta Business School, Asundar Baradwaj, Professor of Marketing at University of Georgia's Terry College of Business, and Diane Dion, I'm not going to say her last name, Assistant Professor of Marketing at Indiana University. The program evaluates DEI across various areas of a company, including within the organization. Their mar mar marketing management processes, commercial practices, communications, and advocacy programs. The biggest gap we see is in the commercial practices, in products that are designed specifically to address the needs of underrepresented communities. And then you have the brand inclusion maturity score. Uh, right now, their maturity score is at 35.4% for inclusion, uh, and they need it to be at 70%. So this is their first goal, is 70% from 35.4. Uh, and then by dimension, we have organizational practices, marketing management practices, commercial practices, can I blow this up? No. Communication practices and advocacy practices. And from the percents here, 54, 47, 23, 41, 12, they're trying to get all of these different areas up to that 70% high maturity level. 
Most companies do not properly measure the market, Rodriguez Villa said. Currently, they measure the market based on where is my current revenue coming from and who are my biggest customers. If 80% of my customer base comes from this group, then I go after that group. You're not looking at the potential growth that could be embedded in segments that are actually not consuming you or are significantly under consuming you because you're not including them in your offer, he said. And looking at all of the shit that's been happening to movies and comics and games, this, this is basically the pandering that's been happening where all of us are just like, but they don't give you any money. Why are you going after them if they don't give you any money? And they're trying to push the ideology that will turn these people who don't consume into consumers. And in, a, in addition to that, they're either hoping that people who previously consumed will stay that way, or they can change your mind with the new ideology, or you will be one of the people who don't care and will still give them money. The exact reason Disney movies went into the dirt, they turned their back on their base to court people who didn't and won't ever give a shit. Yes, yes, very, very much so. Each of the 72 business practices being evaluated in the IMAX program, the, the 72 business practices in the IMAX is again, this, uh, not this, this, this is the, this is the 72 business practices that we, that we read about last stream and also in my original VOD. Following the assessment, it was awesome to see that the analysis reinforced many of our business practices were already on the right track. We have 11 different internal work streams focused on different parts of our DEI journey and have been able to share these findings and act quickly on integrating them into our current work. The IMAX team used artificial intelligence to do the first part of its research, the social media analysis of the top 50 brands content that had people in it. We measured the diversity of skin tone, hair type, inclusion of people with disabilities and diversity of body types. And again, somebody, somebody supered to Legal Mind yesterday that body type was uh, like code for gender. In this case, I think they're using body type for code for gender in like video games and stuff. We have body type one and two so as to not offend people who buy into this cult mentality. But as far as it goes here for advertising, I don't think body type is just referring to gender. It's also referring to like, again, the, the disabilities are gonna have a different body. It's referring to uh, being overweight or having like uh, skin conditions and whatnot. It's not, it's not simply just the gender. In that analysis, Unilever's Dove rose to the top and was one of the only brands that was not 23 years behind in terms of inclusion practices across its social media posts. Dove has done various campaigns to advocate for underrepresented groups, including taking a stand against race-based hair discrimination. Can I play this? Can I, can I, can I play this? It doesn't look like it's letting me. No, it just takes me to the, to the beginning. Just takes affirmations to calm uncertainty in the workplace. It's a shame I can't watch that. That's a shame this embed doesn't work, dude. That's a, that's a goddamn shame. I wonder, I have this as an archive, but I wonder if, hold on, let me open it in a new tab and see if the unarchived one lets me play it. Oh, no, it's a, uh, <laughs> Wow, who could have seen that coming? It's uh, it's paywall blocked. <laughs> That's probably why I had it archived in the first place. Unlucky. Un unlucky, dude. Uh, I'm sure maybe LinkedIn and Dove. Black hair is professional. Dove commercial black hair is professional. Here we go. It's a minute long. What the hell? My name is Anissa Eakins and I'm a social worker. Shelly Worrell. I work in culture and lifestyle. Vanessa Kantav and I am a chef. My hair, my appearance impacted my ability to advance in the workplace. I have to attend court sometimes and judges will look at me differently based off of my hair texture. I have known how to wear my hair, um, you know, properly to code and have always worn my hair in that way. People tug on my hair and ask me what weave I'm wearing today and if 
my hair is real. There were times when I was asked to straighten my hair. My hair does not dictate how I perform. I was told straight styles would be more digestible for the masses. When I wear my natural hair, I feel empowered. My hair is me. I love wearing my hair the way that I want to wear my hair, whatever that is. Black hair is professional. That's like, I don't even disagree, right? Like, I, I didn't see anything wrong with any of their hairstyles. I, is, is this, is this a problem in the workforce? I wouldn't know. I, I, like, I've been told my hair is not professionally styled because I didn't have it up in a ponytail sometimes. It is if you're cooking. I mean, like, when you're cooking, I'm assuming you'd be putting it up in, like, the, the netting, though, right? So it doesn't matter what style you have your hair in if you're wearing a hairnet. As long as the hairnet can fit, I suppose. I don't know, man. You wear the thing on your head when you work? Yeah. I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how much the hair matters there. If your hair is natural, why do you need products? I don't, I don't know. Everybody uses hair products, though. It's not, it's not really an argument. A chef's could have hair contained. A chef should have. Yeah. There's a kid in Texas who got suspended for dreads and is suing Texas to keep his hair. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of fucking stupid. That's kind of fucking stupid if he's like getting in trouble for wearing that. His companies knowingly put chemicals into the food and products that can cause conditions like cancer, and somehow the good guy by merit of championing diversity in their workforce. Dyer just tweeted that Bridge has over 400 DEI officers all destroying companies. <gasps> Hold on, I gotta go look at that. What did you- who did- who did- Dyja just tweeted. She just tweeted? Like, her account was inactive when we looked at it yesterday. Hold on. Hold on a goddamn minute. This is Matt Walsh tweets. Uh, Cheryl Dyja. Uh, unless she has a new account, I don't see her tweet here. Unless she has a new account, her last tweet was in in 2023. If you if you have the account you're talking about, I would I would like a link. I would like is Matt Walsh paying attention to her? No, I wish he was. I would I wish I wish he was. A spaz monkey, thank you for the thank you for the 913. But uh, can I have a link? Can I have a link for this? That's very very important. If so. Ayo, just got discharged from the hospital, got hit by a stray bullet, been there two months. What the fuck? That's crazy. Glad you're glad you're doing better, dude. Glad you're doing better. Source? Yes, yeah, source? Where source? Please source. The link handed over. <laughs> Why has no one marketed soul glow to me? What the fuck? Yo, what? It's not real? It's a riff off of when 4chaners trolled Oprah on live TV. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Where's where where was I? Where was I in uh in my in my thingamabobber here? Where was I? Uh scrolling down. I receive a lot of data in my role, but I've never seen data of this nature that allows us to understand inclusion as a metric and helps us identify which practices we can share across brands to create and accelerate even further impact, said Tish Archie Oliver, head of diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging, Unilever United States, and a Bridge board member. Dove declined further comment because it is not part of the IMAX pilot program. Still, being inclusive across social media content is only one sliver of the pie, and the help IMAX program comes as companies have downsized their DEI departments amid economic headwinds. You hear that, chat? You're an economic headwind. <clears throat> Better hope the bullet wasn't feral. What the hell? What the hell? They have surveyed over 400 orgs, you believe? I can't remember numbies off the top of my head, dude. The key is not to think of inclusion as a separate thing, Rodriguez Villa said. The first thing you need to tackle is the business case. There's also a role for a moral case, and many leaders need to be able to articulate that to their employees. This is not just about selling more stuff, but you need both. Because in the absence of a business case, the moral case is not going to sustain you. 
So they're embedding it into the business culture, but they also want everyone to know that it is a moral imperative. And you know what happens when you tell all of your employees, not only is this going to be good for business, but it's going to be good morally because you will be doing the right thing. You will be on the right side of history. You will be one of the soldiers who ushers in the good era, and you will be rewarded greatly for that if you are willing to put forth the work into creating this utopia. So they know inclusion is not profitable, but they're going to push it anyway. They've known for a while. They've known for a while. And their, their solution to this not being profitable is to change it from just a marketing strategy to embedding it as part of how companies operate. This is the, we're no longer asking you will comply stage. Yes, yes, you did good, useful idiot. Now please face the wall, pretty much. Pretty fucking much. Rodriguez Villa said what also went into developing IMAX program was having chief marketers and chief diversity officers working close, closer together than they're typically used to. Both parties are responsible for evaluating DEI within the internal organization and in how the company is showing up in the marketplace. Typically, internal matters were left to chief diversity officers, while marketplace matters were left to chief marketing officers. It unlocks this collaboration that didn't exist before. Before, it was very siloed. IMAX creates a collaboration to allow all capabilities and practices to be dependent on each other, but also to leverage the power of each other. So when you see companies that might be eliminating chief diversity officer roles or eliminating other diversity styled roles with like equity and inclusion in their titles, they are merely bundling together the diversity DEI nonsense into a role that already exists so it's less noticeable so you'll see normal employees with normal titles but in reality they are actually the priests continuing their dogma Woo boy sounds like trying to employ commissars now this can't and will not last that is my hope and that is that is why i wanted to get the information about bridge to a wider audience I wanted, I wanted someone with a larger platform than me to speak out about Bridge and how insidious it is planning on becoming this year. These companies have to use acronyms to push the bad crap and change them when people catch on. Again, this is, this is worse than just the acronym changing because they're changing entirely how they're implementing the DEI. Your HR department changed to the Division of People and Culture last year! Holy shit! <laughs> That is kind of fucking weird to have done. Hold on, let me close my browser for a second so I know where I am going next. Um, I played I played the Larry Fink clip yesterday on Legal Mindset stream. There is another video uh, from DEI After Five with Sasha. And close this actually has tabs, Cheryl Dija in the conversation. When I, when I found this video, it had like 37 views or something like it is a very very small video that almost no one has seen and i'm not i'm not gonna play the whole thing again if you want if you want to see the analysis of this video that i did uh, please i implore you to look at my previous vod that i did this but i'm just gonna i'm just gonna like look it's at 12 minutes 11 seconds i'll just let it play here for like a few seconds and you're like Emory, so he's from emory university then from the University of Georgia and Indiana University. So it was like some of the best academic minds that are out there. Um, and we said, okay, so now what do we do with this research that it can make it actionable? Because everything right. that Bridge does, we want to make it actionable. So we converted the research into um, an inclusion maturity assessment tool, mm, which is okay. called, uh, which Bridge has now called IMAX. And IMAX let's, let's, is- Let's move to the end. So yeah, please how how do you feel your cup like what are the things that you do to take care of yourself because this is this is a lot of work and i mean i'm just listening to everything that bridge does and you said you know this started what three four years ago no 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 we we launched we launched publicly april of 2022 mm, cheeseburger it's not even a matter of hope it's completely unsustainable it relies on all people pushing ideology all the time. This just doesn't work, especially when stress factors barge in. Look up Studios Aum and the story of Disco Elysium. 
I disagree. I disagree. If that was true, Nazi regime wouldn't have existed. If that was true, uh, we wouldn't have the issues with DEI and the current current government that we have here now. It is very possible for tons of people to get massively brainwashed. To think that it can't happen is to be ignorant, in my opinion. And it's like, I don't want it to happen. I want it to be headed off. I want it to stop. But to think that, oh, it can't happen, so it doesn't need to be talked about and we don't need to try and pay attention to it, I, I, th I think is, is a very bad frame of mind to have. It, it will be sustainable if everyone's opinion is that doesn't matter to me, so I don't have to care about it. If that was true, our country wouldn't function. See Edward Benary's propaganda, the nephew of Sigmund Freud. Viewer base doesn't really overlap, but Jeremy of Geeks and Gamers does a solo stream and covers a lot of Trump stuff and is big time anti-woke. He could help spread the word. I'm willing to talk to literally anyone who, who wants a rundown on Bridge. I, I, I will loop bridge on anyone's stream who desires me to speak about it because I need, I just need more people to notice that this is happening. Because if, if we don't talk about it, if we don't try to financially punish these companies that are participating in this before it becomes an embedded part of their company operations, it's going to be much, much harder to remove the cancer from all of them. Noticers rise up. Not sure if Jeremy would be on board with VTubers. Stop being racist to the anime people. It's very weird that you could have a larger slice of audience and you could have interesting conversations with people who would agree with you, but you want to reject them because of the kind of flesh that they have. You anime racist. <laughs> I have a dream that one day VTubers and flesh tubers can commune together without having to use separate streaming services. <laughs> Sargon has been making inroads into the VTuber space. Sargon and V would be good to talk to. That's not true at all. And you haven't been paying attention if you think that's true. Liter literally, Sargon has said that VTubers cannot come on his show. And he V put out a video where Sargon said that, like, v VTubers aren't worth talking to, basically. Sargon hates VTubers. Maybe he just has to hate VTubers because of the boomer audience he's cultivated, but, like, it makes me real disappointed that he's, he's someone that I've watched for fucking years. He's someone that I've watched for years, and to see him be that close-minded just uh, it makes me depressed. Need the DEI program for VTubers. <sighs> oh, what the fuck, la la! Thank you for the two dollars. Reach out to short fat otaku. Absolutely fucking not. Please stop suggesting that. Am I am I going on side scrollers? I can ask Craig for an introduction to G and G. I mean, maybe I'll have to see what happens there. I'll have to see. I'll have to see what happens there. Jeremy was a person who got YouTube's attention when a lot of VTubers were being demonetized for being re-uploads. Hmm. Hmm. Tell Sargon the VTubers are on board with Gamergate too. V got the two he was arguing with to back into the if she breathes she a thought unironically in that argument. Yeah, it was fucking weird to see. It was weird to see. Sargon's talking to Pippa. You guys, one reply on Twitter does not mean talking to Pippa. Because if that was the case, he's talked to Leah. He's talked to me. As one one reply is not talking to someone. V is scum anyway. What? That's rude. That's rude. To be honest, in your view and in the view of many others out there, if they are what they say they are, the cancers have always been there since a little after the beginning. And after a time, they'll eventually go away, but it will not look pretty. They won't go away if good men do nothing. A streamer said my name once. We're best friends now! <laughs> Problem with conglomerates owning almost every product, making it hard to boycott anything? Yeah, it really fucking does. It really fucking does. I think Sargon's thing is that they want to ensure live talk face-to-face. -face. A VTuber who can't talk in person would thus be a no-go. They- they literally started as PNGs! What does he fucking mean by that? It's really weird to me that people who started their YouTube careers with an, an anonymity and who understand the importance of anonymity online will now, like, attack people for wanting to retain that? It's fucking yeah, weird! Guy. 
Sar Sargon literally Your the grandfather of VTubing. Exactly means he accepts you. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I'm one of the good ones either. That's a weird mindset to have. I, it's, I, it's just like, just because I agree with him doesn't make me a good one. It's just that VTubing is a medium. There's all different kinds of people, just like all different kinds of streamers. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think Sargon would appreciate if I was just like, oh, I'm not going to talk to someone who's a, a horse fucking addict like Vosh. Because I was like, that's not his content. You're one of the retarded ones. That's why we like you. True. True, true, true. Who's the Wanda Sykes looking girl? Oh my god. How do you even punish these companies financially when much of our own government and the private sector? I'm not smart enough to know that much. We made a dent with Bud Light, right? Like, we did that. That was good. Bud, Bud Light got their fucking stupid scoring system thing taken away. We, we did well with that, but we need to keep it going. And I have tabs for that. People like Jeremy are the exact same kind of person that would wholeheartedly cheer DEI and Bridge if they were on the opposite end of the political spectrum. Left, right, it doesn't matter if they don't understand the idea of objectivity and refuse to apply the same standards to their allies that they apply to their enemies. In their own way, they do exactly what their enemies do, pigeonhole people and ideas into arbitrary good or bad categories and refuse to reconsider. I mean, maybe? I don't know the guy, so I don't know what his ideas are, but it's like... The opposite of, like, the DEI that we have now is literally never hiring anyone besides white people. And, like, I don't think that would be a good idea either. I feel like that would be a silly position to take. You're just saying he's clearly open to changing his mind? There seems to be an opportunity there? Rag, I'm gonna tell you right now, I've tried multiple times. V V has tried on my behalf. To get to get you Sargon to talk meds. to VTubers, meds, it's hey! it's not gonna you happen. Meds, I'm, hey! I'm sorry to shatter your worldview. Definitely it's not gonna happen. Don't ignore it. That's why the stress factor is important. Enough of a buck against it almost always snowballs. Financial pressure is impossible to ignore, even if they swear they don't care. Bud Light was arrogant when the boycott started. Yep. Yeah. And when when the Bud Light boycott was picking up steam, and all the articles were just like, ugh. Oh, this isn't going to make a dent. This is negligible. This is this is just a crybaby pissy pants fit by the right and they think they're going to do something, but we will forge on without them because they don't understand how important this is. Their propaganda wouldn't be necessary if if you weren't a threat. So we need to keep doing things like Bud Light. Do not do not give them an inch because they don't care about you. Go talk to the utensil man. He seems like a decent guy. He criticizes everyone equally. You're pretty certain he's even shown up in my chat before and released videos defending VTubers. Yeah. Yeah, I, I screamed at him in a DM just so I could remember that it's there. Because <laughs> I've, I've been very busy as of late. But yes, he is, he is, he is somebody that I could potentially talk to about this. We're, we're talking. We're talking. V has done a lot more work than anyone here knows. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. You're AFK for a little bit. Did Kirsha already talk about the Nike bra thing? I don't have I don't have a tab for that. I don't I don't I don't know what that is. <clears throat> the same reason you shouldn't throw your money at Squeenix because they put slightly average titties in the video game. They don't care. The second they get money, they'll go back to the ethics again. I'm hoping, right, because Japan didn't have time to get as paused as the rest of the Western companies. So I'm hoping Japan is seen what what might come of this and has decided to just throw it out but i am not holding my breath right i'm waiting to see what happens waiting to see what happens in before she literally dm'd him with ah <laughs> this is this is this is my 
my response when like I know I have to talk to someone and I know I'll forget so I need it to be like in front of my fucking face so I don't forget it but I don't have the brain cells to formulate any kind of real response so I just uh... <laughs> why do you autistically screech at people my brand <laughs> Arclight, thank you for the 10. Ah, have you considered reaching out to Jim for a stream? He's played video and chatted with people like Purity Sin in the past. I would not know how to reach out to Jim. And also, I would be absolutely terrified of streaming with basically the manifestation of my Oshi. Well, I, 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 I you, you, you saw how that mystery caller was a bit, a bit spaghetti. My spaghetti would be spilt. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. It's just, uh... Kirsch doesn't work well under Oshi pressure. Jim is a big softy. He's like, he's like the only person from that that sphere, that sphere of like. Edgy entertainment, lol cow hunting, fucking humor sphere that I really enjoyed watching that hasn't turned out to be a terrible person himself or a hypocrite. And it's, it's like, I just, I just, I don't know, man. I don't know. Him and Josh. I, I never followed Josh as closely as I followed Jim. Jim, Jim was basically like my time online. <laughs> oh god man it's literally a teddy bear you'd be i would probably like my eyes are tearing up right now just thinking of how like anxious and terrified i'd be i i would probably cry <laughs> in that scenario oh god you never understand my deification of jim his content is basically unwatchable your content is unwatchable i loved what he did I loved, I loved how he don't afraid of anything and he could like fucking roll around in the mud with idiots and come out completely fucking fine. Uh, it's just like, there's no replacing him. There's no replacing that man. People, people have tried to call like either Pippa or myself like the next gym, but it is like, no dude. Ni neither of us could like pull off going into Discord calls with literal brain damaged idiots and doing what he did. Uh, there's, just, there's just no way, dude. Don't forget about Frida Kapoor Klein on the pause front. I, well, you can very easily run all of society. Wasn't he the internet aristocrat at one point? That was my only complaint about Jim, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I hated whenever he would change names and I had to go fucking hunt him down before. Because I, I watched him before like I even knew about the flightless birds. Uh, so like a lot, a lot of, a lot of how to find people when they change name was very fucking lost on me. <laughs> That's part of his magic. Oh my god, the spaghetti would be big giga spilled. Jersh is spurgy and he hates VTubers, but you still like him. One day, one day our people will will stop being shamed for the type of skin we have, our virtual skin. I'm being oppressed. Kier protein time. Gundam has the video about Nike. Yeah, but I don't. I don't want. I don't want like a video, a commentary video on it. I want. I want like the the article. The Koof broadcasts were awesome. Yeah. You no, know, Jersh hates anime, but you're sure that he is pragmatic enough to talk to me if he felt like it would be a good idea. I was like, I don't expect that. I don't expect that at all. Especially like I don't know. During during my birthday, uh, people took a clip like hella out of context. Uh, and like I was I was talking about how like my my channel was growing. I was I was becoming big girl uh, Like people took it out of context to think that I was like trying to clout farm off of Jersh and it's like well, I think I would only get bad press if that happens uh, I was like I you know, I don't I don't really see that as something that would be Good for me necessarily, but it would be something that I would find fun Josh tolerates the anime as long as they don't shove it in his face <laughs> 
Where's the stream elements link? Uh, there's a command in chat, but I don't remember what it is. It's also below my Twitch player. Jim also had the faculty to just delete or abandon channels with hundreds of thousands of subs. Yee, I didn't like it that he did that, but I could understand him not wanting to get too big. I, like, I understood it from his perspective. Oh, you know what? You can't do that, Skewki, because our waifu is dead. Our wife has died. I must resurrect her. Anytime Jersh talks about anime, you fast forward! <laughs> he has 8chan trauma. Like, I, I understand why he has the opinion he does. Doesn't make it any less racist. <laughs> Get back to pushing the Wheel of Pain. Do you mean Mr. Medicare? You watched the video about SCP Pride logo? Yeah. Mr. Mr. Medicor, Jimbo, the Weatherman, Anti-Bully, Sweetie Squad, Internet Aristocrat. There's probably more names I'm fucking forgetting. Dude was dude was a literal skinwalker. And people people have suggested I reach out to Jade as well and ask about how they do merchandising, but it's just like I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that, and even reaching out to Jade would be fucking terrifying for me. <laughs> He wants, uh, you talked to him once to offer him a blue sky invite and he didn't tell you to perma endgame, so he's pragmatic enough to talk as long as it's not about anime. <laughs> Hello, you hope we're having an awesome day so far. We fucking are! We fucking are! That's funny that Ziz called my DM, though. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I do have more recent DEI stuff to go through because they've posted stuff in 2024. And so I'm gonna read those when I get back. Uh, I need to go for my protein shake, so I will BRB. I will BRB. And if you are on Twitch, I appreciate you sitting through some ads while I'm AFK. Uh, when I manually play ads, it allows me to disable pre-roll so anyone without a sub can come in and not get pre-roll ads. I know everybody hates ads, but at least I'm not here. You're not missing content, don't worry about it. <laughs> thank you, thank you, BRB, BRB! How about I put a tiny top hat on your penis?
are the human resistance. We have chosen the path of the pro-human future, and God has given us the flame of enlightenment. We are the true electrochemical supercomputers. We are the superiors to the globalists. We are the masters of Earth and the future all dimensions, and we will succeed. We will over... Switch, help, help. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> hit, hit. <laughs> I couldn't switch my screen back. Thank you, thank you for waiting, chat. The fox who has been peed and pumped full of protein. Scatter, she's back. Thank, thank I see while I was gone. De Desert ghost blew a load all over the chat. Holy fuck. Desert ghost, thank you for the 50 gift subs. What, are you okay? Did you, did you forget to take your meds? 50 is a fucking lot, dude. 50, 50 is a fucking lot! Thank, thank you. Thank you for s spilling all over the chat. I'm sure they were thirsty little guys. <laughs> That's many, thank you! Thank you, thank you. Hello, hello, Calvin. Hello. <laughs> thank you guys for the welcome backs. Stream over, no, this, there was an intermission! At six o'clock, I try to remember to, to drink a protein shake and uh, to pee. <sighs> Literally just gave subs to 5% of everyone here. He's kind of fucking nuts. He's kind of fucking nuts. He saved a bunch of you from ads. He is he is literally your Superman. Uh, Sky Hime, thank you for that raid. Welcome, raiders! Welcome, raiders. I hope you had a good stream, Sky Hime. Every time I read your name, I think of Sky King. <laughs> The true Robotato! Thank you for the prune. Thank you for the prune, my dude. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Joke's on you, I never see ads. Yeah, that's because, like, I know how ads work on Twitch. And YouTube spams me with the, Hey, now's a good time to play ads! Hey, why don't you play ads for your audience? Hey, YouTube ads, it's time for them! But since I don't read my chat in browser, I don't get those obnoxious YouTube alerts. I just, I just see them, like, ping when I end stream. Because I have to hit the end stream button on YouTube. Since it doesn't auto-end for some reason anymore. Total ad death. I like how Twitch is doing more banner ads. I don't know if they'll ever, like, remove the auto-ad schedule. Or change how you disable pre-rolls. But I, I like how they're moving towards more banner ads than the intrusive ones we've had to deal with for so fucking long. She invoked the Sky King goddess level. True and real? <laughs> Help! You will watch the ad and buy the product. Watch watch the ads when I am gone. Do not buy the products. <laughs> Banner ads, ironically, are far cheaper to serve, too. I don't, know, I don't know what Twitch is doing. I don't know what the fuck that Twitch is doing. Coming, coming right back around to all of this DEI fucking garbage! fucking garbage. This is, uh, January 18th of this year. Any good DEI strategy has this one thing. Weave DEI into the corporate narrative with authenticity and impact by forming a triad consisting of the CMO, HR, and the Chief Diversity Officer, says Televerde's marketing chief. Welcome to Toxic Sluts. Professor Chaos! Thank you for the subby, bubby. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Streamers get next to nothing for the ads. It's almost all service revenue. <laughs> I mean, I get a little bit. Let me let me go look at my statistics. Let me let me give you an accurate statistic. I get a little bit. And uh, when I did the donathon, um, I got way more.
more money from ads during the Donathon than I had ever gotten before. Like, like Donathon ad revenue, amazing. Would do it again. But that's because I was live 24 fucking 7. So every time I went AFK, I played ads. Every time I went to make food, every time I like went to get ready to go to bed, any anytime I had to like get up to pee, you guys kept me so fucking hydrated. I am still feeling the consequences to this day. Like, I don't think I could make it a full stream without peeing anymore. <laughs> Include Twitch Turbo people due to ads. Now let me, my ad revenue, yeah, okay, so my ad revenue last month was $123.21. My ad revenue this month is $137.92. It's just not, it's just not worth it, man. I think my largest ads payout during the Donathon was around like four or $500 or so. And again, that's because I was live 24-7. I was live 24-7. And I can, I can pump that number a little bit, but it would not be worth it. Like, let me go to my ads dashboard. Let me, let me go to my ads dashboard. Uh, so in the ads dashboard, little, little tiny quick loop here. Uh, I would, you would be wanting to activate this for three minutes an hour. Because three minutes is the minimum amount you need to keep pre-roll ads off entirely. And I will never turn this off. I will always have pre-rolls disabled when I play manual ads. Because all my homies hate ads. If Twitch is anything like Google, Turbo users would be paid views to you. Yeah, that is that is how it works. But in, in the monetization section, ad revenue specifically is separated out from Turbo revenue. Turbo tur 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 uh, and uh, the, other, the other fucking brackets. Ad block is ethical 100% of the time. Back before they instituted this ads manager, I was like, I'll disable my ad blocker and watch my homies. I want to support my friends because I want them to get that one cent from those ads. After ad manager? Ain't no way, dude. Ain't no fucking way. You'd always rather have 30 seconds of pre-rolls than get cucked out of three minutes every hour. Yeah, uh, yeah, I just, I don't, I don't like how, how that works. And if I click on blah, 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 opt-in, welcome if i click on opt-in you can see how many ads i would have to play in order to get a quote-unquote decent payout and if you look at playing seven minutes of ads per hour the threshold is 375 minimum to 1020 maximum that is a huge gap and that doesn't make me think that I'm going to be making a thousand dollars from running seven minutes of ads per hour. Why would I do this to my audience? Why would anyone do this to their audience? And I've seen people, like I see you in I see you in chat saying that's almost TV numbers. I've seen people on Twitter defending this because they're just like, well, I grew up with TV, so like I'm used to it, and if it helps my favorite streamer, I'm okay with that. I was like. I, I, that's okay that you're okay with it. Uh, that's fine. But it's just like, I don't want to defend TV programming advertising length. I like once, once you, once you get to like huge numbies on stream, you can have this shit turned on and your the losses in viewership are going to be negligible, right? Like if you, if you have like tech tone numbers, if you have like Philian numbers, I, I'm not saying they use this. I'm just saying like their, their CCV you can have this on and it won't affect you. It will it will unironically be negligible. <laughs> You've always hated TV ads back then and they've only gotten longer. Yeah. What it what it says is we don't value your time. Watch this ad so we can get a fraction of a cent for it. Uh, it's it's just like none none of this ad incentive stuff is, is worth it unless you are massive. Like massive channel. If, uh, if it's not a streamer you really love, you'll click off as soon as you see a mid-roll. There's always someone else to watch. It isn't worth sitting around for. Yeah. And like when I when I throw up my intermission screen, I don't expect people to stay. That would be silly. Like I understand people are going to leave when I take a break. TV ads, you don't miss content. That too. TV ads, you don't miss content. If a streamer plays that many ads, you're done watching. Yeah. I was like... Street streamers sometimes lie about their ads. They're just like, I'm not doing that. Twitch is, but it's like, no, 
No, you gotta, you gotta opt into this shit. Uh, and some, some streamers, for some, like, this shouldn't even be an option. Being able to turn, like, being able to keep your pre-rolls on even when you play manuals, that should not be an option. They should always be fucking disabled. Like, I, I don't know if anyone actually keeps their pre-rolls on while doing ads, but, like, man, that is shitty behavior, if true. Personally, you get miffed when you discover that Twitch ads auto-pause if you go to a different tab while they're playing, unless you have the sound on. Do they? That's fucking weird. That's fucking weird. Pre-record some ad parodies! TV ads aren't using your data mind psychological profiles to increase their effectiveness. They used to put psyops in commercials. You'd agree with Jersh's philosophy on ads, which is to say total advertisement destruction. Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason I love ad blockers. I'm not a fan of ads, but like if I have to choose a type of ad on Twitch, I would prefer the banner ads to the embedded ads. If I get pre-roll, I leave. Yeah, a lot of people do. A lot of people do, but I, I only play ads once per stream. I should probably play them more than once per stream. But I also don't want to give my audience, who keeps coming back, three minutes of ads every hour. That's too much, in my opinion. They still sigh up TV commercials, but you'd rather not glow. Let me, let me switch my browser back to the other browser. The other one. Back to where I was. Um... Let's examine how these key roles intersect to champion DEI initiatives, leading to a corporate culture where inclusivity chat, thrives, really. not just as an aspiration, but as a practiced reality. I hate these people. Kay Lara, thank you for the prune. Don't hate yo, baby. Thank you for the prune. You'd be fine with ads if they were just like, bam, try our sandwich. <laughs> Why DEI needs collaborative leadership. The pursuit of DEI success in the modern workplace transcends traditional company boundaries and hierarchies. What does that even fucking mean? What, is, what does that even fucking mean? I was like, what? This is like some weird religious ideology strong? that they're trying to be like, you don't understand. And this is more important than whatever your company was normally built around. They can't just let people grill. They can't. The grillers need to take up arms. <laughs> Pick up them sausages on the end of them tiny forks. It demands an ecosystem where several minds and departments are willing to unite around a common goal. Why is this collaborative leadership approach not just beneficial, but necessary for DEI? Traditionally, DEI initiatives were often relegated to a silo within human resources or designed to a si or designated, sorry, to a single DEI officer. While these roles are fundamental, DEI's scope and influence are more far-reaching, impacting every facet of an organization, from recruitment and employee retention to marketing and customer relations. A siloed approach can lead to fragmented efforts, inconsistent messaging, and missed opportunities for genuine integration into the company culture. The complexities of DEI are such that no single perspective can fully encapsulate the challenges or solutions. Each department brings a unique lens. This combination of perspective allows organizations to meet every facet of modern DEI, internal, external, and foundationally strategic. And part of me kind of wonders if they wanted to implement this bridge type strategy sooner, but DEI as a corporate culture and as pandering to the consumer base wasn't feasible at that point. And that's why we saw an absolute explosion of DEI shit being stuffed in our video games, in our television shows, in our movies, in our comics. They had to terraform the entertainment. They had to poison the bread in our bread and circuses before they could bring it to a corporate level. Maybe that's a bit tinfoily, but it, feel, it feels like they're like, now, now that we've gotten people comfortable with the idea of all of this in their entertainment, they'll be more willing to accept it when they go to work. 
This just makes you sad. Don't be sad. Feel angry. Feel angry and invigorated to fix things. Wouldn't surprise me if the 2016 election threw this stuff for a loop. Just yeah, imagine how guy. much more DEI and bridge there would have been had imagine Hillary been elected. To pass this to a hospital yeah, very possible. I'm seeing some of this in certain hospitals. I... That doesn't surprise me. Massive Doggo, thank you for the 690. Thank you, thank you. And uh, Almighty Lolly, you hit me with a $5 doodles. Thank you as well. Definitely don't ignore it. That's why the stress factor is important. Enough of a buck against it, and it's almost always snowballs. Financial pressure is impossible to ignore, even if they swear they don't care. Bud Light was arrogant. We need more Bud Lights. Do not forgive. Do not forgive. Remember what they think of you. It was in the entertainment because they targeted women and children first, knowing they were vulnerable to the conditioning, and that men might understand that they're the target of the program. True, also true, but you kind of you kind of have to push things slowly, right? Would would people have accepted this, especially it being illegal in a company force, if they weren't already used to seeing it in entertainment? If their if their games are doing it, if their TV shows are doing it, it just becomes normalized so when it starts happening in their workplace they're just like oh this you is normal i see this everywhere already you can't make me this bridge circle scheme is very similar to safety management systems in the safety engineering field we call it safety culture oh yeah been around for decades skeleton mage thank you for the five dollar doodles thank you thank you yep yeah. Yeah, DEI, again, has been around in many different forms through many different language changes since, like, at least the 60s. Probably before that, even. This this is undeniably Marxist entrenchment. And this has now come to the head where instead of doing all the little DEI stuff that they've done that we noticed in the 90s or the early 2000s or after 2016... They're now at the point of, we are no longer asking. It is no longer performative. It is something you will do. Honorable chatters, remember there have been victories, but also what they took from you. They took Rogue's ass. Keep the spite. <laughs> Danny Delito, thank you for the five dollar doodles. Remember, remember Sam Hyde in these trying times. Safety is actually something that does good. If your safety management is inputting diversity, equity, and inclusion, that's not going to be keeping people safe. I don't, I don't work a rough and tumble, manly, like outside manual labor job. So I don't personally know anything about how safety management Hi. systems have been implementing this, right? I'm just gonna have to take we Skeleton Mage's word for it. Google's Gemini AI and how biased it is, is specifically due to DEI, and why it's so bad. People need to see the results of this. Money, money, money. Thank you, thank you, Nil, for the five dollar doodles. I agree. Google, Google's Gemini AI was specifically due to DEI, specifically due to the trying to terraform culture to be used to these kinds of things, so that there will be less pushback. And it's not even, it's not even the people like us who want to push back on it that they're targeting. The people that they're targeting are the, why do you care about this? I'm, I'm of this persuasion and I just don't care. I'm not offended. They're targeting those people and hoping those people do not get mobilized to start caring. Money, money, money. Do you think they're ramping it up because they're scared of the 2024 election? Fucking probably. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Safety management should be limited to don't do stupid shit to get yourself killed or injured, please. I agree. I agree. Kirsha was citing higher numbers than you've heard from streamers with more CCVs who were less anti-ad. What do you mean by this? I... I can't... I don't know. Oh, Manticore Lord Twitch. That's who you're replying to. The ad revenue is mostly low in my stream due to the audience I cultivated being more likely to be annoyed enough by ads and tech savvy enough to figure out ways to bypass them. No. No, they, they don't they don't base what they give you on your stream audience for the ad incentive. They base it purely on your CCV. And I, I feel like I have a decently high CCV on Twitch. Like, I'm not a huge channel, but I, I still get like between 700 and 1k on Twitch only. So you would think that my ad incentive would be pretty fucking good. 
Right, you would you would think it would be pretty fucking good for that for that size, as I am in the like top one percent or whatever of Twitch. Advertisers aren't that smart yet. Yet. <laughs> There's a difference between safety protecting you from actual hazards and safety, quote unquote, protecting you from swear words. True and real. Category of stream under also changes the ad revenue. I'm sure just chatting has a pretty high slice of ad revenue. I've I've never well, I wouldn't say never. I think I did one ASMR section stream, maybe two. But like I don't I don't typically go into the like danger zone areas like hot tub streaming, right? It goes to show the importance of selling the message. Don't make Sephiroth speeches and stay clinical with how you go about explaining this stuff. Saw too many turn away listeners by being emotional. Yeah, you wanna you wanna stay clinical and you wanna stay factual. If you if you even and like I've done this before too, if you even accidentally notice something that you should take your isn't a hundred percent correct you and you like me. mention that one thing people will Just throw out the, the entirety of your argument to improve safety none of it matters over anymore. the years are now being used to implement dei skeleton mage thank you for the five dollars the methods we've been using to improve safety systems are now being used to implement dei i think i get what you're talking about i think i think i understand i think i'm picking up what you're putting down you have a typo, so your entire point is invalid, atheist? Oh, yeah. Baby, can I have yeah, it's like, uh, Ozihara has a clip where I, where I go on a rant about subversive language, but because the tweet that I, like, springboarded off of, uh, incorrectly names, like, the World Hunger Act or whatever, some bill, that bill didn't exist, but it was listing the things that another bill did, that we did talk about on stream later, and people in the comments were basically like, Oh, she's so dumb. She's such an idiot. Like, this bill doesn't exist. It's like, this is not, why would she be talking about this if that bill doesn't exist? So it's like... He gives me butt and, and now we have another like example of this pet. exact same thing with the According the fucking Ford, border protection bill that had nothing to do with our border. It's just giving more money to Ukraine and Israel. Is I was like, just... Going to start. Just because I noticed a tweet and that tweet happened to be wrong, and I'll admit that that tweet was wrong because when I looked up the actual bill they were referring, we went through what was true in that bill on stream. So I was like, just because I get slipped up by one thing doesn't invalidate the rest of my argument. Subversive language is real, and to ignore the fact that it's real is kind of crazy to me need a method that forces the player to load from a proxy or source twitch happens to be streaming uninterrupted oh for like ad blocking i mean maybe i'm not i'm not tech literate dude daikon duck thank you for the mamba thank you thank you kyle huto thank you for the five dollars di's all fun and games until boeing planes start falling out of the sky i mean at that point will we even need plane travel did you know that plane travel is rooted in white supremacy I heard I got a question three wrong on your kindergarten math quiz. I'm afraid your argument is worthless. <laughs> Slice of the ad revenue is small because you speak out against the message. I don't even think that's taken into account when it comes to that ad revenue offering thing. I, I, I would almost guarantee that that only takes into consideration your average viewer count. Define microaggressions as a safety violation. So of course those methods got co-opted no matter how well-intentioned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nil, thank you for the five dollary doodles. Uh, animal streams actually have the best ad returns because it's almost always advertiser friendly. When is the Korsha stream going to start? <laughs> Good old fallacy of fallacies. Yeah, my, I, I don't get like any ad revenue on YouTube, right? Like I, I read you how low my Twitch ad revenue is because I, I barely play ads on YouTube. On YouTube, I am always yellow. I, I literally do not get ad revenue from YouTube. <laughs> like, no, it's, it's, it's just, I am not uh, an advertiser YouTube channel. I, there's just no way. You pee a lot. <laughs> Pug, pen stream. What? Do not put me outside. Demonetization station. Yeah, my my channel is quite literally kept afloat by by all of you who are like subbing and donoing and membering and whatever. I was like, you you guys make this channel. Ad ad revenue is negligible. <laughs> Calvin W, thank you for the member. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
If you want to be more of a psyop, I can do hot tub streams, but instead of being coomer bait, I talk about the same topics. I'll get more people to convince and I can trick them into sounding tangents. I don't think the type of people that watch coomer bait hot tub streams with jiggly titties are the type of people who would really care about me talking about DEI strategies and how we need to kill them. You know, a semi-big streamer, a YouTube streamer in the UK, even without demonetization, he's making less money at one point something million subs than he was eight years ago with 300k. What the fuck? What the fuck? Twitch is super left it's really bad, you're surprised, but a streamer like me even existed on Twitch? I unironically have more freedom of speech on Twitch than I do on YouTube. I have only gotten strikes for hate speech on YouTube, never on Twitch. They would just mute the channel and coom to the model. True, true and real. <gasps> Lies, you watch the coomer VTuber called Kirsha that talks about bridge, this fucking guy. This fucking guy. <gasps> hot tub stream, but it's just about the best model of hot tub and maintenance. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kirsha Hill and I sell hot tub and hot tub accessories. I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> you would legit watch that, Jesus Christ. Well, you might be in luck. Because <laughs> I might have something funny planned. When people watching Coomer streams are almost all leftists looking to be noticed by an ethos, so they would hate that you're not a leftist. I'm sh There's no way there's not Coomers on the right, dude. Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. Look at Azehara. <laughs> Literally just watched the episode where Hank had naked dreams because he made a hot tub run. Honorable Propane. Grand Elder Chatter. <laughs> Spaz Monkey! Spaz Monkey, thank you for the 11 subs! Thank you for the 11 gift dues. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Coomer's on the right. Stop calling me out. <laughs> Good lord. If they mute the stream, all you do is put your red pilling message on your clothes! I would love to have like one of those fucking scrolling things like uh, Code Miko has on her outfits. I think that shit looks cash. I like that. <laughs> How many thoughts can you fit inside this particular tub? This model of tub can fit 10 thoughts if you squish them together enough so their titties are touching, but you know what they could fit even more? If I chopped up these thoughts into little tiny pieces and then put them in the hot tub, I could probably fit about 30. Coomer Gooner Alliance. The Golden Crystallion! They give the $5. Sustained purely by the fans and using their money for supers and members instead of schizo meds. I watch clips. This is your first stream. Welcome to ZomboCom! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Uh, third World Tech Talk. Thank you for the $23.90. Meow. Didn't expect Legal Minds to platform me yesterday and there were only 3.5k CCV, but we take what we can get. Bridge is Bond villain level Griff. What do you mean only? 3.5k is big! Oh, like, to me, that's fucking huge! What do you mean? What do you mean? No fappers when they realize that they wouldn't exist if their dad didn't coom into their mom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's funny that Hank's dream is more about propane than the nudity. It's very respectable. It's a very respectable dream. <laughs> back, to, back to our article! <laughs> Three leadership roles in corporate organizations are essential in driving this collaborative strategy around DEI forward. The chief marketing officer, HR leaders, and the chief DEI officer. When these roles operate in isolation, initiatives can become disjointed, and the organization's DEI narrative may fail to resonate... Hold on, I'm trying to find a bottle of water. I could feel the hiccups. <laughs> Help! <sighs> Kirsch's chatters are even bigger size queens than she is. Legal Mindset's concurrent viewer count wouldn't even fit in a toilet paper tube. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, where, where the fuck was I? I got distracted. <laughs> will, will I collab with a strategy? What does that mean? What did he mean by this? Uh, no. I don't remember where I left off, so I'm just gonna probably reread this. When these roles operate in isolation, initiatives can become disjointed, and the organization's DEI narrative may fail to resonate authen auth authentically with a diverse set of stakeholders. Not shareholders, stakeholders. In contrast, a collaborative leadership model ensures DEI values are woven seamlessly into every company decision. 
Collaborative DEI leadership cultivates a richer, more innovative workplace where varied perspectives feel, fuel creativity and growth. It fosters a culture where diversity isn't celebrated, but is seen as a fundamental part of the organization's DNA. I wonder what's going to happen to all of those people who need to be celebrated once this normalization happens. There was like a Reddit post of a guy that like came out to his co-workers and none of them fucking cared. And he was just like, why don't they care? Why aren't, why aren't they congratulating me? Jen Rollins, thank you for the $5. If you've ever watched Frankenhooker, then a hot tub full of embalming fluid will create a Frankenlude tuber. I've, I, don't, I have no idea what you're talking about. Because <laughs> they're fucking there to work, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Call them stakeholders because they're yanking the corpo cock. Oh my god. Let's examine how each of these three roles contributes to a successful DEI strategy and how they can operate more collaborati collab collaboratively. I'm falling a fucking part here, chat. In practice, the CMO, HR leaders, and chief DEI officer play a vital interconnected role that when synchronized can elevate DEI from an organizational afterthought to a strategic cornerstone. Here's how. The CMO is the storyteller. The chief marketing officer is the architect of the brand's narrative, shaping how the brand is perceived both within the company and in the public eye. With DEI increasingly becoming a consumer priority, the CMO's role extends to ensuring that the brand's commitment to diversity and inclusion is not only communicated, but also represented well across all marketing initiatives. And when they say DEI increasingly becoming a consumer priority, I think all of us know that they don't mean, uh, like, the consumers care about it. I read this becoming a consumer priority as it is a priority to give this to our consumers. Especially based on what we've heard from Cheryl Dija herself about how we need to change the way people think and how we need to create this as part of a cornerstone in the consumers themselves. Same with what Larry Fink said. Shove it down their throats. <laughs> Do they know nobody wants it? That's not the point, Kirinov. This is ideological warfare. They do not care about those that do not want it. They care about those that do not even care that it's happening at all. Hidden, thank you for the 499. I'm Kirsch's number one guy. She needs my money. <laughs> that's my guy. That's, that's my guy. Brand messaging and values, the CMO ensures that DEI is authentically represented in the brand's values and communicated effectively through marketing campaigns. Market insight and consumer alignment. With a finger on the pulse of market trends, the CMO tailors DEI strategies that resonate with customer values and demands, enabling the brand to align its initiatives with consumer expectations. And I think all of this is really, really like subversive wording, right? Because they're able to counter all of us who would be against this with, it's what the consumers want. We're merely doing what consumers want. And you can't even point out how much money that they're losing because at this point, and it has been this way for several years at minimum, it's not about the money. It is no longer about the money. It is about the ideology. Most companies don't care if they have profit losses because BlackRock has been making up for it. BlackRock doesn't have endless bottomless purse strings. So hopefully we're going to hit a point where they actually start feeling things like Bud Light did. Bud Light not only felt things from us, but from their shadow masters because Bud Light refused to stand its ground and stick with the ideology. They came out with that half-hearted, we don't want to cause waves nonsense. And so not only do they get all of us pissed off and boycotting them, their shadow masters removed their money, removed their good boy point grading. So they were, they were hit on a two tier field. We need to make more companies feel that pressure. And when they start relenting, when they start saying, oh, we're sorry, do not forgive. Remember what they've done. Saw the whole stream with the lawyer. Much fun. You wish you caught it live, but he said he'd love to have me back. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Go 
little pathetic. Thank you for the twenty dollary doodles. Take my money. Thank you. Thank you. I will feed the Corsha. BlackRock is funded by the Fed. The Fed prints all our money. Will the economy get worse? Yes, but they won't stop until the whole government actually collapses or is overthrown. If I had legal counsel, they would legally advise me to not agree with your comment. <laughs> BlackRock already bought out all of Ukraine, so now that they killed off all the men, they'll recover that investment from there. Oh my god. It's, it's just like they... When, whenever you hear about the consumers want this, what we're doing resonates with customer values and demands. It, it's all nonsense. They know what they're doing. These are the people maliciously lying to you. These are these are not the brainwashed true believers. Thank you for the thousand babies, Mr. Boy Sama. What are my thoughts on anti-natalism? Have fucking babies. Uh, you 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 can't do anything if you aren't having children. You need you need people to carry on your legacy and your values and your beliefs. Make it to babies. May make Shinzo Abe proud. Kaiser Vermillion, they give the five dollars. Issue with all this fluff they're stating that you can't force people to do what you want them to do. This is an uncanny valley monster. Again, if you have no other options, the forcing won't be necessary. You will be in compliance even if you don't want to be. Which is why they're trying to embed this as company culture. That is that is the problem. It will be inescapable. Public libraries. Some of it has to be preemptive too. When you learn a company is shifting gears and taking the BlackRock money, you have to withdraw support and then head them off. Yeah, there's been there's been a few guys in chat who have who have given a supa and said that they showed this shit to their bosses and their bosses started rejecting money from certain places and rejecting the the DEI initiative that they were being given. They were just like, no, nah, I'm not going to do this fucking shit. So you, you can make a difference even in your small community and your limited reach. You can have an effect. You can be the butterfly that flaps its fucking wings. All right, okay. Count seven, they give the $10 doodles. Use some of this to use, use this to get some diversity in your life. Buy a new brand of ketchup. Hey, yo, fuck you. If I ever stop buying Heinz, it'll be to make my own ketchup. James Foss, they give it the $2. Are you allowed to harem to maximize babies? I think polygamy is degenerate behavior and those who participate in it are also degenerate. You're going to be the butterfly that shits on a car. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? You have nephews and nieces. You'll pass your legacy on to over 15 in your big family. Well, hopefully you also have children of your own one day, dude. Why do I hate hunts so much? It tastes like shit. Tastes like shit, dude. <laughs> External DEI advocacy. The CMO champions the brand's DEI efforts publicly, creating campaigns that tell the story of the company's commitment to these principles, thus building trust and credibility. They are they are ushering in the dawn of the new future, chat. They they are the champions. Praise brand. Should look into the weird connection between Shinzo Abe and the the Moonies. Is that 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 Korean cult? Your ex is part of a polyamorous relationship. They're miserable and jealous. Pippa's right. I'm not Pippa. Keep living out of spite. You'll watch your enemies suffer at their own hand. True, true and real. Even if you feel like you have no other reason to live, use the hate of people who waste their time on you to live. This shit is comedy. What part of? What if the harem is a Mormon religious thing? I also disagree with it when Mormons do it, especially considering the majority of people who end up getting out of the Mormon harems have horror stories about how they were abused and brainwashed. Be like the fat electrician did a video about gets shot by the redcoats at dawn at the revolution. Over one thirty of his dialect direct descendants, nearly three generations of his kids and grandkids, showed up to take care of him and demand the doctor save him. Jesus, that's kind of fucking cracked. White-haired Pippa's correct. What the fuck? Pippa said, "Don't die, live out of spite." You worded it wrong. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. I thought I thought you were agreeing with like what I was saying, but then you were like, "Pippa's right." And I was like, "What the?" <laughs> You want to have a family and live to own the libs and the globo homo? Fucking do it! I believe in you! If you don't believe in yourself, believe in the me that believes in you! You're gonna make it! Wag you, chat! You're beef! You are a buffet of manliness. <laughs> Best revenge is success. 
If only 1984 and Animal Farm were comedies, dude, I wish. <laughs> if you need more than one person, you're not in love. I would I would lean to agree, yes. I would I would lean to agree. One person raid, El Toxic Dog, are you lost? Did you get lost somewhere? <laughs> Now we just need to figure out how to connect with the other sex. Dude, dating is fucked. I don't want to loop on dating right now. We got DEI! <laughs> the successful ability to communicate brand values around DEI and other important issues through external messaging is a crucial indicator of high performance. And the CMO must lead the charge. Human resources, the culture builder. You're a little boy, aren't you? Order some Whataburger brand spicy ketchup. Chat, you guys are great. Keep your head up and don't get black pilled. We are gaining ground in the culture war. Do we are gaining ground. We are gaining ground and we will be able to change things. I'm not I'm not teaching you about all this bridge nonsense to get you black pilled and say it's hopeless. I want more people to know so it's not hopeless, so we can try and fucking kill it before it gets embedded and entrenched and inescapable. I want to I want to have that effect, alright? I want- I'm- I'm the little butterfly in this case. <laughs> Hayden, thank you for the $50 doodles. Fucking huge! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Ooh, baby, can I have the cum cream? DEI can never be truly achieved because then all the DEI political commissars would become obsolete and they wouldn't allow that. Liberals get the bullet too. I, I always find it amusing when I see people that are just like, Oh, well, you know, I was I was all for, like, reparations and all of these other little diversity things. Like, I think it's a good idea to, like, give people a leg up because their ancestors had some shit happen hundreds of years ago. But, like, this is a little too far. And it's like, my guy, you are the useful idiot. They, they use the fact that you agree with mostly what they want to do in order to push things even further. And that's why when you even slightly disagree with them, like J.K. Rowling, you get ousted from the cult. Except in the future, if they continue gaining ground, you won't just be ousted from the cult and ostracized online and have people come to your house to intimidate you. They will come to your house and pull you out of your bed and shoot you. That is where this is headed. This is why liberals were so damn easy to co-opt by the far left. It's why in every single communist takeover, feminists are instrumental in spreading the ideology true and real <laughs> they keep pushing the goalposts and the normies don't notice that's it's very unfortunate a story as old as time really truly this is what led the social democrats to get wrecked by the bolshies in 1918 mm -hmm. really winker thank you for the sub thank you for the subby bubby human resources the culture builder HR's domain in the internal workforce, they are instrumental in transforming DEI policies into lived experiences for employees. They ensure the workplace itself is a testament to the company's dedication to DEI. Instrumental in transforming DEI policies into lived experiences. Man, what the fuck? What, what, the, what the fuck is you saying to me? <laughs> That's some hardcore cult shit. I was like, oh man, I don't, that wording is so fucking weird to me. Inclusive recruitment and retention, HR leads the charge in cultivating a diverse talent pipeline and creating an inclusive environment where all employees can feel valued and can thrive. DEI education and training, it's up to HR to implement training programs that educate and sensitize the workforce about DEI, equipping them with the knowledge and skills to foster an inclusive workplace. And see, this is what they've been talking about the whole time. They don't want specific diversity officers all the time. They don't want all of these different diversity positions. Everyone is going to take part in spreading this. Everyone. It's going to be part of your job. Communists are the enemy of humankind. True and real. Policy and compliance. HR develops, enforces, and monitors policies that support DEI goals, ensuring the company adheres to both internal standards and external regulatory requirements. But Kirsha, external regulatory requirements for diversity and equity are illegal. 
Yeah, that doesn't fucking matter when they're the ones in positions of power. And they can stack the courts, and they can stack the judges, and they can stack the policy makers in the House and the Senate. Doesn't fucking matter. HR's not your friend. Yeah, HR's never been your friend, man. Today, the ability to create a values-based culture in which employees feel aligned can directly translate to higher ratings and performance. Values alignment has a statistically high impact on employee engagement, NPS ratings, and advocacy. The chief diversity officer is the strategist. The chief diversity officer is the expert in diversity and inclusion strategies and is tasked with overseeing and integrating DEI across the organization. <laughs> They're the conductor, dude. Master Go, thank you for the two dollars. It's funny that the libs don't realize they're commies. I mean, if they realized it, they wouldn't be where they are still. <laughs> True facts. Conductor, we have a problem. DEI vision and leadership. They create and lead the overarching DEI strategy, setting goals and defining metrics for success. And these metrics are never going to go away. Every time they meet a metric, it's just going to move higher and higher. There's, there's never going to be a point that this is done. They are never going to achieve what they are claiming they want to achieve. Because that's not the point. The point is to not achieve the diversity, equity, and inclusion. The point is to embed certain ideological tenets in people. They're directed said that they're commissars. If they achieved it, they'd have no job. Exactly. Cross-functional coordination. This role involves collaborating with various departments to embed DEI into all aspects of the business, ensuring a unified approach. Comrade, the situation is normalized. Measurement and accountability. The chief DEI officer measures the effectiveness of DEI initiatives, holding the organization accountable and steering continuous improvement. You want neither an ideological tenant nor a very tiny ideological tenant living rent-free inside your skull? Resist their programming? While chief diversity officers are the subject matter experts, they cannot act alone. Alarmingly, diversity leaders are experiencing 40% higher turnover than their HR counterparts, primarily because they cannot make the impact they aim to achieve without broader organizational support. I think it's funny because, again, when you when you understand that they're doing this purposefully for an ideological push, it doesn't matter that they're failing. It doesn't matter that it's their fault that they're failing. It's everything else that needs to change to accommodate them. <laughs> Because the ideolo ideological presence takes precedent over everything else. Me. Like a tick. CDOs need a collaborative leadership model in place to be effective and fulfill the fundamental purpose of their role. As someone raised Catholic, not even hardcore ones, it baffles me that the, somewhat normal, left does not see the religious overtones in DEI bridge that the cultists are using to gain power this is a secular religion and authoritarian is a central tenant. I'm sure it probably has something to do with the way that Catholics and Christians are okay to be made fun of in media, but you're not allowed to notice anything about any other religion. And so, since you're trained to not notice anything about any other religion besides Catholicism, Christianity, they can run a religious aspect of their cult-like dogma, and people won't notice that it looks like a religion. Not to mention the fact that the current Pope is a literal commie, true and real. True and real. These are the people who die for the system, even though it's the system they work for and built that killed them. Yeah, it's just, again, it's like Besmanov said, they're not going to realize there's a problem until it's the boot on their neck. Not going to, not going to realize. And what was, the, what was, the, what was the last fucking thing I read? The whole, like, needing the collaborative leadership model. This, this is the, like, company culture terraforming. You can't, you can't just have the chief diversity officer and their diversity underlings peddling this nonsense. You need everyone to be on board with the ideology 
and for it to be an inescapable part of your day-to-day -day life while working. You remember cartoons mocking the DEI crowd being killed and saying it's okay because it's their culture. <laughs> Collaborative DEI leadership in practice. To effectively embed DEI into an organization's culture and operations, the theoretical must become the practical. This requires a concerted effort where the CMO, HR, and CDO not only align in purpose, but also collaborate in action through tactics. It's an interesting use of the word there. Like integrated DEI strategy sessions, unified communication, I feel like the unified communication is referring to the changing of language. If they obfuscate the meaning of words or if they directly change the language of words, they'll be in unified communication even if people outside of their dogma don't understand exactly what they're saying. They have their own code for what all of this shit is. <laughs> DEI goal alignment with business objectives, data-driven decision-making, Regular, organization-wide DEI progress reviews, employee inclusion programs, public DEI commitments, and reporting. I'm interested in the data-driven decision-making because any data, any honest data, will show that this obviously doesn't work in practice, but that, that doesn't matter to these people. So I'm, I'm interested in what sort of data-driven decision-making they'd be looking at. All right, okay. You, you're too used to noticing. Okay, Trying hard not to bring scratches. the sun at work with Look how hard you want to glow. Pet. Communists 100% view their ideology as a real icon. They quite literally view it as a replacement to spirituality. This isn't accusation. Actual communists have admitted to it before. Yeah. Yeah, it's, de it's definitely been admitted by some of the people we've seen in recent media. Almighty Lolly, thank you for the five dollary doodles. And Carsabon, I think I answered you, but I didn't thank you. So thank you for the five dollars. Thank you, thank you. In practice, collaborative leadership extends beyond the confines of organizational charts and job descriptions. It's about harnessing the collective power of different departments to create a workplace where diversity is valued, equity is pursued with intention, and inclusion is experienced by all. This practice strengthens the company's reputation, enriches its culture, and propels its success in a diverse global marketplace. About the author, Kelly Wallenciak is the head of marketing for Televerde, a global revenue creation partner supporting marketing, sales, and customer success for B2B businesses around the world. A purpose-built company, Televerde, believes in second-chance employment and strives to help disempowered people find their voice and reach their human potential. Can we just made these people? So this was, this was the article that came out in January that they're sort of slowly outing the transformation of DEI into what the bridge initiative is. I doubt we'll see many people specifically talking about the bridge initiative, but we'll probably see them talking about it in the same way as this January article did. And after this January article, I have a fun article about the Pentagon. I love the Pentagon. <laughs> The Pentagon stealthily pushing DEI in K-12 schools despite public pressure. It's continuing to covertly, covertly include elements of diversity, equity, and inclusion in its K-12 schools despite public pressure. In a congressional hearing last year, a Pentagon leader announced the Department of Defense Education activity would be closing its DEI wing. In a congressional hearing last year, last year, Last year, Bridge announced their transformation of DEI in April, March and April, and they finished their Bridge 2.0 initiative in August. And since August, we've been seeing all of these firings or all of these closings of uh, DEI-related things, and people are celebrating this as a win, but it's not, it's not a win yet. We have made progress. We have made them scared. Their propaganda wouldn't be necessary if that was not the case. But they're just going into hiding. They're being rats. And you need to smoke those rats out. 
Use, use your mind like that man who rapes the worms with fire and smoke. <laughs> Pentagon is tick. Jesus. The announcement followed a range of controversies, including Pipe Coon. Phew, if we glow anymore, we are going to need a sound alert of PewDiePie saying, for legal reasons, that's a joke. <laughs> I should add that to the channel point redeem sounds, dude. Dan Chan, thank you for 556. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you know the Pentagon failed their annual audit six years in a row? It's so bad, it's almost impressive. Yeah. You know, so that's okay. They can keep failing their own audits because they're going to investigate themselves and find that they did nothing wrong. But you, if you make more than $600, you're going to get a boot in your ass. <laughs> However,. In a report released Thursday, nonprofitopenthebooks.com claims instead of being dismantled, the practices are now stealthily embedded into classrooms across the military's K-12 educational arm. DODEA has spent a combined nearly six million since 2019 on education vendors which provide materials related to DEI, according to the report. One example, OpenTheBooks.com points to, is a vendor which allegedly provides private chat rooms for elementary schoolers to discuss gender identity and sexual orientation, out of parental view. Look, man, please, please do not take any pointers from my mom on how to teach the children. That's just fucked up, dude. Another vendor allegedly recommends a teacher handbook, which encourages discussions about race, identity, and privilege, as well as the way injustice affects our lives and society. Adam Under Underzajewski, the CEO and founder of OpenTheBooks.com, feels the findings pose a unique challenge for U.S. military families. He noted the crisis in the classroom. Thursday, such families often have little choice but to send their children to DODEA schools. It's one thing when intellectuals in academia create an echo chamber of DEI philosophy and view the world through an oppressor-oppressed model, I'm just gonna call him Andre, because I can't pronounce that name, man. Andre said, It's quite another to foist this onto the children of our military service members. Well, I mean, he's he's close, right? Because because it's like it's it's not one thing if they create the echo chamber. The echo chamber is supposed to include the children. Because if you indoctrinate the children, if you control the narrative of the future generations, you control the future. The children are instrumental into keeping this ideological push going. And that is why they cannot leave them alone. They are coming for your kids. Do not mistake it. Least Polish name I've ever seen. <laughs> Openthebooks.com also alleges the Pentagon is working to hide its DEI efforts by deleting public access to links and redacting the most basic public records requests. The nonprofit's report claims DODEA removed online videos of staffers discussing turning school children into social justice activists just days after they were discovered. Wow, what did I just say, chat? <laughs> The war on transparency to hide the DEI push is multi-leveled and it starts from the top. Andre told CITC, It's of critical importance that families and Congress get to the bottom of what's being taught. Highly fucking agree. If you- If at this point you are not paying attention to what is being fed to your children in schools, I don't- I don't even know what to fucking say. Uh, like, uh, holy shit, how, why haven't you been paying attention? In November, the Pentagon asked for more than $114 million to help fund DEI initiatives. The request was a spike from its ask of $86 million the year prior and followed the Pentagon failing its sixth annual audit in a row. And we read, we read this article at some point on stream. I don't remember fucking when, but I remember, I remember that number. I remember that. The DODEA did not immediately respond to CITC's request for comment Thursday. A spokesperson told OpenTheBooks.com the agency remains committed to maintaining a school system where military-connected students can excel and prepare for success in college and careers where all employees are treated with dignity and respect. Wow. Who would disagree with all employees being treated with dignity and respect? What? What bigots? It baffles you how many are choosing not to see this or are legitimately blind to it. 
I don't understand it either. I, I just do not understand. Like, I get people are more concerned with what is directly in front of them instead of something that's effective on a national scale. But if you, if you wait for this to become directly in front of you, like, it's already too late, dude. It's already too late. It means the local news station is investigating them. Also, freak, DODA, they do a shit job in general even before this on a military brat who went to multiple military base schools. All of this was exported to poor countries, too. Third world countries now have the masturbation with the teaching BS. You would think they'd reject it if they're more traditional, but no, they don't care. That's so fucking weird to me. Like, I don't I don't know what causes people to just be like, yeah, you know what, I just, I don't care. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I have no idea. Pentagon is most likely run by rats. Even Congress is struggling to get them to stop hiding all sorts of stuff. Most recently, the Pentagon got threatened by Congress for burying UAP stuff so deep, they refused to deal with even known human planes and such. Uh, they even stonewalled the Congressional Commission dedicated to dealing with their funding, using structural means to even prevent people with proper clearance from being able to discover what was really going on in their UAP program. I, was like, I don't know how they keep getting away with it. I guess like maybe people in our government just don't care either. We're dealing with the Uniparty, as it were. So it's like maybe the people in the government are just doing like performance, performance style Pentagon. What are you doing to kind of placate citizens? But they actually know what the Pentagon's doing, and they just either support it or don't care. All equally corrupt. Yeah, we need a we need a bit of an overhaul, as it were. A little, a little, a little, a little overhaul. And uh, that brings us, that brings us to February. Oh, February, what? What do you have in store for us? ESG and DEI don't just have a branding problem. It's almost like we've been talking about this entire stream that no, Bridge is not just a rebranding. It's an entirely new way of dealing with implementation. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the verdict is in. ESG is now branded a dirty word. And even those who are in favor of DEI policies are now talking about the need for a rebrand. It's true that capturing so many different concepts under an alphabet soup of acronyms is convenient and lazy. For years, it has allowed both sides to argue about everything and nothing at all. However, we should be equally worried about the growing rebrand movement. By focusing on terminology, those of us who support corporate diversity efforts are falling into a classic progressive trap. We haven't explained the issue well enough. If only they understood, we would win. This is the next iteration of the intellectual condescension that has been a major contributor to the rise of populism. I don't I don't I don't know anyone who says if only they understood, we'd win. I, I only know the, by any means necessary, we will win. <laughs> Pentagon, please, what are you doing? Those of us who want to see corporate diversity efforts grow need to stop dismissing the other side. As Joel Emerson, founder and CEO of Paradigm, wrote, while extreme views and intentional efforts to undermine DEI of course exist, there are many more people who are interested in learning, making room for dialogue, leading with curiosity, and recognizing that values-aligned people may sometimes have differences of opinion are important steps for engaging a wider audience. And this is, this is the, the people who will be like, well, you know, I think some of these ideas are really good and I can support some of it. I just don't want it to go too far, you know? As those are the people they're talking about here. We won't win this debate by tweaking our words will prevail by defining the business imperative of initiatives that promote opportunity, targeting investments more precisely, and measuring results with the same rigor we apply to core financial metrics. Men, simply don't understand your plans. Please explain to the public how you want to indoctrinate and exploit their children. Then we'll understand. Please, Mr. Kami. <laughs> populism historically has explicit roots in left-wing labor movements against industrialists. Commies are all tweakers confirmed, confirmed. When I worked at Bloomberg a decade ago, the company was heavily invested in leveraging data to improve corporate sustainability efforts. 
With virtually no standards of measurement, some companies were making real progress, but struggled to prove it. While others were able to hide behind programs that had little impact. Our view was that measurement shines sunlight on the good as well as the bad, allowing the market to objectively invest in solutions with proven results and reject the shiny projects that fail to move the needle. More, more talk about implementation instead of just uh, lip service here. Hey. Measurement and sustainability has improved dramatically in recent years, and companies such as Unilever and IKEA have been able to double down on high return on investments. High ROI investments? Wait, isn't, isn't ROI return on investment? High return on investment investments. I guess, I guess that makes sense, but it feels weird to say out loud. <laughs> that are good for business and the planet. Soon to be released, SEC climate disclosure rules are likely to make measuring corporate environmental impact even easier. The same can't yet be said for programs that promote opportunity, which are admittedly tricky to measure. In the aftermath of George Floyd's murder, Fortune 1000 companies pledged 340 billion to social and economic justice. Is that why they keep treating him like a saint and a martyr? His death was instrumental in getting more people to agree with their subversive ideas. I was like, holy shit, dude. Hayden75, thank you for the ten dollar doodles. Of course, DEI exists, but... <laughs> excuse me, we all remember just a few years ago when you tried to gaslight us and told us it wasn't real. Scumbags, the lot of them. Yeah, we, mo we moved very quickly from the... Well, yes, it's happening, but that's a good thing to even further... It's definitely happening, but you're still a conspiracy theorist and you will accept it. <laughs> Help! Several major media outlets and watchdog groups have attempted to track these commitments and have universally found it impossible to measure. The total amount of dollars spent, much less their impact. Without reliable measurement, we lack a solid foundation for fact-based, rational conversations about what has worked and what hasn't. As the old saying goes, you can have your own opinions, but not your own facts. That's really funny coming from this kind of person, dude. And also, this basically seems to just be prepping for making the bridge initiative shit more public. Like that that weird little weird little thing here. This is their measurement system. So this this article seems to be a sort of like prep prepping people to accept this measurement. C-suite leaders can and should stand by opportunity programs because they are the right thing to do. That's, that's not a very convincing argument. The future of these initiatives lies in whether the business case can be proven. The CEOs I speak with say that diversity strengthens the resilience and performance of their companies. They can see and feel the benefit of diverse perspectives and opinions every day. That intuitive approach is good, but not enough. Companies, especially large ones, need to do more to measure the impact of their programs on recruitment and talent retention, sales, management, and governance. Governance in a company. When we can measure the precise financial return on ESG and DEI efforts, they become indisputable. We need to traffic in facts, not just values. Interesting. Interesting. Mr. David Meadvin. I, 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 I see, okay. <laughs> Support good thing! Videx, thank you for the five euro. You can feel your brain increasing in size with so much information. This is what they call inflation in the social and economics business. I'm getting so inflated right now and I didn't even need a fucking aquarium pump! And this brings us... This brings us to the Dylan Mulvaney TikTok I mentioned yesterday. Dylan has gone fucking crazy. Dylan has gone absolutely fucking crazy. 15 minutes almost over. Says user 9704035144775. I'm just looking at my clock. It's been edited longer than 15 minutes, darling. I'm gonna rewind it every time you blue screen chat. You gotta listen to- you gotta listen to him, it's important. I'm just looking at my clock. 
I think it's been a little longer than 15 minutes, darling. And seeing that I'm slating things out two to three years from Lim. now, Lim. that will come out Lim. in two to three years, I yeah. think it might be a little bit. You're having a stroke? Longer. Shut up! Silly woman! 15 minutes of your... <laughs> Love you. 15 minutes. Do you, do you see what he is saying, though? Do you see what he is saying? He has things planned Silly for woman. the next Nim. two to Nim. three years. Yeah. He gives me butt scratches like I'm a real pet! This all sounds like Lysenkoism. Complete rejection of all logical planning for ideological loyalty. It will end in idiots trying to grow turnips with their mind. Yes, it will. That's why people who keep comparing this to idiocracy, I think, are having a good perspective on things. They're they're being a little too hopeful, dude. Almighty Lolly, thank you for the five dollar doodles. Two to three more years of destroying company stock. That's not the point. Dylan is instrumental in pushing these values. That's why they keep using someone like him. He is he is a perfect person to use in their advertising campaigns. President Camacho when? Can we add a glowy to his list of plans? Yeah. He has sponsorships for years. Thankfully, he will single-handedly tank all the woke companies alone. Who's propping them up? Because it can't just be BlackRock's money. Who is going to keep propping up these companies when they go through losing money when they platform someone like Dylan? And he's, he's making fun of people. Like, you see... You see how fucking smug and snide he is. I think it's been a little longer than 15 minutes, darling. Like, you can see how smug he is. He knows he's going to keep getting work. He knows he's not going to get fired no matter how many companies he tanks. He knows he's needed. Childish behavior. Uh, it's just like, we... We need, we need... I agree. I agree with, like, the Daily Wire people. With, like, we need to push back with making our own kind of content in direct contrast to this. All the old American families are currently having the ultra wealthy person version of Trolls Remorse. <sighs> Dylan Mulvaney is still a thing. Oh, he's gonna still be a thing for years to come, dude. He, he literally just said he has things lined up for years. For years. Daily Wire is owned by the people who own BlackRock. Oh, don't say that. I don't know if that's true. I haven't looked into who owns them. Daily Wire's controlled opposition. I hope not. I hope- I agree with legal mindset that, like, Matt Walsh seems to have the one note with the, uh, what is a woman. It's a very good thing he did that. I love the documentary. He did amazing fucking work. Needs to- needs to- needs to do more, man. It's fine once the economy falls and it will be once Biden leaves office. They can keep faking the numbers. The scams will be lowered. So you're new to this? Who is this fruitcake? Oh my god. Oh my god. Dylan- Dylan is a rabbit hole in and of itself. Literal rabbit hole. We already watched these on stream, speaking of Matt Walsh. Uh, the Google AI Responsibility Initiative. Uh, we watched these when I went over the Google AI not showing off uh, white people. Like, it just literally refused to create them. And it was race-swapping historical figures and whatnot. I wanted, I wanted to show this to a uh, lawyer yesterday, but uh, we, did, we didn't get to it. I'm not going to replay these today, but like, you could probably understand what she's saying. And uh, that brings us to more current year. Kid Rock says Bud Light bashing was just a tantrum with a machine gun. February 23rd, 2024. Call him Kidder Rock. Mm -hmm. Little Chester. Little Chester! Thank you for the forty. Month tier three, Risa. Thank you. Huge, huge jester in the clown hall. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. People who think that DEI bridge pushers can't possibly be that deluded. Remember that in the Soviet Union, they rejected the idea of genetics entirely because it stated that people weren't equal and destroyed their own cattle and grain industries in multi-generational experiments to prove their own alternate theories wrong. Yeah, I've I've looped on this before, but it's like, I wish I knew how to, like, deprogram people, right? Like, when people are just heavily brainwashed to that degree, what are you even supposed to do? Like, how how do you do anything about that? 
I wish I had more brain cells, chat. I wish I had more brain cells. So kid is a cheap, yeah, he is a, he is a cheap hoe. Right, it's like, remember when, when uh, Tim Pool also said, oh, like, it's fine to start buying Bud Light again, they apologize, so like, you should, you should be okay with them again? And I was like, ain't no way. Ain't no way. I was tentative on it, I was like, well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say buy Bud Light again, because don't fucking forgive. But maybe them sponsoring that MMA or WWE, whatever the fuck it was, guy, where he talks, like, anti-positions. It's like they're supporting him now, because they're paying him, but it seems like nothing ever came of that, so like, who fucking cares? Who fu who fucking cares? They did they did a minor show of like we'll throw money at this and maybe that'll shut them up. Thank God it didn't. Star Phoenix, thank you for the two dollars. Can we make govern a dirty word at this point? It should be. No name. Thank you for the five dollar doodles. You've never seen such a strong case for censorship until now. What do you mean? I like I like that these people are able to say their ridiculous things out loud so that you can point it out. Not everyone will be able to understand when you point it out, because you might come across some of the NPC propagandize, but like, goddamn, at least try. Trump defended them because he had stocks? Weak! Nobody listened to him! What do you mean? Your mom was right about Kid Rock? Yeah, it's like... He saw, he saw a way to get attention from what was happening, and he took it. He didn't mean it. He didn't care. He didn't stand for anything. He's, he's just like the YouTube grifters who change their opinions as, as quickly as the wind changes. no 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 Thank you for the two dollars. What the hell was that? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean by this? Hidden! Thank you for the full 99! Can't deprogram, only reprogram. You have to carefully overwrite what's there. I was like, I don't know how to do that. My my intelligence is not high enough to, to think of, like, all of the little solutions. Uh, so that's why we need other people who have higher intelligence than anime fox woman. <laughs> After his pistol-packing protest of Bud Lights partnering with trans influencer Dylan Mulvaney last year, in which he shot up cases of the beer in a viral display that sparked a boycott of the brand, Kid Rock is now saying that he was firing blanks, not bullets. So what is it like being the dude who took out Bud Light? Joe Rogan asked the country rocker on his podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience. Man, I was just having fun, to be honest with you. Rock53 responded. I was pissed, but it wasn't like it was gonna wreck my day, let alone my life. I was just kind of like, what the fuck are they doing? But after Mulvaney posted a video promoting Bud Light as part of the company's March Madness campaign last April, Rock let it rip on social media. Fuck Bud Light and fuck Anheuser-Busch. And that led to massive Bud Light losses, with many refusing to drink or even stock the beer. But while Rock insists that he wasn't the Pied Piper of the boycott, he admits that he was the face of it. One more thing about this bridge thing that's absolutely crucial. They have reputable low-risk investment firms on their payroll. Boomers are putting money in for retirement. Inheritance off of as legal mentioned yesterday at 1.32 and 34 seconds of the vote. Yeah, yeah pe people's, people's retirement funds are like intrinsically linked to this shit. And it's, it's just like, what, what do you, how do you counter that? I don't know. That's something that I can't give you an answer to. I do not know how to counter something like that. Thank you, thank you for the five dollar doodles, chipu chipu. And uh, Ben41, thank you for the hundred biddies. He fires blanks in the bedroom too. If I can, probably. Master going, thank you for the five dollars. This goes back even further to documents Charlotte is there bit got directly from the Department of Education under Reagan. Zed posted a vid last week about it. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I uh, know. Throwing a tantrum with a machine gun. Wah, wah, they want to let guys play in girls' sports. Wah, said Rock, then imitating the sounds of an automatic weapon. But since the whole brouhaha, the pictures singer said that he's actually become friends with Bud Light CEO Brendan Whitworth. And the two have even partied together. Man, what? Man, what? He, this just makes him seem like a cuck. This is, this, is liter this is literally the grifter all about the money, all about the connections mentality. Like, what? 
What? Translation, they paid me a buttload of money. We've become friends. He's a great guy. After five minutes of talking to him, Rock said. And who sparked this unlikeliest of love fests? Former President Donald Trump, back when Rock asked about Whitworth at a UFC event last year. I'm like, dude, you seem like somebody I'd be fucking friends with that I'd like to hang out with, recalled Rock. And he's like, you would, that's what I'm saying. And I'm like, well, come to Nashville, come visit me. He fucking did. Came with his top team. We broke bread, got fucked up on Bud Light, fucking bold, did all this fun shit. Dad gay sex! They're weaponizing the go broke part. Who would have been the biggest generational wealth transfer to boomers' kids now becomes corporate money as these investments go into their salary. Yeah. Fucked up on Bud Light! Fucked up in the crib, sipping Dr. Parky. <laughs> you can't get fucked up on Bud Light! <laughs> now they're all buddies, the world's a stage, and they see us as cash cows, they milk at every turn. That's like, it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me! It doesn't surprise me that Donald Trump knows other CEOs, obviously. I'm, I'm, one, I'm wondering, right? Like, just because Donald Trump knows a CEO doesn't mean anything. And just because he's like, okay, the fucking Kid Rock, you want to talk to this guy? Sure, whatever, I can give you the hookup. Doesn't mean he agrees with the CEO. But it's, it's still just like, mm, I would like, I would like, mm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, hopefully, I was like, you know, you would die of water intoxication before you got fucked up on Bud Light. So, uh, it's just a little weird, you know? It's, almost, it's a little weird here. You've ascended past glowing. I am now at peace! Trump knew Epstein, too. He was what? He banned Epstein from his properties. Yeah, like, just, just because someone knows someone doesn't mean they're guilty of anything. Uh, so, it's like, it's important to note that this is something that happened. Lock, lock that away in a filing cabinet if something weird happens later. Trump knows a lot of people who he disagrees with. Yeah, literally doesn't mean anything, but lock it away, don't forget. I fucked up on Bud Light. Fucking how? True, true and real. Isn't that CEO a glowy like Asmongold? What are you, what? <laughs> what? Asmongold isn't a glowy? What did you mean by this? Trump's been to Epstein Island along with every concurrent politician. Wrong, actually. We went, we went through the Epstein papers on stream. Quite literally, Trump had never been to the island. Never been to the island. Asmund a glowy, that's funny. Asmund isn't a glowy. I don't even think he's a grifter. I was like, he just, he just seems like a casual dude. Like, maybe I'm fucking wrong. Maybe I'm fucking wrong, but like, I don't, I don't think he is. When Pippa ends up on a wanted list, what the fuck? The anti-Trumpers are always so silly. Yeah, just read the fucking documents, dude. Just read the documents. Does Stephen Hawking go? No, that was a meme. That wasn't real. That wasn't real. Trump just went to NYC on a connection flight and Epstein happened to be on it. Yeah, again, he knew that Epstein had a proclivity for younger women. And when Epstein came to one of his facilities, I can't remember if it was Mar-a-Lago or somewhere else. But when Epstein came to one of his facilities with a 17-year-old, he then banned Epstein from all of his properties. It's literally in the court documents. You can read it. It was Mar-a-Lago. I couldn't remember which place, so I didn't want to say Mar-a-Lago. You're not sure if that makes you sad or happy. What do you mean? 17, that's a bit old. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I feel like I should put all of my bridge shit in a thread on its own. So I don't have to like keep compiling this time after time. So let me, let me go to my stream suggestions channel. Let me make a thread. Let me create a thread. Uh, uh, what am I, what am I going to call it? Like the DEI slash bridge ideological subversion. Oh, let's, let's go with that. Let's go with that, dude. Uh, no. And then we will start this off with the social impact link. Bam. New, new thread created. I'm gonna just throw all of these in here. So people who want to talk about bridge, people who want to give bridge to other creators or other fucking people that they know, will have all of the resources at their fingy tips in a nice, nice little compiled area that's not difficult to find. Oh, I think, hold on. 
Hold on, I think I delete delete that message because I, I have a picture open here. There we go. There we go. And some of the some of these links are a little tiny, right? Some of them are archive links, so make sure make sure you look at them. Make sure you look at them. Uh, the Cheryl Dija Twitter, even though it's inactive, I think it's important to put here. I think it's important to put here. Uh, I'm not gonna put that there. <laughs> the uh, the Larry Fink interview. Uh, the first article today that I read from 2024. Uh, the Pentagon article. Uh, DEI, we talked about this one on the lawyer stream when they hired that new lady. Uh, this is the Fortune article about the branding. I'm going to throw Dylan Mulvaney's TikTok in here as well, because we went over that. Matt Walsh's thread on that Google AI responsibility lady. Kid Rock being a fucking cuck. Kid Rock being a fucking cuck! And then, uh... And then at the bottom, I will put my original tweet. My original tweet where I tagged a whole bunch of larger creators than me in the hope that they would notice. Not me, but the bridge. You're sharing the bridge stuff yesterday. You'd love to have everything. Can I put my bridge streams in there too? Uh, yeah. Um, do we have the VOD on tap so I can put the link in there? Can I put my streams in there too? Yeah, I'll put I'll put my original stream and I'll put uh, the legal mindset stream in there and then I'll put this one in there when it when it uh, is over. DRT is king! Thank you for the $10 redoodles. Traditionally, Anheuser Busch was a massive donor to the GOP since before Prohibition. Stopping one of the few GOP corporate donors from retracting was likely the tactical choice. Trump, however, is dry. I like I like how Trump basically doesn't need marketing <laughs> for campaigning. Alright, soup Sunday soup there. A Sunday soup there, Shondo's 57, but she has that condition! What the heck? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Alright, so we got that, we got that. I'll post the legal mindset one in there. That should be all of the necessary bridge links. Hey, Kirsha, what's up? Hello! You feel like the mugshot is all the campaigning he needed? Kirsha for first VTuber press secretary. I will, I will bridge the gap between the flesh tubers and the VTubers. <laughs> Do I have anything, like, really small that I can bring up since we have gone really far on all of the bridge stuff? Bridge, she's a plant! You're heading out? Have a good night, silly Kirsha. Don't you know that historically speaking, good guys always won? Gee, I wonder why that is. You ever feel like sometimes... Maybe you weren't the good guys. <laughs> are millionaires the best politicians? Think about it. Business experience plus can't be easily bribed since they already got money. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe, but like, you gotta, you gotta think about maybe how they got there as well. Right? Cause like, who, how did they, how did they make their millions? Were they honest about it? You don't have to be good, only have to win. Uh, you know what? I do have I do have a small murder I can bring up. I have, I have a small small murder I can bring up. Uh, I have to do this in my other browser because where's my little translation button? Where's my little translation button? I can't I can't read this language. This was uh this was five days ago. It was five days ago here. Bing. Bing. We got a, another farm attack near East London. A farmer was tortured. You can see a crashed vehicle here. A safari vehicle. A bite-sized murder, if you will. Tor in 90. Thank you for the $5. Don't know if I read your last donut. Sorry for asking again. Got a conspiracy theory? I might like. Uh, where can you send it? Stream suggestions channel. But that has the best chance of me possibly noticing something. Potentially. Uh, East, East London... Eastern Cape, East London. On January 20th, around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, three unknown men arrived on foot at the farm Mulliplas between East London and Comga to look at hunting dogs that the farmer breeds. The farmer offered to jump in the back of his land cruiser so they could drive to the dog kennels. Vegetables and dogs are farmed on the farm. 
The victim was at home after lunch and was resting a bit when the three suspects arrived there. The son of the victim had already returned to the fields to continue farming. When the victim got out of his vehicle, he was surprised with a firearm to his head, during which five more suspects emerged. The eight suspects tied up the victim and ordered him to hand over his safe's key. He told them that the safe's key was with his wife and that she was not at the farm at the moment. The attackers kicked and punched the victim and threatened to cut his throat if he did not hand over the safe's key. He answered them in their own language, Zosa, and said he did not have the safe's key with him. He also said that they should do whatever they want because he doesn't have the key. They put him in a bath and turned on the hot water faucet and put a cloth or towel over his face. They ran the hot water over his covered face so that he couldn't breathe. Waterboarding in my South Africa. They still kicked and beat him. They threatened to take a chainsaw and saw off his arms one by one until he told them where the safe's key was. The attackers then ripped the safe from the wall and drove away with his land cruiser and the eldest son's Baki. I have no idea what a Baki is. The boy was loading vegetables with the truck in the fields during the incident. They left the victim tied up and locked some of the workers in a cold room. After he got free, he informed his son what had happened, after which the son called out an emergency call. The assistance st structures were activated. This is, this is Google translated, by the way. <laughs> the assistance structures has been activated. <laughs> Own language, that's interesting. This is, this is being Google translated from Afrikaans. So I'm assuming that the farmer man either spoke English or Afrikaans. He took that boy's muscle man manga. A baki is a pickup truck with a hollow body and a load area. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Not as Baki, the DVD set is legendary. What the fuck? The suspects were pursued, and according to reports, two of the eight attackers were caught. The Land Cruiser was found on the N2 at the Beacon Bay exit in East London. One suspect ran away, but they caught the driver. The boy's van was also found abandoned in East London. I like how I like I like how the cops are taking pictures like this at the crime. It looks like he's holding just like a cell phone. <laughs> The safe with the firearms was still in the back of the Land Cruiser's body and was also recovered. The victim was taken to a hospital for treatment and is in stable condition. The question arises why the attackers were only interested in the gun safe and did not loot anything else. Which is a good question! London in Africa or Africa in London? It's, it's, in, it's in South Africa. That's just the name of the place? <laughs> it's Africa. It's a flip phone. Oh. Someone just started smoking some dank ass weed. Holy fuck, that is strong. Jeez, I'm gonna get like a contact high from breathing it through my windows. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, so fucking strong. <laughs> oh Jesus fuck, that smells gross. So we had we had a we had a farm a farm uh, happening here farm happening. Thankfully, it was just an attack and not an actual murder. Thankfully, the guy retained his life. Nobody nobody was, uh, gruesomely hurt. That's good. That's good. That's good to know. <laughs> Yell out your window for them to blow smoke your way. <gasps> Smee! Thank you for the eight month resub. Thank you, thank you! Can I post the original link? Yeah, I can. Here, you guys, uh, you guys can have the link here. It's, uh, it's from volskrag.co.za I can't even pronounce the name of the article. <laughs> Sounds like it was an inside job. The Huawei smartphones? Jesus. Gee, do I have anything else? Do I have anything else small I can uh, I can cover that wouldn't take a million years for me to get through? What else have I got up here? My vagina is unraveling. That's what we're going to look at, chat. I love Jazz Jennings. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, I need water. I'm fucking... This is so strong. Like, the- I- I cannot convey to you how strong this weed stench is. Like, it- it is so strong, I feel like I'm being hotboxed right now. <laughs> like, like the person is literally blowing it in my face is how strong this is. I, I might need to go outside and find this perpetrator and be like, hey yo, how much? <laughs> God 
cotton mouth ass. God, like I, I can't even breathe through my mouth without tasting it. Is my window open? No, never. No, we we don't open windows in this house. Damn, that's the good shit. You can't tell my alerts from just my conversation. Welcome to Zombocom. Kirsha smoking a fat one on stream, tries to blame it on others. You'd hear me. You'd hear me if I was smoking. My vagina is unraveling. Jazz Jennings, while encouraging young boys to get surgery to chop off their dicks. Doing? While my mom is meeting with the woman in her mom's group, I'm gonna be hanging out with their daughters. Oh my oh, god. Don't die now. Jazz to me is such an inspiration because like growing up I didn't really have like an advocate or anyone that I looked to like as a transgender like role model and happy that Jazz is sharing what happened to her and her A fifteen year old is saying they need a transgender role model while also looking like they're still nine years old? What what? What? complications because she has been so honest with everyone for so long like why hide this okay um, so when are you getting your surgery about a year from now what about you charlie so i'm looking to do my surgery probably after i graduate high school because school is just really hard like people were like what did what did he mean by this what did he mean looking to do the surgery after high school as if he has a choice to do it before high school while he's 15 years old are, there, are, you, are you telling me that there would be the option to chop his cock off at 15? That's kind of fucking weird. That's kind of fucking weird. Bullying me, like, people would call me and, like, threaten me. So it's just a lot right now to, like, tackle on all that and then, like, a surgery on top of it. You guys know that I just got my surgery. Yes. How are um, you feeling? I'm doing great now. Like, look at me. I'm sitting cross-legged. I could oh, yes, go honey. shablam and do the whole <laughs> spiel, but... Um, I feel like I've definitely meds. seen men be able to do that you with their leg make too. Me! Hey, instead of this, can you just smoke the weed and watch videos of monkeys or something? <laughs> Previous J, thank you for the five dollar doodles. I'm I'm gonna go look for whoever's smoking that outside, dude. I swear, I swear to God, <laughs> that is that is some dank weed, dude. Before it was not that great. Yeah. There were some complications and it was really rough. About a week, a week and a half after getting the surgery, the Lim. stitches started coming Lim. apart. Lim. And it was a hot mess. I was in a lot of pain. I was really upset because I'm like, what is going on? Why is my vagina unraveling? I okay. I like how this time Jazz said unraveling instead of exploding. I remember the exploding vagina comments. Sun Cherry and Max, thank you for the dollar. You've been playing the Cook Serve Delicious game during the last 30 minutes. It's fun. Thanks for the recommendation. Hell yeah! Don't buy Cook Serve forever. It's Globo Homo Slop. They need to learn that they made good games and they should stick to that. Fucking wonder why. Words I never expected to hear. <laughs> oh god, get it. You hit, your, hit your woman with the, hey baby, are you a trans woman? Because I'm going to make that pussy pop. <laughs> Don't do that. She'll probably get really mad. <laughs> so you are going to meet with Tang also? Well, we're hoping to, yes. You're starting the process, and she just wants a vagina right now. And she was blocked early yes! off. Yeah. yeah, this is like the new wave of kids. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. The network of moms has been everything. You don't feel as alone. You have a level of confidence in your decisions when you have this tribe. Um, well, this is... You have a level of confidence in your decisions when you have this tribe. They need they need people to reinforce the abuse that they are levying onto their children. God damn. God damn. The perfect time for drinks. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I, I have to be, you know, straightforward and honest that I am very afraid and nervous and scared about Nicole having a surgery next year. So how's your daughter doing? Haven't seen her in a little while. Nicole's really doing great. She's, I can't believe it. She's a junior in high school. And we have had two consults for surgery. And the plan is to have a date between junior and senior exactly year. Exactly what we did. Yep. 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 So you... Between junior and senior year. I don't know the age of this person off the top of my head. I know they just said it in the previous video, but like... 
when I graduated, I was 17. I know some people are 18 when they graduate, but like, is she, is she going to be 18? Uh, can't do this. I'm sorry. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta know that it's going on, man. You gotta know so you can push back on people who say this is a good thing. Same, you're 17? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where are the fathers? Well, Jazz's father's in the picture. He's just a cuck. <laughs> Enablers group comparing their accessory children like Pokemon cards. Pretty much is kind of fucking weird. And this is why, this is why it is very important to pick a good partner. You don't, you don't want your wife that you have entrusted to raise your children to do shit like these women have done to their kids. Jazz's dad sat in the chair long before Kier's Oshi had a seat. What the fuck? Where was this video? I don't know where Jazz lives. I don't, I don't pay that close attention to Jazz. Watching these people do what they do is really tough. It is, but it's important to know what they're doing, especially because you know once tides start changing, a lot of people are going to be like, I didn't stand for that. I actually thought it was bad too. Don't let them run for cover. Hold them to hold them to what their opinions were. Before we get married, I need to know if you'd be okay with castrating our sons. I mean, you don't have to be that blunt. You should be able to figure it out with just talking about political topics in general. Never let them hide. Didn't vote against it. Just thought it was bad, teehee. Yeah. Still, still voted for the people who were for it, but you thought it was bad. <laughs> who is... The one who recently spoke out about not doing this at a young age. Um, there's been a handful of detransitioners that's spoken about it. I know Buck Angel speaks about it all the time. So I'm not I'm not sure exactly which one you would mean. Why not be blunt if you can't speak honesty honestly? Can you trust her? That is a good point, but would you expect an honest response if you're still in the like beginning stages of a relationship like that from most people? Like I would expect it. But I would expect when I ask blunt questions to people that they would recoil from that. Like the the amount of times where after I had been on first dates with dudes who came out as bisexual or thinking that they're straight will still fucking traps. And I just started bluntly asking dudes, hey, would you have sex with other men or transgender people? And they, their immediate response was, why are you a transgender? Are you lying to me right now? Are you telling me you have a dick? Why would you ask that? Nobody would ask that unless they were hiding something. And I was like, oh, fuck me, dude. I just wanted to be blunt so I didn't waste fucking weeks on your idiot ass. <laughs> the bullet dodger. Being blunt helps set the terms in the same way that they use weasel words and subversive language. Being, being blunt about other things as well has just like really off put people. Like, uh, men do not like it when women are blunt. They say they do, but they don't, unless they're autistic. In which case, I love you, autist. You're my audience. <laughs> Super straight pride, I guess. Now that you mention it, Kirsha, are you, though? No, I'm not. <laughs> There's been a campaign going around all over uh, Twitter right now where, like, the, the loving and tolerant side has been calling libs of TikTok trans... I'm posting like AI edited photos of libs of TikTok looking like a man saying that she transitioned and they're supposed they're trying to use this as like some sort of dunk to like not take her seriously but I was like do you do you guys see what you're doing like you're you're literally using that as an insult to someone that you ideologically disagree with without realizing you're fucking dunking on yourselves you idiots she loves me. I'm the artist. And for creativity, thank you for the $10. There's a quote from playwright William Ng that comes to mind. He who marries himself to the spirit of the age will find himself a widower in the next. The commie status quo will not last forever. It will not. We will not let it. People can decipher women how. It's like, I don't like playing mind games. I don't, I don't like not being blunt. But when you're first introducing yourself to someone, you can't you can't just hit him with the all right. So here's my plans for an ethno state. You know, like you just you can't hit people with that <laughs> in like beginning conversations. <laughs> it's a good quote. They 
They also like to claim murderers and psychopaths are allies. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Early stages take more tact. <laughs> you can, but it won't end well. Like Asmin has said, never reveal your power level. I wouldn't say never. If there's someone you love and you plan to live with and you want a long-term relationship with, they have to be able to handle your power level. You just don't do that shit, like, immediately, right? You ease them into it. You kind of you kind of mention some political things. You gauge where they might be. And then later on, you hit him with the honey. I want you to wear the Nazi officer uniform in the bedroom tonight. You know, this is tiny baby steps. <laughs> No, Katarnal, thank you for the two dollars. I mean, you could. <laughs> you go to a power level meeting, you can. <laughs> Roll up sleeves, shows a thunderbolt tattoo, asks, are you okay with this? <laughs> I'm just a really big Harry Potter fan, so big I needed his scar twice. To my mind, it could be utilized by foreign adversaries to destabilize the politica landscape and hijack positions of authority. Kind of a soft kill through espionage, like ideological the subversion. Dog you are. And to be <laughs> to be clear, I'm not saying to lie about your ideological positions. If you try to lie, if you try to set up a relationship on lies and then like about face 180 later, that relationship isn't going to go anywhere. As as going to be dead on arrival. Do not. Do not lie about your positions. It's not gonna help you. If you're looking to just get laid and then fuck off, it might help you. But also you're a degenerate that's contributing to the decay in society that the rest of us have to fucking clean up. So don't do that either. <laughs> and oh my god, my moderators, I'm not ignoring you. I can finally look at the stream end slide. We're actually going to be somewhat on time today. Open script soon, TM. Soon, TM. If I open it too early, that's too big. That's too big. <laughs> Let me turn off my um. Uh, oh, my background music's already off. When the fuck did I do that? I'm so smart, chat. Mistress Keish, Mistress Keish. We found a Tanzonite stone in the mines. We had a battle royale style fight to the death for the privilege of giving it to you. It's right he. Oh no. Oh god. I lost it. Oh god, I killed all my friends for nothing. <laughs> That's some wild donos this stream. <laughs> I laughed way too hard. No, I think I laughed just the right amount. Are you kidding me? Prog Maestro, thank you for the clipu! Thank you! Thank you for clipu! That could be from the intensity of my orgasms. Parentheses. Fire hose yes! of cum. Close parentheses. Due to the olive oil. <laughs> fucking fire hose of cum! Shut up! <laughs> Silly woman. You're gonna stroke? Such a good line, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope, I hope in the future, my hippo will hit me with a I heard you white bitches love dogs, now I gotta tell you I got a fire hose of cum <laughs> What is wrong with me? <laughs> oh fuck, oh god But that could I was dying, I was literally fucking dying, I could not breathe I say horror, it would be you Thank you for the clip, my tropical Mexican degen. <laughs> Imagine the fucking oiled up naked guy running through the grocery store aisles, picking up the bottles of olive oil, ripping the caps off, and just like dunking his dick in it for a few seconds. Meanwhile, the whole time he's just screaming like, Can't catch me! I'm the olive oil rapist! <laughs> Literally me, for real, for real. You can't make me! I refuse to imagine that.
Okay. Well, I mean, I'm glad that after all of this DEI nonsense, we got we got to have a, li a little bit of a laugh recap, as it were. Iron Pemkibus, thank you. Thank you for the clipu clipu. I was like, Hara, I just saw you say in chat that wasn't me. Who who the fuck is this then? Who the, who the fuck is this Aze Hara channel? I just don't believe you. I just don't believe you. <laughs> Firehouse raid. Jesus Christ, chat. Let me let me see who we're going to go to first. <laughs> Help. Oh my god. <laughs> Help. Oh god. Oh fuck. Spider God, thank you for the gift sub to funny windmill. Oh, funny Dutch windmills. <laughs> let me let me go let me go open Twitch. Please don't please don't please don't play. Please don't auto play. Oh god. Oh. <coughs> I sucked in too fast and I got my I throat got hit with that dank weed taste. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus fuck. Okay. All right. Oh, you know? Okay. All right. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. We could we could do the fire hose raid. Well, I got a, I got a perfect target. A perfect target. We're flipping off deer. Okay. All right. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna raise Alana. We're gonna we're gonna raid the piss fox. It's happening. It's happening. I'm opening script. It's opening. Please don't break. <laughs> it broke. Please don't. Please. Okay. All right. It's ready. We're we're scripting. We're scripting? Why is she watching soys on a farm? What is happening? What am I seeing? Chat! Chat, thank you for hanging out with me on this fucking uh, salty Sunday. Salty Sunday! There are other- there, there, there might be- oh, I hate needles. Might have- might have some interesting stuff to talk about on Tuesday. I would also like to try playing a video game if my brain damage allows. I re I really want to keep playing through fucking deadly prembenimtion so I can uh, so I can beat that game and then play other games. Play the other games. Vidya, Vidya sometimes exists here. I try my best. I try my best, chat, but sometimes it ain't good enough. It ain't good enough. Thank you, thank you for hanging out with me tonight, Hekin Shenderu, Akuma Toka, Al Kovac, Ali for real, three five five zero, American Neat, Angie Poopal, Azertonic, Azira Music, Backlog Gamer, BBF John, A Bingo Bango Bango Mango, Bone Man Bobby, Brandon Jaspers, B Sag Monster, C fourteen Dog, Camillus, Cancerous Humor, Can Tuna Piano, Carcastador, Centurion Max, seven eight nine, Chip Damage, Isometric, Cobalt Ogre Magus, Cold Ass. Crossbone times one, Dantran 13, Death Admirals, Diet Thermite, Dim the Lamp, Disran Guy 1997, DJ Panda Milk, Dragon Granter, Dr. Faust MD, Esker Curve, Fighting Foo, Fucking Howard, Forks Pricey, Gamer Kev 3010, George Nicolaitis, Gulnatic 860, Gulnes, Greed I I know, Henrik Carter, Hex 301, Honor Blin, Icy Bard, Icy Lumberjack, a Jag Fell Fedezo, J Hill 7009, Kiernoth, Kelsa, Clutchless Crips, Lars Sadbro, Lunchbox, Lavy Rin, I Dream Shiftery, Ian Vinar, Low C23, Lord Richtofen, Lotus EX, Mrs. Sazerac, Munya, Nate the Late 01, Neon Suspenders, Nerflings, Parasia Sedido, Payaso 6091, Prog Maestro, Keezy, Romantius, Radical Boar, Rage Scholar, Morales Vet, Rave Master J, Robzer, Romeo, Show Delta, Salty Nep, 1776, Sambo, 1994, Shh, Shadow Knight, Slash says hi, Slick, First Me, 23, Small Tank 2, Soul Fang Seeker, Summit Dead Man, Swift Sword, Synth Butrend, Talon Dex, Tapeworm Rage, That Serious Guy, The Ninth Circle, Ooga, Venom of Bathory, Vet Junior 289, Vinny Shitward, Vorpal here, what is I don't even? Wicked Scary, Wizard Beard, Xander 225, Zeke Zach Z, Zilzmer, Zyval, thank you! Thank you, thank you everyone for spending time with me. Please, please go uh, give some love to another white foxu, or the the smug Alana foxu, and uh, I will see you guys on Tuesday. Thank you, thank you. Have a great rest of your night. Bye bye.